Hey there, I'm Fia. Welcome back to another VOD. Today we played through The Kids We Were, so the 5th of January. Uh, this is a game that's available on Switch, and as of the 12th of January 2022, will be available to download on PC via Steam. Um, there are some heavy details in this game, just as a forewarning. It does deal with things like uh, parental abuse of kids, domestic violence. There's a few really heavy conversations and topics in there, but I felt like the game approached it in a really good way, like very healthy manner. And if you are in need of help, there are countless, every country I would imagine on earth has uh, helplines and professionals that you can reach out to. And if you need help finding one of those in your country to deal with any of these issues, please do reach out. You can reach out via our Discord, discord.gg forward slash Fiamma, uh, or in our Twitch chat or in the comments below. Um, there's absolutely resources for you if you need help. But the game approached it beautifully. It was hilariously funny at times, really deep and conversational in others. And we had some really great discussions about what we were seeing in the game. There are 16 chapters total. We got through 12 of them tonight. I hope you enjoy the playthrough and I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Are we good? I think we're good. I, look, Switch streaming is weird. <laughs> Everything, like, oh, all the settings that I have to change, they're just, they're ridiculous. Um, give me a second. Is that gonna work? Sure, that's not at all what I said, but that's fine. Uh, right. Okay. Hello. Um, is the sound okay? There's no double up or anything like that. You can hear the music, but it's not overlapped and weird and silly and how we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> Waiting here in this economy. Oh no, well done dupe on first, well done BC on second. Oh, really cool, we were nice and chill. Yeah, super chill, hey, the small world and the Stargate tunes in there briefly, nice. Well done on third Shiba. 69th, going to Everly, hello little. Last for Yori, brilliant. Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm going to turn this off because it's starting to get a little bit chilly in here, but I didn't want to sweat my makeup off while I was putting it on. Uh, so I thought I would have the the air conditioning on for a short while. Uh, all right. Uh, stream Raiders. Right. Let me... Look, this is going to be a whole thing. <laughs> I hate operating with one PC screen because one of them is connected to the Switch, so I can't... Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I hate, I hate, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, tanks. I have to place two tanks. Is it this? No, that's Centurion. Tanks are my thing. I can't level them if they're already 30. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, and I definitely don't have a thousand gold. It does that. It's bugged. It says that every single day it says a thousand, but it's not. Oh, and I have assists from healing as well. Okay. Okay. Super fun happy times. Cool. I can't see chat while I'm doing this. Uh, make sure you place your units, as many units as you possibly can, because this is still tuned to, um, it's still tuned to uh, <laughs> Monday night's um, unit numbers. And we had uh, <laughs> a lot of people here on, on Monday night. So Prita, please place your units. Um, Cool, I think, I think we're good. Awesome. I think we're good. There's a delay on the camera and there should be a delay on the microphone that matches. So it should be like lined up. Um, I don't know, maybe. Ugh, look, I'm bad at flipping things around and stuff. Okay, so there's a settings thing. Good, it's on English. Music is fine, text speed is normal. Let's bump that, no, let's leave it at that. That should be fine, actually. Um, clap a spot on, awesome, yay, yeah, uh, that's good, I'm glad. New game, so the kids we were. Um, I actually found this, well, they found me, technically, well, I don't even know if they found me. Um, I reached out, I, I was, I was, there was a, there was a post in a Discord that I'm a member of uh, what do you say, Minato? Uh, there was a post in a Discord that I'm a member of. 
asking if anyone was interested in this game. And I took a look and I was like, huh, that's kind of cool. And it's coming out on PC in about a week or so, I think. I think it's about a week or so. But it's called The Kids We Were. Uh, it's been on Switch, out on Switch for a while. Uh, and it is being ported to uh, to Steam, but it's ported to PC via Steam. And I think there's some extra content in the Steam version. Also, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. I might have been reading the Steam page wrong. But yeah, so it's it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be a good place for the camera. But we'll we'll find out, shan't we? We'll find out. Cool. So we are in chapter one. At the shrine dig site. What do you say, Minato? What is log? Oh, log gives you ever all the text. Nice. Okay, and I'm gonna press A to continue. Good. Have you made up your mind? About what? This is going to be one of those flat. We're going to now play through the story leading up to that moment, right? Yeah, okay, good. This strange tale begins one warm summer's day. I feel like I'm going to be reading a lot. Feel free to spam me with hydrates to replenish my throat. A small story, yes, but the even the... But the even the tiniest tales can mean much to those who undertake them. I took out a walk is that on PC. Nice. Yay for hydrates. Haha. <laughs> Kagami. Chapter 1, Main Street. A small town, just like any other. Another There's a local hydrate. legend. <laughs> There's a local legend here, and it goes something like this. On the night the star falls, the Magi will appear. An envoy from eternity's far shore. Hand at the helm, the Magi arrives in a ship that sails the tides of time. The Magi is to be feared. The Magi is to be sheltered. Offer aid in time of need, and your heart's deepest wish shall be granted. <laughs> Sniffle. Also, I do have mount makeup on today. Um, I have forgotten whether or not I have the mount. One moment, please. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Um, where is it? Uh, yes, I have it, and it flies. There you go. Zzz. Huh? We're on a streetcar. I love, like, the 3D pixelated. Yep, it's great. Ah, uh, I had that dream again. Hey, Mum, where are you going again? You asked her that yesterday, Dork. She's going to a memorial service. Yep, this is too slow. I need faster. Hm, I wasn't asking you. Sigh. Hey, Mum, what's a memorial? I guess you're still too young to know. Hmm, how to explain? It's when people get together and remember old friends. Old friends who we said goodbye to a long, long time ago. Cough, cough. Oh, like that one old friend you always talk about. Exactly. Don't worry, I won't be long. Be a good girl and wait for me, okay? You heard, Mum. While we're waiting, how about you and I go for a walk, Mirai? Boring. Cough. Wheeze. Uh-oh. I think Mother is ill. Um, what station do we get off at again? Kagami, can't you remember anything? Next stop, Kagami. Kagami. Interesting. For quick quality service, try Yabu Clinic, your neighborhood expert in cataract surgery. Fifth floor in front of the station. Next stop, Kagami. Press the buzzer if you'd like to get off. Ooh, I want to press the button. Me too, Mirai. Me too. <laughs> Come on, kids. This is us. No mix stream. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, this will be fun. <laughs> this will be fun. Uh, hey Josh, how you doing? Uh, where are we? Hmm. 
No, make stream. There we go. Come on, kids. This is us. I'll do some hydrates shortly. Streetcar station. Oh, look at how pretty it is. Yay, we're here. Nope, off she runs. Hey, no running, Miran. Off. Hey, Mum, is Mariah really sick? She seems so healthy and normal. My name's Minato. That's my mum standing next to me. That feisty girl who ran off a second ago is my little sister, Mariah. Yeah, you heard right. Mariah's kind of sick. Though she doesn't know it yet. Okay, yeah, this text to go faster. Yay, take off! Vroom! Jesus Christ. Hey, I said no running. Real voice. Oh, God. Here we go. All you really need is a small nudge to get moving. Give it a shot. Ah, okay, so I can move now. Um, so if I... Uh, Mama and Mary went on ahead. I should try to catch up. No coins left nearby. Okay. Um, what about if I go... Ah, menu. Here we go. Um, just wait, hide main screen UI, what? Ah, oh, so you can like take screenshots and stuff. That's cool. Um, no, I want the options. Do I have to? Again from here, yep, yeah, okay, um, that's the screenshot button. Good. Uh, um, I don't want to quit and go to the menu, but I think I need to. Oh, to title. There we go. To title. Return to title. Yes. So I've saved it there at least. And then I can... Oh. There we go. Um, when are we going to get here by a train? Right. Settings. Let's go to fast so I can keep up with, because otherwise I feel like my speech is stilted, you know? It's, yeah. <laughs> yes, continue playing. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to start on those hydrates as well. I think that's a good idea. Awesome. Okay. Talking to people. Approach a character on screen and you'll see a dialogue bubble appear over their head. Press A in front of a character with a speech bubble above their head to talk to them. Try talking to Mirai now. Shall. Perfect. Hey, mommy, this is where you and daddy met, right? That's, that's right. He took you to the movies on your first date, right? I love movies. Mirai volume, you don't need to shout. Fine, but you have to promise to tell me more about daddy, all right? Or well, okay, I should say. All right, I promise. My parents got divorced years ago. Mirai doesn't even remember what dad looks like. And the truth is, recently I've been having trouble remembering too. I have no clue what happened to dad after my parents' divorce or what he's doing now. Well, not no clue. I've got one. I found a holiday card my dad sent at my aunt's house completely by accident. And from it, I learned. That's not fair. Uh, hey, mommy, daddy still lives in Kagami, right? Huh? <laughs> What's the big idea, Mariah? I said we couldn't let her know we knew that. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, I forgot. How old is she? Like five, seven? Mariah, how did you? It's a secret, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna run ahead now. We'll talk later, Minato. How? Uh, okay. Hold it right there, Missy. Uh, I'm gonna go get her. Keep up, okay? Is it? Okay, it's my turn now. When it does the fade to black thing, I think that means it's my turn. The other two have already gone on ahead. You'll need to follow after them.
townsperson. Yes, I saw your mum and sister head off that way. Aren't you going with them? By the stars. Hey, you, there, boy, hold your horses. What? This guy looks like a weirdo. <laughs> Aha, I knew it. You were born under a blessed star, boy. Did you know that? Did you? Uh, pleased to meet you, blessed one. I'm a seer, a fortune teller of sorts. Right. So, care for a reading? And fear not, I won't charge you a dime. Uh... The seer will help you learn how to play the game. He's sort of like an interactive tutorial. You'll probably run into him in all sorts of odd places from here on out. If you're ever confused about how to play the game, or what to do next, check out the seer's council. Hmm, seems fishy to me, but he might be able to help. What should I do? Let's open help, let's have a look. What cosmic secrets shall I reveal? Talking, searching, saving the game, hints. Yeah, now nah, we're good. I see. Well, come by if you ever change your mind. Perhaps I'll have new cosmic secrets to reveal then. Run away! <laughs> oh dear. Um. Who dares park a car in front of my home? Shabby or not, someone lives here. Me! Sure. Puppy! Woof, woof! I agree. Run away, little girl. Run away. <sighs> to Main Street. Alrighty. It you, Sheba. Hello. Mm hmm. Wee! Do you ever calm down? Hey, Mum, what was this area like back when you were young? Oh, hmm. I, th I think there was a cigarette shop right over there. That's a weird thing to remember. I guess you remember this area pretty well, though. I do. I had a lot of fun memories around here. Oh, did that just skip something? Thinking back, they were fun times, weren't they? Are you heading to the memorial service? Here, take this. Is that a flyer, Mum? Kagami Elementary School. Memorial service for victims of the Great Quake. It was a terrible disaster, really. Two children died so young. I feel like something else just skipped. No, it wasn't. Okay. You're attending, right, Mum? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize. Were you related to the deceased? N no, not exactly. Oh, that's a relief. Still, I put my foot in my mouth. Sorry for bothering you. Are you sure it you, Jas? Be good while I'm at the service, okay, Minato? And keep an eye on Mirai for me. Got it. What? You're going alone, Mummy? Sorry, Mirai. Oh, I almost forgot. Minato, you know my phone number in case of emergency, right? Yeah, I'll write it on the back of this flyer. Don't lose it. Go, new item added to catalogue. Number 002. Flyer. Where is 001? As you progress through the story, you'll find all sorts of interesting bits and bobs. You can read more about the objects you've acquired or the things you've witnessed in the collection, accessible from the menu. Probs on the train. E no, I couldn't move on the train. Maybe at the stop, maybe at, like at the station. Well, I'm off. Don't forget we're meeting at the station later. Got it? Got it. Take care, Mum. She's gone. It's time for our secret mission, right, Captain? Wow, Mariah, I'm impressed. You do remember some things. How could I forget? <laughs> That's right. We're on a top secret mission. Our dad lives somewhere in this town, and we're going to find him. I've got a little confession to make. I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to find my dad. But today's top secret mission is just a cover for my ultra mega code red real top secret mission. Uh -uh. So how are we going to find him? Mm, that's the problem, isn't it? Oh, 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 idea. Let's go ask the local police person. Huh? Yeah, dad's got a really weird last name, right? I bet if we ask the police person, he'll know it right away. Wow, that's a pretty clever idea. Good thinking. <laughs> I did good. You did. Now let's find the police box. Okay. 
Come on in, take a look around. Ah, you look like the high strung type. Most of my customers are. Excuse me? Ah, dance studio. Okay. Interesting. Cafe and dance studio. Uh, kitty! Meow. Uh, I don't want to work ever again. I slave away every day and does life get better? No. Things were much better back in the old days. It was... you could... well, it was better, no doubt about it. Uh, the police box? It's right there. Hmm, where is she hiding? Uh, literally this way. Right here, if you're looking for her. Shh, she'll find me! Now go away! Yep, okay. Good job. Good job. Alright, here we go. We stand inclusive language in this house. Need more troops, yes. More units on the battlefield. Found it, found it, find his keepers. This box place is mine now. Uh, hello there, little girl? Sorry, but that's not how property works. Can I help you with something else? Yeah, we're looking for... Whoops, I forgot again. Toki Watari. I've butchered the pronunciation of that, but that's okay. Oh yeah, dad's last name. Um, excuse me, but do you know if a man named Toki Watari lives around here? Toki well, what now? Toki Watari, it's a weird name, I know. Toki, Toki, hmm. Sorry kid, never heard of any Toki Safari around these parts. Are you sure you have the name right? It's Toki Watari, and I'm sure. Well, if I met someone called Toki Wari, I'd remember. Maybe try asking around, somebody might recognize the name. I'd suggest asking the old lady who runs the diner. She's a great listener and hears all sorts of town gossip. Not Toki Safari. <laughs> great, I'll do that. Where can I find her? Take a left and follow the road until you get to Second Street. It's right next. It's right by the big Shinto Shrine Gate. Thanks, sir. I really appreciate it. The silly police person helped us. Yep, let's go find this diner. Maybe don't call people silly when they help you. Hints! Press X if you need a hint as to what to do next. You'll find tips on what to do next and how to do it. If you're ever lost, give it a tap. To Second Street. Turkey Safari. Ah, oh dear. What? It, it's happening again. It's happening again. Ruh -ruh. Cemetery. Uh, excuse me. Do you do you know what? Uh, do you happen to know someone named Manabu Tokuwatari? Hmm. Why? Yes, of course. It was only a few days ago, after all. What the? Um, hello, Earth to Minato. Ah, Sika! Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Happy Wednesday to you too. Are you having a good day? I hope you are. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Lasagna is just spaghetti cake. So I have been told. So I've been told, but like cake, lasagna is delicious. Uh, um, hello, Earth to Minato. Ooh, I know what's happening. Were you having a weird dream again? <laughs> Daydream in this case, but yeah. Recently, I've been having the most bizarre dreams. In them, I'm in places I've never seen, talking to people I've never met. But something about them is just so real. It kind of freaks me out. And now they're not just plaguing me while I sleep. Sometimes I see them even when I'm awake. N no, I was just spacing out. Sorry for the hold up. I just baked 72 triple chocolate chip cookies. Life is good. That sounds amazing. Yeah, amazing. I know about the dreams. Uh, oh, that's the seer again, but I don't need to talk to him. Um, oh, excuse me. They're closed today? Why? Why? I smell like a dead squirrel. I need a bath. Good. Question mark. Move aside, young'un. My grandson's in trouble. If I don't wire him that cash right away. I'm here to sell insurance, but this whole town's geriatric. Ugh, I guess it's the same everywhere nowadays. Konbini store! Konbini store! That's cute. 
What's the trouble, son? Lost? Not surprising. All the streets around here look the same. You're on 2nd Street. Over that way, you'll find Kagami Shrine and the cemetery. Head that way and you'll find yourself on Main Street. That's how to get to the train station. Got it? Good. Now head along home and watch out for traffic. I'm just gonna walk down the middle of the street. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, this is the woman diner person. Yep. Ah, uh, what was the map makeup? Looks like the shiny pretty bug one. Um, no one's guessed it yet. So if you'd like to take a stab, you're more than welcome to. I have it and it flies. Oh, oh, she's old. I bet she's the one. I bet she's the lady we're looking for. Hmm? Oh, hello there, sweetie. Can I help you? I should guess the shiny pretty bug one. Um, um, question. We're looking for someone. His name is... is... whoops, I forgot again. Toki Watari! Seriously, I'm starting to worry about you. Toki Watari? My, I haven't heard that name in ages. You know him? I know the name. Everyone back then did. They had this gorgeous house, so there were something like local celebrities. What about now? Where can I find this house? Sorry, but it went down ages ago. I don't know what happened to them after that. How long ago was this? Why, it would have been back during the war, wouldn't it? War? What war? The last one was like forever ago. Um, sorry, but I'm not interested in family history or whatever. I'm looking for someone with that name alive now. Oh, well then. I'm not sure if I can help. Actually, come to think of it, the priest might know something. Um, who's that? The nice man in charge of the town's Buddhist temple, sweetie. That place has been here since the dawn of time. Well, what is it good for? Not finding people you're looking for that are alive, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Someone is going to punt Mirai at some point. Yeah, but she's like a small child, so probably not. Probably not. Uh, sorry, I didn't follow you the other. That's okay, Scream. Not a problem at all. Totally fine. Ah, uh, good. Try the temple cemetery. The priest is usually out tending to it around this time. Cleaning it is one of his daily rituals. Done it, Ello. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And banish them. That just makes her infinitely easy to, easier to punt. Do not punt the children. Yay, hide and seek. Let's go find this priest person, Minato. It's not far. Just turn over there and it'll be right there. Can't miss it. Thank you for all the help. Right, right. Off you go and good luck. The cemetery, huh? That does not bode well. <clears throat> Did you know a comet's going to pass overhead soon? It comes by once every 33 years. Used to be you could get a lovely view of the comet up there from Kagami Shrine. Not for much longer, though. If that tragedy hadn't befallen the priest's only daughter, then I'm sure they wouldn't be tearing the shrine down. Oh, did I? Oh, I must have double tapped. Oops. <laughs> hey there, brother. Care for a tune? Uh, who are you? Should I be calling the cops? Ha, easy now. I guess you're too young to have heard of me yet. My name's Pilgrim. I wander these streets, singing my songs and getting along. You can talk to Pilgrim to have him play different background musics from the game for you. However, there is a little catch. Gotta spend coins. Glad to hear it. So, which song tickles your heartstrings today? Ah, we're good. Uh, leave. See you around, brother. Stop by whenever the mood takes you. Zoo lag ATB. No. Uh, we might not be allowed to punt children, but we can want to. Fair, meaty. Fair. Can I go up to the shrine, or am I supposed to go to the... Cemetery. Okay. To the cemetery. I have another hydrate. Gotta keep that voice going. Especially considering this is a heavily story-based game. Okay. Eep, Minato, this, this place is spooky. Maybe we should leave. Why? Ooh, let me guess. You're scared of ghosts, aren't you? No, I'm not. Don't worry, the sun's out, so the evil ghosts won't eat you. They fear the light of day. There are ghosts here? <laughs> oh, wow, she's gotten a lot bigger lately, but she's still just a little kid at heart. Don't worry, you don't have to come in. Wait right there, I'll be back in a jiffy. She's gonna run off. She's gonna run off, you numpty. Silver riding netheray. No. No. 
This is the place from the dream! I, I recognize this place. I'm sure of it. I saw it in my dream. And where's the priest? Examine. This gravestone is real big. I wonder whose it is. Let's see. Wow, this name is really hard to read. Yeah, no clue. Oh well. A visitor? How unusual. What brings you here? Ah, uh, a relative of the Tokiwatari family, perhaps? It is a fine thing to see one so young pay respect to those who have gone before us. I'm sure they smile to see you here. T Tokiwatari? That's how you read the name on this gravestone? Oh my, I got ahead of myself, didn't I? You're not a relative of the, a relative of the family, then? Uh, um, do you know the Tokiwataris? Of course. The family is one of our oldest and most respected parishioners. Ah, uh, parishioner is a rather hard word for a child of your age. To simplify, c can I ask a question? Do you... Do you happen to know someone named Manabu Tokiwatari? Hmm? Why, yes, of course. It was only a few days ago after... Oopsie. It was only a few days ago, after all. A sad thing, his death. A lovely funeral, but a sad thing indeed. Ah, uh, Shadow Bob Drone was a pretty bug one I was thinking of. No. Do we still get make up for non wow streams? Absolutely, Fairy. Absolutely. Um, if it if it's not Mount Makeup because there's something else going on, like I could be unwell or I could have been like super busy and not had time or something like that. If it's not Mount Makeup, I'll definitely let you know. It's a good time back a bit later. Not a problem seeker. Enjoy. Will I eventually win if I just guessed Arcanist Mana Saber every day? I think I've already done the Arcanist Mana Saber, so no. Uh, it was already a makeup look that was done. There you go. Yeah, Dad is dead. Rip kid's ambition. I can't remember how long I stood there. At first, I struggled just to process it. Thoughts spun through my head, circling and circling until I was dizzy with them. I was in shock, of course. I'd just learned that my father was dead. But at that particular moment, there was something else that had stunned me even more. How is this possible? How did I see what was going to happen before it did? I'd never been here before or seen that priest. That dream, what was it? Bum bum bum! Ooh! Chapter 1, Premonitions End. It's a good time to do a battle. Save your progress. A hey, yes. Always save the progress. Yes, I read the file. Is it automatically doing battles again yet? No, of course not. Uh, this one. Boom! Let's go. Save complete. I think. Actually, this one might be closer than I than we think. I'm still not certain we're gonna win. It'll come down to the wire, but it could actually we could actually win this one. I don't think we're gonna make this one. Like the ally numbers are going down a lot slower than the enemy numbers, though. That's the thing. Like we're actually doing pretty well. <laughs> Love that pack going around the back of the hedges. Numpties. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Yeah, let's flank them. Yeah, but they'll be dead by the time we flank them. <laughs> Look at that! We did a win! Well done, you lot. Thank you so much for placing those units. Let me know if you got a skin. Uh, congratulations to Loz, Yufus, and Yori on your bonus shit. Well done. And now I've actually earned my thousand gold. So I'm going to take that. Get an extra 250 for my effort. 
20 battles won. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Na 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 So I need to place another tank, so I might as well get that out the way. It's the same map. It looks like fewer enemies. So I've placed two tanks. Turn that quest in. How long have we got left on the two days? Cool. Battlefield. Wonderful. Let's jump back to here where we're still saving the game. Can you can heal a Randy Warrior? Hey, congratulations, dude. Well done. Well done. Threatening to threatening the flank affects morale. Okay, okay, sure, maybe. Alright, cool. So we have we have cleared chapter one. Chapter two, cemetery. After the initial shock wore off, I asked the priest to tell me about my dad. I learned that he passed away last year from lung disease. And I learned that he'd been living a quiet life here, alone, in the years before he died. Honestly, I can't remember what went through my head. Everything was a blur. I didn't notice how tightly my fists were clenched, or when Mirai showed up looking for me. Chapter 2. Mirai and me. I wonder how many chapters there are. Minato, are you done yet? I'm getting bored. Oh, hi Mirai. Did you find daddy? How long until I can see him? Mirai, dad, he's... What's wrong? I'm sorry to disturb you, but your name is Mirai, little girl? Yep, that's me. Th then you must be... Minato? Yeah, how did you guess that? Unbelievable. This is truly a miracle. It must be the will of the divine. Praise be. Amen. The fuck? Please wait here just a moment. I have something to give to you two. I'll be back faster than you can recite the Heart Sutra. Don't move an inch, okay? It is a memento of Manabu's, your father. I think I already have all the skins. I've also maxed out tokens, which I didn't know could happen. Give me golds. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Uh, he said not to leave, so I'm going to talk to Mirai. Hey, Minato, what's a memento? Oh, it's... Oh, this is hard. Is it something like this necklace? Huh? What makes you say that? Mum gave me it. She said it was a memento of Mum's mum. So that used to be Grandma's. Yep, Grandma died, right? That's why... Wait a sec. Then that means... That's not it, Mirai. It's... Well... Pant. Gasp. Sorry for the... Wait. Look, Mirai, a distraction! <laughs> same, Minato, same. Hmm? This is what I wanted to give you, Minato. A notebook? New item added to catalogue. Seven mysteries no- Ah! There you go, number 001. Throw a smoke bomb. Yeah, look. Manabu gave it to me for safekeeping. It was Dad's? Correct, and I'd like you to have this as well. I found it stuck between the pages. A map? I don't understand. It is a map, of this town to be exact. It's quite old too. This is what the town was like back when I was much, much younger. Why did my dad have this old map? Sorry, but I, I can't help you there. He never said. Um, do you know why Dad wanted me to have this? No, all he told me is that one day a boy and girl would come to pay their respects at his grave. He insisted that when that happened, I simply must give you this notebook. He, want us to have, he wanted us to have this? Yes, but how peculiar. He was in such good health then. I thought he was having a, do a joke at my expense. I'm confused. What's going on? Why haven't you found Dad yet? I'll explain later, Mariah. Children, may I ask a question? I apologise if I'm mistaken, but... Sorry, we're in a bit of a rush. Huh? We are? Come on, Mirai, let's go. Hey, wait up. Yes, wait, I wasn't finished yet. Why don't you, like, I know it's hard to, like, have to process that information and then give that information to your sister, but, like, oh, I don't know. Slow down, wait for me. 
Wow, we ran away fast, huh? I don't know why, but it seemed right. Hey, Minato, what did that guy in the funny clothes give you? A notebook and an old map. A map? I want to see! Let me see! Sure, here you go. What do you think? Let's have a look, shall we? So that's the sh so so. There's the shrine right on against the edge of it that way. So we've got we've got the the station and there's a puppy. We talked to the puppy and then there's Main Street with the cigarette shop as he was as Mum was talking about. And then there's you go up and then there's the shrine and the cemetery that way. If we go the other way, that's going to be the school up the top there, I think. And then a farm of some kind maybe with a wrapped candy in the sky and there's a truck that's been erased and a person a zombie looks like he's got a chunk of head missing or maybe it's a cat or something or a bear i don't i can't tell what do you think what do you think he's a kid no i know he's a kid but like i don't know I don't know. I think I think it would help if I knew how old the kids were to put that kind of stuff in context. Cuz like in my head she's like 5. But if she's like 5, I I just I don't know, maybe the cuz obviously this is Japan. Um maybe the culture is different and they let 5-year-olds run off. But I don't I don't know. It's um mm. All right. What do you think? Oh, wow. Look at how bad the drawings are. I don't get it. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, but I guess it doesn't matter. It's too old to come in handy. Hey, Ethna, how are you going? Can I see the notebook? I want to read what's in it. Yeah, good idea. Let's read it together. Let's see. Oh, excuse me. They do. It's a rite of passage kind of thing. It's not uncommon to send young kids out to do errands. I heard that in Japan it's normal five to six-year-old travel by themselves by trains, for instance. Interesting. Interesting. Can they read at five? I can't remember how old I was when I started reading. Actually, shit, I would have been like three. Hmm, okay. Teaches them to rely on the community. Cool. Cool. The cover says, The Seven Mysteries. And I can't quite put my finger on it, but I feel like I've seen the handwriting somewhere before. I still feel like if if mum was shocked when Mirai said, doesn't dad still live here? So she knew that dad lives here. How much knowledge does she have? Does she know that he passed away? I don't know. We'll find out, I'm sure. You seem to manage in here in the UK. You can't leave a 12-year-old alone at home. Yeah. Mr. Five is totally into drug books, mostly by himself. Doesn't mean I'd put him on a train by himself, though, of course. Well, I mean, the the culture is also different, too. Like, you know, it's, yeah, totally different. Brief moment in my youth, we were taught to rely on the neighbours. I'm going to read it out loud now, okay? Go ahead. To you who would dare unravel the seven mysteries of Kagami, I entrust this notebook. Seek out the girl, Nozomi. Solve the seven mysteries. Do this and your truest wish will be granted. Minato? Yeah? I think you've been watching too much anime. <laughs> the, that's really what it says! Honest! See, I didn't just make it all up. Wow, you're right. And ew, this person's handwriting is gross. Oh, check this out. The seven mysteries are written out on the next page. The Haunted Train, Phantom of the Bathhouse, The School Pool Kappa, Tsuchinoko? I think that's how I'd pronounce that. The Smiling Woman, The Magi, The Seven Mysteries Notebook. Wow, this is starting to sound cool. It sounds stupid to me. Why do boys like this sort of stuff? Hey, there's one last thing written here. Behind you lies Kagami Shrine. Something waits for you inside. Ha! You're right. This is pretty ridiculous. Um, Menato, I think you should turn around. K Kagami Shrine. That's a creepy coincidence. Do you think we should go in? Cause boys be stupid. Look, I'm not. I'm not gonna confirm or deny. 
I mean, look, people of any gender can be pretty fucking stupid. Look, that's what the game's called. The kids we were. Coins. Coins can be found scattered about town in all sorts of unexpected places. Hang on to them, they might prove useful down the line. The places they're hidden change each chapter, so make sure to search every nook and cranny of town for them. Special hints. Oops. Uh, the hint screen will tell you if there are any coins in the area. It looks like a few coins are hidden somewhere on this map, but where to start looking? Hmm, I don't know about you, but that little stone Jesus, J Jizo? Jizo statue by the diner looks mighty suspicious to me. Aren't we supposed to go into the shrine though? Not to the diner? <laughs> look you as you say. Indeed I do. That is the thing that I say regularly. Oh look! This is the place the notebook was talking about, right? I wonder what I'm supposed to find here. Mirai, do you want to come with me or stay out here? Don't you dare leave me alone. I'm coming with you. You got it. Come on, let's go. Alright, so if I press this button, there are three coins hidden nearby. Good. Shoot. Oh, that's... Is it a puppy? Oh, it's a cat. Okay. Close enough. Oh, there's cats everywhere! <gasps> Kitties! Three coins. Got all the coins? Got all the coins. Okay. Um, they're smashing it all up. I think I hear someone talking over there. Me too, and they're real loud. Let's check it out. Sorry kid, this is a construction site. Scram. Oh, and that passageway there is 100% off limits. Don't even tr think of trying to sneak in. Noted. Meow. Follow that kitty. I think the path the kitty took leads to the other side. Let's see where it leads. To the other side. Shrine dig site. Oh, the dig site from the intro, the little opening thing. What do we do with this thing? What do we do? Come on, use your brain, Einstein. You know what this is. So you think it's one too, eh? You bet it's a bomb, I tells you. It's left over from the war. You, you think it'll go kablooey? Might, then again, it's kind of shiny to be a bomb. Almost looks more like a mirror to me. Well, whatever it is, we gotta go tell the boss. Y yeah, he'll know what to do. Go, go, go. Get out of here before it blows. Hey, you kids. What are you doing? This place is dangerous. Get out of here. Run for the hills, kids, while you still can. Go, go, go. I'm not concerned at all. N no way. It can't be. Is this really happening? Hey, Mirai? Do you remember that secret I told you? About how I keep having these weird dreams every night? Well, one of them was about this crazy glowing square thing half buried in the dirt. And it looked just like this. How can this be real? The good thing about bombs is they can only explode once! Oh no, Candy. Oh no. Hello, Nano. It does look cute, doesn't it? This is on Switch. Uh, I got a key from the developers. And it's releasing on PC in like a week or so via Steam, if you are interested. Yeah! Boo! Gyaaah! Ah ha 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 ha! You jumped like a million feet in the air! You brat, that wasn't funny. Pokes bomb with a stick. Don't poke the bomb with a stick. With the stick. Me. To. That's not creepy at all. I thought it was pretty funny. Well, you know what I think? Minato. 
Huh? Did you say something? No. Minato! Gah? Um, yes, that's me! The box is talking to us. I have concerns. Wait, what the fuck happened? Minato looks like Minecraft Ash Ketchum! You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I heartily disagree that it wasn't funny. What the? I agree. Ah, Mirai? What what happened? Where are we? We were just at the shrine and then we're inside your head, Minato. <laughs> She's watching too much anime now. Ugh, what's with that stupid smirk? Get rid of it. It's getting on my nerves. Uh, Mirai? Is it just me or do you sound different? More grown up? You thought you were real sneaky last night when you threw away your carrots, didn't you? You saw that? You've got a big crush on that girl Haruka in your class, right? Oh, uh? And under your bed, behind the suitcase, you hit a stack of- Ah! Stop, 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 stop! <laughs> How do you know all that? Have you been spying on me? No. You're in your head. She is an embodiment of your own fucking subconscious. Also, thanks for caring about me. I know how worried you are about me being sick and all. Wait, how did you... You weren't supposed to know about that. Follow me. I'll explain everything. Wait a sec. Give me a moment. Off we go. Off we go. What now? I'm about to tell you an unbelievable story. It's a bit long, but will you hear me out? Of course. Um, how's it hanging, Minato? Um, who are you? Where's Mirai? And how do you know my name? Sorry for startling you. I thought it'd be easier to talk if I took on your sister's form, but I think it had the opposite effect. Now, I'd like to have a very important conversation. Will you come with me, please? What? The actual fuck is going on. You think this is a dream, right? You're not entirely wrong. It's similar, but different. My appearance now and earlier are transitory, like a reflection. But this isn't a dream, Minato. This is real, and so is what I'm about to tell you. I'll get straight to the point, otherwise we'll be here forever. I'm you. Well, the future you. From 33 years from now, to be precise. What are you to- Mph. Ah, my voice! Why can't I talk? Sorry, Minato. <laughs> Minato question mark. I like that. Sorry, Minato, I need you to be quiet and listen right now. I don't have much power left. It's Professor Oak! I know, right? Heading to work. I hope I don't get anything. Get any- huh? Can confirm boys' heads are empty. Oh dear. Um... How about no fucking way I'm not following creepy body snatcher dude. Yeah, right? Like, I- mmm. Her power? Why do I have to keep following you around the dig site? If you don't have much power left, just tell me. That object there? It's a ship. A vessel that can, tra that can traverse the fourth dimension. In simple parlance, a time machine. In fact, the same one that shows up in that famous local urban legend, though it goes by a different name there. I've spent the last 33 years of my life researching this ship. How long has it been buried there? Where did it come from and why? But all my efforts proved fruitless. It's a mystery I just couldn't crack, although... Oh my god, stop running away! Come here, you person. There is one thing I learned. Once every 33 years, it can send a person into the future, or the past. It can also grant the power to let people converse with people in the past, just like we're doing now. Are you following so far? I don't really ha- uh, mm. 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 Ah, yes, I forgot you can't talk right now. Well, I'll assume that's a yes. Um, on holidays, I can't stage them. So oh, if one second, Erin. If I can take three seconds of your time. I know I said one, but now I need three, and now I need about five. Look! It's Grogu Logu! Grogu Logu hath arrived. Um, so I'm thinking we might do this together on stream uh, in very early February. 
before Lovers in the Air kicks off. Um, and that'll give people enough time to get themselves a set if they so desire. Look how big the box is. Um, yep, yeah, I'm very, I'm very pleased with this. Uh, and, 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 and. His head moves, it like rotates and goes up and down. His ears move up and down and his fingers are, um, uh, what's it as well? His fingers move as well. So um, I'm thinking we build it on stream in early Feb. Yes, good, wonderful. Thank you so very much, so very much. It's beautiful and he's beautiful and I love him and I can't wait to build him, so thank you. Just wanted to let you know it had arrived safely. Um, good. Ba -da 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 power. Um, oh, snaps this Pokemon X Terminator! Oh, I don't have volume, but I seem- Ah! Oh, well, you can check the VOD later. Someone let Zeran know that they can check the VOD later if they so desire. <laughs> also, captions. Although they might not be very accurate. Okay. I'll assume that's a yes. I have a favor to ask, something I desperately need you to do for me, something only you can do. Yay! All right, I've spent 33 years of my life in pursuit of this one great purpose. I want you, concerning, to change the future, less concerning. Still concerning, but less concerning. The kids we were, is that just like the loading thing? Cause it said before, like now saving, I guess not. I, I'm not sure. Wow, is he for real? Enjoy your dinner, Zaren. I hope it's delicious. Have a nice night, everyone. You too, you too. Oh, we're in the cemetery now. Life hasn't gone the way you expected it to, has it? For example, your late father lost forever to you. How does he know about that? He is you from the future. Don't you want to change that? Well, you can, you have that power, but to do it, you need to travel into the past. 33 years to be precise. I went once too, you know. 33 years ago, I stood where you did now and leapt through time. And I failed. It's too late for me. I can't go back anymore, not that far. That's why I need you to go for me. I want you to reclaim the future we should have had. A happy future. A future with our family. You, you can't expect me to believe all this. Ah, my voice, it's back. You're worried about her, aren't you? Mirai, her illness is quite serious. How did you know that? He's you. Isn't it obvious? Because I'm you. If you would just believe me, it... No, now's not the time. You won't believe me now, but you'll understand soon. I know you will. I'm you, after all. Hey, Dory, how you doing? Welcome back. See, now it says now loading, rather than that, yep. You'll be back with your answer before too long, and I'll be here, waiting. Oh, and by the way, when you fill up to it, I'd like you to open that notebook and read the final page. But please don't wait too long. You'll lose your only chance to go back when they dig out that ship. Sorry, I talked your ear off. I know this is a lot to take in. One last thing before I forget, a warning. Keep an eye on your sister. Ominous. Bum bum bum! Chapter two, Mirai and me. End. End of chapter two. Brilliant. Yes, save the progress. Overwrite, yes. Chapter two cleared. How many chapters are there? Genuine question. If anyone knows or can find out how many chapters there are, I would be interested. She's evil. Dun dun dun. Good, I'm at work watching you eating pizza and also ordering bubble tea. Yay, I influenced. How's the fingy? He got his stitches out today. In case a creepy dude from the future steals her body again. Right, meaty? Like, what the fuck? Was that a dream? <laughs> Mirai, what was I just doing? Um, have you gone all funny? You're just standing there, duh. She's acting like nothing out of the ordinary happened. Did that all that happen in the blink of an eye? Let's go, Mirai. Sure. Chapter three, the adventure begins in chapter three. <laughs> Chapters one and two were merely a prologue. Right, Shrine Grounds. There are no coins here, are there? No, I could. 
Actually, what did that say? Almost time to meet up with mum, heading by the streetcar station, go back to town. Okay. It's getting dark, huh? Yeah, and it's about time to meet up with mum. At the station, right? Yep, let's go. Off she runs. Oh, dream time. Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. Yeah! I imagine someone just got hit by the train. Or like, nearly. Who makes good announcer lady? I would love to do voice acting. Legit. Wh what was that scream? It's a hidden coin somewhere. Bike? No, it's not on the bike. It's in the boxes. Two coins! Okay. Back we go. Boop, 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 boop. I love how they move, like you just kind of plonk people along the way. Like, I love that. That's cool. To Main Street. Yeah, I, I would love to do voice acting, but I don't think I can do like enough different voices to be like a proper voice actor person. Ooh, we've got a coin nearby. Is it in the parking meter thing? That would make sense. No. Didn't they say something about a, a Jizo statue or something? On Main Street? Coin. We're good. One coin. One day they'll hide a coin in a bag, and I will find it. There you are, you two. Mommy! So how was the memorial? It was fine. It helped me remember a lot of things I haven't thought about in years. Cool, I, I think. What did you do with your brother today, Mirai? Um, he told me not to tell you. Brr. I'll let it slide today. Come on, let's go home. You're unusually quiet, Minato. Is everything okay? Uh, I'm fine. No problems here. If you say so. Cough, wheeze. Not great. Today was the craziest day ever. I needed time to think, to sort it all out. Let me start from the beginning. What was the name of the town we visited today? Kagami. That's right, Kagami. It's where my mum and my dad used to live. It's a quiz, guys! It's quiz time! Parenting 101. I wish I would rando find coins walking down the street. Right? I agree. And I mean, like, rando is a valid word. That's fine. So <laughs> that would be nice, though, hey? Dad, me and Mirai spent the whole day looking for him, but he had passed away. I still can't believe it, but it's true. I saw his grave and everything. Oh, yeah, there's the cemetery. I got something there, but what was it? A notebook. Yeah, that's it. The Seven Mysteries notebook. What a weird name. After I read it, I went to the shrine. The most unbelievable thing happened to me there. Someone asked me to change the future. Yeah, that was it. Someone asked me to travel into the past to change the future. Man, that was such a weird dream. It was a dream. Wasn't it? Dreams. They've been kind of freaking me out lately. It feels like every night I have these bizarre ones I can't explain. And now I'm starting to have them while I'm awake too. What happened today? 
I don't think that was a normal dream. I mean, what I saw was impossible. I dreamed things I hadn't done yet? Yes. That's right. I dreamed about things that hadn't happened yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Minato. There's got to be a rational explanation for this, right? Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. That guy asked me to change the future. Ato. Dreaming about things that haven't happened yet. Time travel? Mirai? Wait, wasn't there something about her? Earth to Minato. Oh, shit. I, I don't feel so good. My thoughts are spinning around in circles. I think my brain's fried. Uh, I feel so dizzy. No, 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 no. Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. Watch your fucking sister. What was the last thing that guy said again? I have a feeling it was important. Keep an eye on your sister. Ah, oh, shit. I know there's a battle. Give me a minute. Keep an eye on your sister. Your attention, please. The train will be arriving momentarily. Please stay behind the yellow line. And now he has no choice. He has to go back so that he can fix what just happened. Good fucking god. Alright, I think that's a good time to do a battle. What do you reckon? <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Right, okay. Look, I thought this was gonna be a cute, fun little game. Uh look, there it's some it's it's some heavy. It's some heavy. It's fine. It's fine. He had one fucking job, kid. Yeah, but technically he shouldn't- his job shouldn't be watching his little sister, either. He is also a child. Keep this in mind. Hey Axiom, how are you going? Na 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 I'm massively like out of whack with the sound, aren't I? <laughs> I just remembered because of the Yeah, because of the delay that I have to set up for the switch. It's going well, long day, tired. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Well, I hope the rest of your day runs pleasantly. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. All right. We did a win. Congratulations to Meaty, McFly, and Fairy on your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards to the next battle. I'm gonna eat a snack. I don't think I've eaten enough today. Assists from healing. Monks can heal, can't they? I need to level my monk, so let's do that. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Actually, while we're while we're taking a moment, the kids we were chapters. I wanna know how many chapters there are. <clears throat> um, okay, so I've seen something that says- oh, 16. It says 16 chapters. There you go. Well, that's- that's what a review says. Uh, when to use your bubble tea code, but said invalid or expired code. That's not right. Um, the code is Fiamma, just F-I-A-M-M-A. -M -M -A. Yeah. Um, hang on a second. That's not good at all. Give me a minute. Uh, it says the 
That says that that's my code. Link in Twitch shows what if you want to know. Ah, is that the one from down underneath? Okay, let me fix that then. My apologies. I thought I'd fixed it every- I thought I'd changed it everywhere, but I must have missed that one spot. The code is just Fiamma, same as my username. Um, let me fix that one. I missed one. Uh, let's edit panels. Fiamma. Submit. There we go. Yeah, the link's wrong as well. Cool. All right. Let me just copy that. Submit. There we go. Fixed. All fixed. But yeah, um, the li it's fine. You can use either the link or the, the, like, the affiliate code, like the discount code. It's okay if you didn't use the right link. You can still stick the, um, the code in at the MBA. At, your, at the checkout, type in Fiamma as your code, and that should work as, like, the coupon code. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, give it another try, Dory. Give the give the code Fiamma a try and let me know how you go. You've been doing looks. How's the game? It's going well. It's had some pretty, like, whoa, dealing with some stuff. You found a bug. Thanks for reporting it. Yes, I very much appreciate it. Very, very much. Uh, bubble tea box arrived today. Ah, meaty, yay. Now to figure it out, what flavors did you order? What flavors did you order? Okay, it took me a second to process what happened. There was this horrible screech and it felt like my mind went numb. Someone screamed. It took me forever to realize it was mum. Wow, sob. Lucky a bit, enjoy. Hey kid, are you all right? Phew, you're okay, thank God. You were incredible there. If you were one second slower, what's going on? Mirai, are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? Mirai, what's wrong? You're so pale. My head's all dizzy, Mum. It, it is, but the doctor said it was too early for the symptoms to start showing. Fruit box, mango lychee peach, and passion fruit. Yum! Oh my god, that's gonna be oh, such good flavors. You're gonna love it. Amazing. Uh, when Mum realized Mirai and I weren't hurt, she sunk to her knees with a sob of relief. I saw this all unfold with a strange sense of detachment. It felt unreal, like watching a movie. It was another minute or two before I realized my hands were squeezed into fists so tight my knuckles ached. Everything had happened so fast. There was no way I could have reacted in time if I hadn't already seen it happen. There was no longer any room for doubt. Those dreams I'd been having, they were real. Oh dear. When you feel up to it, I'd like you to open that notebook and read the final page. Then, when the time feels right, I'd like you to come back and see me again. But please don't wait too long. You'll lose your only chance to go back when they dig out that ship. I should have turned to help Mum and Mirai, but I just had to see it again to make sure I wasn't going crazy. My hands trembling, I reached into my backpack and slowly pulled out the notebook. I hesitated then for a second, afraid of what I would find, but with fingers nearly frozen with fear, I forced myself onward. I never imagined that turning a single page could be this hard, and on that fateful, final sheet, this was written. I'm sure you've realised the truth by now. You have the power to see the future. Use that gift. Save your family. That's a lot to put on a kid. That's a lot to put on a kid. The next thing I knew, I was running as if my life depended on it. I think I heard someone shout my name, scream for me to stop, but I didn't care. My destination was clear as day. I needed to hurry, faster, faster. I had to make it in time before I lost my only chance to fix things. The sky is really pretty. Those are gorgeous colors. Sorry, I look, <laughs> I notice things, okay? Faster, faster. Sorry, this area is off limits. They found something suspicious buried back there. Could even be a bomb. 
Wouldn't that be something? Wahaha. I'm just teasing you, kid. All right, now, move along. That guy's a pain and in my way. I need to get through there. Coins? Coin. Called it. Hey, what are you doing out this late? Kids your age should be in bed. Go on, run along home. D did something happen? Huh? Why? Do you know something? Crackle, come in. This is questing urge assistance, Crackle. This is Takashi. Copy that. Scram, kid. Get. Shoo. What, you again? What are you still doing here? Um, uh, oh. That policeman over there was looking for you. He was? He sent me to get you. He said it was urgent. Hmm. Did, did I lay it on too thick? Who did you say sent you? Officer Takahashi sent- Huh? Officer Takahashi sent you? Why didn't he come himself? Wait just a second. Are you pulling my leg here? Officer, over here! What the? Hurry! Oh, oh no! Hurry! Hold on, justice is on its way. Oh lord. Phew, did I luck out. Now's my chance, it's go time. What bubble tea am I having tonight? But who was that shouting just now? Dream time! Well, now that we're on the subject, I suppose now is as good as ever. Huh? Listen to me, Minato. What is it? Mirai isn't going to get better. But what are you saying? But they did all those tests with our, our bone marrow and they really hurt. Nothing took. No way. Minato, I... Cough, 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 hack, wheeze. Mum is also sick, clearly. Mum, are, are you okay? What's wrong? Why are you shaking? I'm okay. No, you're not. Don't lie. My darling boy, will you promise me something? Don't you leave me too, okay? I don't want to be alone. That would be fucking terrifying. Like, knowing your child is sick. I'm guessing at this point, she knows dad's gone. Like, fuck. That dream again. Grapefruit? Ooh, do we have grapefruit left? Hey, Jazz. Grapefruit with the pearls was really ta- Like, usually, usually I go jelly with fruit and pearls with milk. Like, personally. But grapefruit with pearls was so fucking tasty. Like, so tasty. Examine. I should check for coins. Shit. Oh well. Glowing box. Oh no, dream time. Back on the train. Street car. Sorry. You came. I knew you would. I can tell you've made up your mind. Ha, huh, I've recognized that look anywhere. Because I'm you, right? That's right. So, do you believe me now? Or better yet, do you trust your visions? You saw the future, didn't you? That's why you believe me. You've realized that you can save your family. Tell me something. Mirai, is it true? What you saw in your vision? Yes. She can't be cured except with a bone marrow transplant. Mum's wouldn't work, and mine wasn't a match either. I know the real reason you were so desperate to find your father. They said siblings had the best chance of a bone marrow to match. I should have been able to help, but I couldn't. I'm the worst brother in the world. I couldn't help her when she really needed me. Oh, that's heartbreaking. So you tried to find the one remaining blood relative who might be able to help. Your dad, a gamble to find a donor. That's so much to be on a kid, like fuck man. The likelihood a parent's marrow is compatible is low, I know, way lower than a sibling's. Exactly. But I couldn't just give up, could I? Not while I still had a chance to save her. 
You're stronger than I remembered. Sorry, this conversation went on longer than I'd planned. Let's get back to the point. Are you in? I don't even have an option. I'm in. <sighs> Are you sure? This ship is going to transport you 33 years into the past. Once you're there, you're going to have to find a way to stop something from happening. Something? What something? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. If I did, it couldn't be done. Oh, I don't understand, but I guess I'll trust you. I can only tell you one thing for certain. If you're successful, that sad future you saw won't come true. We share the same hopes and dreams, Minato, so go. Save our family. But what am I supposed to do? Easy. Just follow that notebook. It'll show you the way. The notebook? The one about those mysteries? The very one. Your task is to solve them all. Do so and I guarantee it will lead you to the truth. Oh yeah, I need to find... What was her name again? Nozomi. Nozomi, right. I need to find her? Correct. I'll try. I don't really understand any of this, but I'll try. Minato, you cannot disrupt the space-time continuum, speeds off in his DeLorean. Good lord. Uh, one last thing. Oh, Jas, do we have any grapefruit left? Yes. <clears throat> Will I... Will I be able to come back? From the past to now, I mean. You have 72 hours in the past. That's your time limit. After that, you'll be transported back here to the future. 72 hours. The blink of an eye and a lifetime. So, three days. Just that to finish your task. I wonder if there is a fail condition for this game, or if it's such a... Because you know how narrative, like, story games, this is a visual novel style game, right? Like, I wonder if I can actually fuck it up, or if I'm destined to succeed, you know? Yep. I wonder. I guess we're gonna find out, because if anyone can break it, it's me. Alright. Oh, and this may sound familiar, but one last warning. Keep an eye on your sister. She doesn't exist yet, so it's not... Yep, anyway. And so my adventure began- Oh, he doesn't tell us what the thing is familiar. You can't believe it? I know, I couldn't either. Are there multiple endings? I don't know. I don't know, that's a good question. I can type that in. Uh, the kids, we were endings. No, multiple endings. I don't want to spoil it, but like... Multiple endings. Um, nothing... None of this says, like... It, all the reviews, like, all the reviews that are- I'm not clicking any links, but all the reviews say THE ending. THE ending was a surprise, THE ending made me cry, THE ending blah 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 blah. So I'm going to guess that no. There's not multiple endings. So it looks like I can't fuck it up. Brilliant. Um, hello, Married. How are you going? How's everybody? Yeah, not doing too badly. How was your lineup yesterday? Oh dear. Uh, I know I couldn't either. But unbelievable or not, this story is true as it gets, and it's only just getting started. In life for about a half hour. I got a text today. I won't receive my result until after 72 hours. Back to laying in bed feeling like death. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> ah, it's you. So, um, I... I'm assuming you're talking about a COVID test. Um, I did mention a couple days back that, um, a family member of mine had tested positive. One who was at Christmas. Um, it tested positive just before New Year's, so everyone who was at my family Christmas down in Melbourne was exposed. Um, and I don't think anyone who was at that Christmas party has ended up testing positive, not that I've heard of. However, both of my stepsister- uh, bo both of my step-siblings are positive. Um, so I have two step-siblings, a, a stepbrother and a stepsister, both of them are positive. Um, two very, very, very close family friends are positive, and my two step, two, two step cousins 
I think step cousins, my stepfather's nieces. I think that makes them step cousins. I don't, I'm confused. I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah, there's a shitload of my family members and f close family friends who are all positive. Um, so take fucking care of each other. Like, seriously. Be careful. Do the right thing. I know, you know, they're saying Omicron is ex exceptionally virulent. It spreads like wildfire. It spreads really fucking quickly. It's really, really easy, easily transmissible. But it's not as deadly. Right? Great. However, 1% of a 1,000 is still more than 5% of a 100. When we're talking about, like, fatality rates and shit. So fucking be careful. Just do do everything right for yourself. Obviously, obviously there are people out there who are doing everything right and they're still picking it up and there's, you know, there's nothing more that they can do. Like, it's it's like what I, when, when I was first diagnosed with my autoimmune condition, right? Um... Uh, the like we, we didn't know what was going to happen because there were this massive range of different symptoms that I could have experienced um, the, and I ended up being diagnosed with a lesion in my brain and all this kind of shit like there's and it, there's nothing I can do to control any of that nothing all I can do is what the doctors tell me to do I can I can follow their advice I can take my medications on the at the correct on the correct time schedule um, I can do all of that kind of like I can do everything the doctors tell me to do and then either shit's still gonna go really badly, but I've done everything I could have, or it doesn't go really badly, potentially because I did everything I could have. There are, there are gonna be some things that we cannot control. As long as we do everything we can control, then we've done all we can. So wear your masks, do your, do your hand washing and your hand sanitizing and all that kind of shit. Don't leave the house unless you have to. Obviously workers have to and that's fine and, and you need to get groceries and shit like that. If you have the ability to have them delivered at home, fantastic. If you can't afford that, that's okay. Do what you have to do, but do the best you can to protect yourself and the people around you. Because this shit is fucked. This shit is fucked. Maybe 95% of the population will end up getting it. Maybe there's nothing we can do to stop that. But we can still do everything we can to protect ourselves and the ones we love. So do those. Do everything you can, and that way, if you still end up getting sick, catching it, that kind of thing, hopefully what you have done will, will get you through it and you'll be okay. Um, but as, as long as you've done everything you can, that's all you can do. Just don't be a dickhead. Don't be one of those assholes who goes around sneezing on people intentionally and spitting on people and refusing to wear a mask and all that kind of like do do what you can do do everything you possibly can to uh to protect yourself and your community because like i said one percent of a thousand is still more than five percent of a hundred numbers my dear numbers Uh, I got told to get a rat if only they existed. Yeah, there's a lot of signs around our place saying, like, uh, and that's another thing. If you don't need them, if you haven't been told to get them, don't get them. The rapid antigen tests, don't buy them unless you fucking need to. If you've been advised to get them, then get them, if you can. If you haven't, don't. Leave them for people who actually need them. It was like at the start when tests themselves, like actual any test at all, was in massively short supply. It's like fucking toilet paper. If you don't need it, don't buy it. <laughs> like, there is no need to fucking stock up on them. Like, seriously. Anyway. Got a PCR test and said, yeah. I'm hoping it's not COVID, maybe just worn down a cold or something else. Oh, for sure. Working from at the moment if shower test positive, 100% need to get tested, as I would have uh, would have to be positive if he has it. Yeah, look, quite potentially. Quite potentially. Um, my, the, the first family member who was, who tested positive, um, both she and her partner have returned with negative tests now. Uh, so that's good. Um... But yeah, Omicron, I'm less deadly. Government, awesome, go forth and multiply. Yeah. Yep. Just, just take care of yourselves. Do, do what you can. Be careful. Um, trying to stay positive, have all the symptoms, have no taste, barely any smell. The only things I can currently smell is really strong scents. Yeah. Just follow the destructions. Do the right thing and, you know, do everything you can. And that's all you can do, you know? That's all you can do. 
Uh, yeah, maybe not work. Only place I can think, honestly. Don't leave the house much, only maybe to go to local pub. Yeah. Hydrate! Woo! I can do that. Hmm. But, like, I know who I attract in my community. I know I know, know I'm preaching to the choir. But maybe, my, my thought is here, maybe I can say it in a way that you haven't heard it yet. And so that way, like, like, if you're having trouble talking to colleagues or family members or something like that, maybe a sentence that I put together can maybe help you, like, help them. Or so, I don't fucking know. Look, but I know you guys are all on board with the not dying thing. Um, but I just, yeah. I, whew, God, this sucks. God, this sucks. Uh, I'm typing your code, this message come up. You're not, your discount code will not combine with this promo. Please remove your discount code or you will not receive the promo. Yep, so basically, yeah, that's not because it's an invalid code, Dory. It's because you're using a promotional purchase thing. Um, you're getting a special thing uh, and you can't get, you can't, it, it's like, it's like when you go to a, a store and it's like, they've got a 20% off sale and you've got a 10% off coupon, but they're not going to let you put the 20% and the 10% together. It's the same thing. You've already got a promo in your basket somewhere, so it's not letting you use, it's not letting you stack promotional things. Um, they might, do they have any, so what's going on at the moment? They might have some kind of special dealy wheelie that you're dealing, that you've got in your basket. Um, and they're not letting you take more percentage off. Um, so I don't think, I'm not sure if it works on the gift kits. Maybe that's why. Meaty might be able to confirm. Meaty, did you, when you did the, um, the gift kit, were you able to use the promo code or was it already, dis it might have already been discounted? Or if it's got like a free, free thing of pearls or something in your kit, in your bag, that'll, um... You can only get one. Um, so you can... They charge for the gift if you use it. Yeah, so if you've got the free pearls or something in your cart, in your cart, then you won't be able to use the promo code. Um, I'm just dealing with gout at the moment. Not fun, but not COVID. Yeah, gout sucks. Gout sucks. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. So if you've got a if you've got a bonus in your bag, then you won't be able to use the code as well. Mm. But. If you follow my link, if you follow the link that's now in the thing, or if you, duh, 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 if you follow that link, it should, it should count as a referral. Maybe. I'll know because I'll get it. I get an email whenever um, I get an email whenever someone places an order using my stuff that I get a, like every time I get, earn a commission I get an email um, but of course it's a bit late by that point because you've already placed the order uh, okay let us continue ah it's you I've been waiting waited too shit who it's who hi scum how you going hope you're having a lovely day The adventure begins, end. Oh, that's the end of chapter three. Okay, what's chapter four called, I wonder? Yes, save your progress. Save, yes. Save complete, we are blasting through this. What fun game is this? It's called The Kids We Were. Uh, that's the category that I'm streaming under. Usually a good way to find out what the game's called. Um, I know some people don't, but that's okay. Alrighty, chapter four. Didn't use the code to get gifts. You still got email, you said. Did I? Ah, oh, perfect. There you go. Alright, shrine grounds. Uh huh. Uh, oh, he's awake. Question mark. Why were you napping here? Everything okay? <gasps> That's going to be dad, isn't it? W where am I? Oh, wait, this is... What's wrong? You look kind of freaked out. Oh, I... Sorry, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay. H hey, do you mind if I ask you a weird question? 
What year is it? Um, did you hit your head or something? Ah, uh, crud. She thinks I'm a weirdo. Look at the time. Gotta run. Hey, wait! I said wait! Ah, uh, look, he dropped something. A notebook? Ah, shit! Something funny about that one. No doubt, but I wonder. Nah, just my imagination. What do you think his deal was? Eh, who cares? I gotta go. I'll be back later, Akko. Don't worry, Kotetsu here- uh, Kotetsu's keeping an eye on the storeroom right now. Got it. So that's okay, not a problem. That boy was super suspicious. It's like he didn't even know where he was. What year is it? Crazy! Or could it be? Chapter 4? No. Phew, that was close. I almost blew my cover. I can't forget what old me told me me. <clears throat> 72 hours. The blink of an eye and a lifetime. So, three days. Just that to finish your task. Alright. Oh, and this may sound familiar, but one last warning. What? Under no circumstances let anyone know who you are or when you're from. If you do, everything will fall apart. Got it? Got it. I'll be careful. When you're from. Get it? Aha! Time travel! Brilliant. I've got to be smart. Now, um... Whoa, the convenience store is gone. Gah, focus, it's not gone, it never was, duh. Still, it's hard to believe I'm really in the past. I should take a walk around and check the town out. Hmm, I should be careful. If I get lost, I'll have to go ask for directions at the police box again. Wait a sec, I have that old map I found in Dad's notebook. That might come in handy. Rat row! Oh, no, okay. Uh, from here on out, you can press plus to view the map. Cool. If you've lost your way, open up the hint screen and use the map to find your destination. The friendly local policeman will also happily point you in the right direction if you ask. What a champ. That's cute. Let me just take a look here. Ooh, I think this will come in handy. But seriously, who made this? It looks like a blind monkey with a box of crayons took up cartography. That's horrible. Okay, hidden coins, one. Can you get up here, Net? No, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Pixel food, plastic pasta. Okay. But no coin. Okay. Bottle cap. Oh, battle. Okay, give me a second. Jesus. Uh, okay. <laughs> The Monthly Mystic, Volume 3. Let's see if we- Eh! Get out of- No, no, no. I wanna see if I can find... Coin. And then we'll battle. Ah! Shit, okay. Let's do this then. Um... Mmm, yes, delicious plastic pasta. Sorry, lagging. That's okay. All good.
I think we might have this, maybe. Just possibly. I love how the vast majority of the army is going towards the one present rather than the three presents. All right, we did a win. Oh, and I got five assists from healing, phenomenal. Uh, Mick, Bod, Axiom, Meaty, Yufus, Mid, Bay, Yori, and Loza. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards to the next battle. Hmm. All right, so I'm just up to placing and, and winning now. Okay. Brilliant. Let's go turn in that quest. Archer scrolls. Perfect. It's exactly what I needed. So what I'm leveling is my archer. Look. Yas. Actually, speaking of which. the hype axiom. This is the bathhouse. I feel like I've seen this place before. Seems a lot less shabby than last time I saw it though. Oh, something shiny. Ten yen coin. Oh, it's just a dumb ten yen coin. Eh, might as well keep it. Collecting items. Look, a shiny 10 yen coin. I'm sure it'll bring good luck. Like this coin, you'll find all sorts of items around town that you can add to your catalogue. Surprising things may be hidden in even more surprising places. Search around, see what you can find. Though you don't need to complete the catalogue to play through the game, why not try to find everything? It's fun. Collectibles. It's a pity the Switch doesn't have achievements. Right, and then there's this little... back alley. Oh, hello. Whoa, okay. I don't like the way the camera flips around like that. At all. That's not what I wanted to do. I can't. So there was a... There was more, but... I couldn't get to it. gotten up close and personal to everything but I haven't found the coin so that's interesting the layman's name for the comet that'll be passing across the sky soon is Arabaki's comet but its true designation is C1917 X1 Scientific community is in an uproar about it right now. You see, its trajectory doesn't match the math, and hey, did you just yawn? Rude! Science is exciting stuff! Agreed. Agreed. How rude. Ugh, boys are so gullible, there's no way something as ridiculous as a trick. Tsushinoko exists. It's just an urban legend. Nothing here either, but I'll catch one. I won't give up. Literally a bug catcher. It is Pokemon. Any luck? I'm gonna catch one for sure and win all that prize money. What? Herm. 
Gah, don't sneak up on me like that. I got pee on my hands because of you. Ew! Uh, gross! That's so gross. Who's that Pokemon's catcher? Yeah, right. Just order bubble tea! Yay! Amazing. In public as well. I know, and at a cemetery, Apathy. What the? Just peeing in public? In a cemetery. That's disgusting. I agree. I agree. Oh, there's a whole section past here that I didn't see. There's the coins. Okie dokie. That makes more sense. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner back on because I'm getting a little overheated. And I need a snack because my belly is sore. Um, so I'm gonna be um, back in just a moment. Oh shit, I just saw Axiom. Fuck. Fuck. Next round, I will give you... I will, I will let you pick one of the scrolls. I'm so sorry. I'm... Fuck. It doesn't happen very often, and so I miss it. My bad. I'll be back. You're always hungry. Even I forgot I redeemed it! Okay, it makes me feel a little bit better. Just a little. Two coins hidden. One. A CRT television hidden in a wall. Feel good sign. I love this. This is hilarious. This is the school? I can't go in without permission. Yeah, that's fair. Around town and see if anything's different. Maybe we go to a candy shop. Your child, how do you not have permission to go into a school? Because it's not your school. You're gonna be playing anywhere tonight? No. No. This is the scheduled game for today. It's the candy shop. A 10 yen game machine. Adorable. Rock, paper, scissors game. Uh, season five of House Now Amazing! Work from home has made it easier to binge. Uh, I, yes, absolutely. I know the feeling. Okay, so... So that's what the bonbon thing is at the top. It's an actual literal bonbon. So it's the candy shop. There's the school. We came from the cemetery and stuff, so we need to go, like, straight through to get to the streetcar place. And the cigarette shop. <laughs> a 
So then that's the shrine that way. So I need to go this way to Main Street. We couldn't go up the other way to the school in the last area. Disposable camera. Oh my god. Holy shit. Do you guys remember going on school camp? Mum used to buy us, like my brother and I, when we went on school camp, she'd buy us a disposable camera so that we could like take photos on camp. Oh my god. And then she'd go get them developed for it. Oh my lord. Holy shit. Mm. The police box. I remember this place from the future. But why does it still look so old and musty? <laughs> oh right, I need to find that girl, Nozomi. Maybe I should ask that policeman if he knows where she lives. Um, excuse me. Yes, son? I'm kind of looking for a girl named Nozomi. Do you know her? Nozomi, is it? Is she missing? No, not exactly. Okay, how old is she? Um, can you describe her for me? What does she look like? Her hair, her clothes, and so on. Uh... I can't help without something to go on, so... I... I don't know. I've never met her. Why are you looking for a girl you've never met? Um... Would you mind stepping inside for a minute? I'd love to have a little chat. I'll need your name and address then. No, never mind. I'm fine. Just a misunderstanding. Sorry. Bye now. Huh? Hey, wait! Concern. Concern. That was so scary. I guess randomly asking people isn't the best idea. This is harder than I thought. How do I find someone I don't know anything about? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna need your help with something later, by the way. I need to redo my nails tomorrow because they're trashed and most of them are missing. This whole hand is missing, in fact. Um, so I'm redoing them tomorrow, but I don't know what color to use. So I'm thinking I might get you guys to pick a number. Phone book. Do we have a phone book? Found the coin. Well, that's a cool cover. You know whose prophecy? Additional concern. Oh. I'm guessing that red thing's a phone. I think I saw one in a history textbook once. Oh, I know. I can use that coin I found to make a phone call. I can just call Mum Cell. She'll know what to do. Um, what even is this thing? How am I supposed to use it? Oh, phew, there's instructions. Mum wrote her cell number on the back of that flyer, I think. There it is, let's see. Zero nine zero. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. But I dialed it right and everything. Yeah, it's from 33 years in the future, you noob. All right, time travel. I guess I'm really in the past. All right, what next? Maybe I should try heading to the train station. It might be easier to find someone if there are a ton of people around. Enjoy your luck, Yuri. Purple with sparkles. I reckon I probably have some purple with sparkles somewhere. I just take the phone. It's fine. And before it works. Coins.
Excuse me. Me? Yep, do you know where Kagami Shrine is? Oh, um, over there, I think. Sorry, I don't know this area that well either. Oh, I guess you're not from this neighborhood? No. Aha, then you're here to see the comet too, I take it. Isn't it exciting? I'm from the next town over myself. Kagami Shrine's supposed to be the best spot for miles around to see it. Comet? Arahab Arahabaki's Comet, of course. You've heard of it, right? It only comes around once every 33 years, so I can't miss it. Otherwise, I'll have to wait until 2020 when I'm old and grey. Ha! Did she just say 2020? So, uh, are you sure it's going to be 2020 in 33 years? Oh, did I do the math wrong? How embarrassing. It's 1987 now, so 87 plus 33 is... Hey, I was right. Don't scare me like that. You shouldn't tease people, you know, especially about math. Well, thanks, I guess. Bye-bye. In before that's Nozomi. That's weird. I actually met the previous owner of the house I grew up in a speech therapy session. He had a stutter too. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Krazy, how you doing? Welcome back. So it is true. I'm really in the past. So Arabaki's comet passed overhead in this time too. I guess it would, what with the 33 year cycle and all. Hey, wasn't there something about a comet written in my notebook? I should check. Let's see. Notebook, notebook, where are you? It's gone. No, 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 no. I must have dropped it. But where? In the shrine. The shrine. I've got to go see if I can find it. You noob. You total utter noob. How do you lose, like, literally the most important things in the entire story? Seriously. Bounces along the street. It's fine. Fear bullies a child. I do not bully a child. The child bullies himself. <laughs> no one's here. Rats, what now? I was sure I dropped it here. Posture. I don't see it anywhere. <gasps> Dream time. What is taking this train so long? I'm a busy man. I don't have time to stand here waiting around. Honestly, I don't know what I'll do if it doesn't get here soon. It's never this late. Everyone, I just heard the news on the radio. There's been a horrible accident. They say the conductor dozed off and and somebody died. Bum bum bum. Just keeps stacking up, doesn't it? That was terrible. I've never had that dream or vi vision before. Does that mean my power to see the future works here too? I can see things before they happen. But what am I supposed to do about it? Perhaps... I'm supposed to try to stop the things I'm seeing? But how am I supposed to do that? It's a really good question. Chapter 4, Unfamiliar Streets End. So I think that means that we're roughly a quarter of the way through if there are 16 chapters. That's not too bad. Yes, overwrite file. <clears throat> oh, I hydrate. Chapter 5 Meetings. Where's the girl? Phew, I am beat. Uh, phew, am I beat. I swear those stairs get longer every year. Um. Hmm? Yes, can I help you? I'm looking for a girl named Nozomi. Do you know her? Nozomi? No, I can't say that I do. Ah, rats, thanks. Is she a friend of yours? Oh, uh, well, sorta, I guess. I don't know her, but I guess the other children would. Why not ask them? It's getting late. All the kids usually hang out by the candy shop around this time. Why not look there? 
That's a great idea. The candy shop you're looking for is on the road next to the elementary school, down on 3rd Street. I'll head there now. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Oh, excuse me. Okay, onwards to the candy shop. Nope, that's a cemetery. Oops. Oh, goodness. The sky is really, really pretty though. I love those colors. Candy shop, cemetery candies. I don't want to know what's in those. But if you want candy, Jess, there's candy in the cupboard. It's not cemetery candy, but it's cupboard candy. One might argue that's even better. What coin? Cupboard candy, yes. Phew. I'm so tired and it's gotten real dark out too. That old lady said kids hang out by the candy shop right about now. I should go, but what will I say to them? That's candy? Ugh, I'm starving. Right now I'd rather find dinner than Nozomi, but I don't have any money to buy food with. Wait a sec, I have that 10 yen coin. How do you do, fellow kids, right? Not like I can buy anything with 10 measly yen. <clears throat> Is that a Shiba? It looks a lot like a Shiba. That kid fucking bet. Ah, it's a Rubik's Cube! Cubic's puzzle. It you, Shiba, look! It you! The bug catcher. And the rest of the kids. Doge. Welcome, what can I get you? Um, I've only got 10 yen. Is that enough to buy anything? That's not much. No, I guess it's not. Well, want to try testing your luck? What do you mean? Ta-da, the latest, the greatest, the dream machine. It's just a capsule machine. If you get lucky, you might just win something that'll fill that grow growing belly of yours. Growing or growling? Really? It doesn't look like food comes out of this thing. Do I look like I woman who goes around lying to kids? Do I? Hmm? I infiltrated your game. You can never be rid of me. Would I, why would I want to be rid of you, Shiba? No, ma'am. Good. Now every capsule has a paper with a number in it. Bring it to me and I'll tell you what you won. That's easy. I'll take pity on you just this once and let you give it a turn for that coin you got. Poor kids deserve charity in my book. Now go on. Give it a go. No need to be shy. Hmm... Spin the capsule machine. Yes. Oh, what the heck. Standing around won't get me anywhere. Here goes. Just spin the knob and crunch, grind. A capsule popped out. Hey, would you look at that? There is a number in here. What'd you get? Let's see. Four. Four? Gah! Curses. Boy's got luck. I'll give him that. Here, take it, you thief. Yum yum stick. It's a yum yum stick. Oh, food, awesome. It's corn soup flavor. Can I have a salami instead? What do I look like, a flavor dispenser? Kids these days, I'll tell you. Grumble, grumble. Good evening, Dunno. How are you going? Very well, thank you. Thanks for asking. How's story time? It's going well. I'm enjoying the story so far. It's had a few pretty decent twists. So I'm, uh, yeah, it's it's been a little like, cause it, it started out just looking really cute and stuff. And then all of a sudden it was uh, kind of heavy and now I'm back in time and it's great. I'm loving it. No comment. Oh, I gave you a discount on that dream machine. So you, so you be happy with that, uh, with what you got now get. It's good to hear indeed. She shifted this every day. I'd be broken in a heartbeat. How much does this machine really cost to use? Three coins. Coins? Coins! K 
Capsules. There are three capsule machines in town. You'll find one at the candy shop. Each of the three capsule machines has a different selection of items inside. One turn on the capsule machine costs three coins. Don't worry, you won't get any duplicate capsules. Find those coins, collect those capsules, and finish that collection. There's a tiny bit of English, but it's cute so far. Indeed. Indeed. You'll discover these capsule machines are chock full of delightfully retro items. We hope you like them. Wait a sec. What? I don't accept refunds or complaints. This only costs 10 yen to begin with. I thought he wouldn't notice. So I did, so, so I did get swindled? I didn't swindle nobody. Don't you spread vile rumors. I'll sue. Oh no. We found an achievement. Nice. Nah, it's, it's the, the collection thing. Um, uh, catalog. It's all these things. Uh. Right. I didn't learn anything helpful. Oh well, I should get out of here. Oh, wait a second. Hey, old lady, you get that plastic model I wanted in yet? Who are you calling old, you cheeky runt? Kotetsu, watch it. You know how short her temper is. Ah, oh, fucking Karen, old lady. Look. Look. Oh, you don't have it yet, do you? I've been waiting to buy it for forever. Quiet you, you have the cash, right? I do, I did so many chores and cleaned the bath for my folks and stuff to save up. Chores, huh? Bah, kids got it easy. Clean a few bathtubs and mummy showers and with cash. Hey, it was a lot of work. My parents own the bathhouse, so our bath is huge. Hey, Kotetsu. It's the girl with the notebook. Yeah, what's up? Oh no, not yet. What's up, Wataru? That kid over there, he's the one I was telling you about. Uh, you told me about someone? Uh, you forget everything. Okay, Boomer, oh good lord. Uh, aren't I, no, I'm not, am I, wait, hang on, am I a millennial? I think I'm like just inside the cutoff for a millennial or something, or I'm just outside of it, I can't remember. Fuck, I don't even know. Hi, we met at the shrine earlier, right? <clears throat> Wait, you're old, you're friends with this kid? No, stupid, I told, already told you, I just met, ugh, never mind. Cool, got it, I think. This is Wataru, I'm Kotetsu, nice to meet ya. Oh, hi, my name's Minato. Minato, cool, I'll totally remember. Are you okay? I was kinda worried after you ran off. You're not lost or anything, are you? Come on, no way, he's around our age, kids our age don't get lost, right? Dude, really? N no, I'm not lost. I'm looking for someone. A girl named Nozomi. You don't know her, do you? Hold up. Who told you about Nozomi? Spill! Huh? I've never seen you at school, so you're not from around here. So how do you know about her? Uh, well... Oh, crud. Are they friends with her or something? But wait a sec. This could be my chance to find her. We've prepared for this day. You know what to do, right? Yeah, go tell Akko. Shit. What was that all about? <laughs> they will not remember. And who's Akko? The chick with your notebook. Akko is the chick with your notebook. Uh, Millennial generation, typically defined as being born between 81 and 96. Oldest members are turning 30 this year. Yeah, I'm a millennial. Another I'm smack bang hydrate. in the middle of that. God damn. All right. Oh, look, hydrates. Oh, fungal giant. That's not going to be useful. It's a story game. I'm supposed to use... Oh, fuck. All right. Just sit here in silence for two minutes. That'll show ya. <clears throat> okay. Let's do this. 
Ah, there he is. His name's Minato. Hi, I'm Otto. It's nice to meet you. But we've already met. Oh, shush. You know what I meant. Name. Perfect timing. Congratulations also to Fairy, Neke, Meiji, Vu, Spam, Yori, Dono, and Nick on all your bonus shit. And the time is out, so brilliant. Let's start up the next battle! And turn off the air conditioner because it's getting too cold again. My aircon cannot figure itself out, it just cannot. There we go. Unit placed. <clears throat> Eep. There's something I wanted to ask you. Sure, shoot. What in the world is this? Hey, that's my notebook. The Seven Mysteries. You've got weird tastes. But forgetting the name for a second. G give it back, it's important. How rude, I found it for you. You should be grateful. Besides, I'll give it back. Eventually. Ugh. This is bad. If she reads the last page, I'm sure you've realized the truth by now. You have the power to see the future. <laughs> That's what the last page says. What's the deal with this notebook, hmm? Maybe I should give it a thorough read before I give it back. Ugh. Arko, we've got more important things to deal with. He knows about Nozomi. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Look at this. Seek out the girl, Nozomi. Solve the seven mysteries. What is up with this? Some sort of bad joke? Or did someone set you up just to mess with us? Yeah, this is bad. She's got me pegged. I guess I just have to come clean. Minato, how did you find out about Nozomi? Oh, uh, where to start? What do I do? She knows Nozomi. Think of something quick. I need to get her to tell me where I can find her. But if I mess up, she might keep my notebook. I'm in big trouble. How should I answer? Try to play it off. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never met her. I just, uh, truth. Now. Gulp. Look at her glare. How is she so scary? How should I answer? Okay, try to play it off. Didn't work. Pretend to cry. Wah. Wah. Okay, total fail. I should have known. The only part I could get in the school play was the tree. How should I answer? Tell her the truth. Um, the truth is... Wait, no, I can't tell the truth. They'd never believe I'm really from the future. But I can't think of anything else to say. I think I might cry for real now. <sighs> I'm her brother. Bruh. Bruh? B brother. I'm Nozomi's. You're... What? 
Her brother? Really? You're just making that up. I blew it. It's all over. Huh. But now that you mention it... They do kind of look alike. Huh? We do? But but hold on, he can't be. They they look like they're the same age. That's a good point. To 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 a what? Twins. We're twins. That's it. Okay. Did that just work? But she never told us she had a twin brother. She doesn't like talking about her family. No, she doesn't. Did I guess right? You're looking for her, right? Yes. I think that said yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it's okay then. I'm so confused. Hey, Minato, did your mum send you here looking for her? Mum? No. Hmm, I don't know if, we can, if I can trust you. I, I swear. A little cringe. Just a little. Lol, this dialogue, right? Are you with her or against her? Uh, with her? Which is it? This is important. I'm with her, of course. I'm her brother, after all. What do you think, Wataru? Mm, something about his story sounds funny. Gulp. But I don't think he's lying. What makes you say that? I mean, he does kind of look like her. And more than that, I don't think anyone would be dumb enough to make up a story like that. I hate myself. Yeah, good point. Wataru, I think it's okay. Can you take him to our hideout? You sure? Yeah. I'll go on ahead and let Katetsu and Nozomi know. Oh yes! This is finally it! I can meet her! Got it. The- they bought it! Huh? Did you say something? Not a word. You fucking said that aloud, you numpty! Good lord. Good lord. Uh, look, children are not the smartest creatures occasionally. I still don't know how old they are. Okay. Where are we going? This Watari kid said he'd take me to her. Alright, follow me. I'll take you to Nozomi. Really? Truly? Yeah, calm down. Jeez. Where is she? Not far. The school gym- the school's gym storeroom. It's an odd place to hang out. It's our secret hideout. No one will ever find her there. Follow me. It's this way. His reaction to them. I mean, this is why I like to play through story games sometimes. The commentary is what makes it, right? Oh! oh I'm so tired. Uh, so this is what school was like back in the day. They just left the gate open, huh? I guess they're not so freaked out about security as they are in my time. Okay, the gym storeroom should be around here, I think. Maybe literally right ahead, right in front of you, like where the kid is. Ah, there you are. Everyone's already inside. Come on, they're waiting. Something to pay attention. Thank you, Lando. Thank you. I've got our guest. Hey, he actually showed. Welcome to our secret hideout. Hey, where's Nozomi? She just stepped out. I guess she had to go to the bathroom. While I have you here, I want to ask you about something again. Yes? Your notebook. I still have it, if you haven't forgotten. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. It's pretty weird. What's the deal with these seven mysteries? Nothing, so give it back already. No. More importantly, where did you get this? I can't say. Suspicious. The Seven Mysteries of Kagami. I'm gonna read them for everyone. Here I go. Stop! No going! Mystery 1. The Haunted Train. Mystery 2. Phantom of the Bathhouse. Mystery 3. The School Pool Kappa. Mystery 4. Tsu Tsuchinoko. I'm never gonna pronounce that correctly. Uh, Mystery 5. The Smiling Woman. Mystery 7. This- wait. The Seven Mysteries Notebook. We skipped mystery six. No, we didn't. It's actually not there. Five, seven. No six. Dude, dude, that sounds so cool. Hey, didn't you skip number six? Oh, did I? Whoopsie. Yeah. I've heard rumors about Kagami having a bunch of weird mysteries and stuff. They've been around forever. 
I heard about him too. A kid in another class told me if you solve them all, you get cursed. Cursed? Freaky. I heard something amazing happens. Oh, quiet, you two. Those are just stupid superstitions and you know it. I mean, no one can even agree on what they are. There's no way they're real. Yeah, you're right. Besides, seven is that grubby notebook? Ha, no way. Such a bunch of baloney. And get a load of this. There's one last thing written in here. Ooh, what? Solve the seven mysteries. Do this and your truest wish will be granted. Dude, it's settled. We gotta solve these mysteries now. Yeah, I'm with Kotetsu. That does sound pretty cool. Wait a sec. There's one more thing written in here. Let's see. Hey, don't you read another word. And lastly, a warning. Unless you have dire need, don't let anyone see this notebook. <clears throat> Wait a sec. Huh? But that wasn't... Sorry. Guess I went and saw, huh? <laughs> You're giving that back to me right now, okay? Fine. Here. Anyway, let's forget about that notebook for now. Where's Nozomi? She's taking forever. She went to the bathroom, right, Katetsu? Because he's just stopped being a dick, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, she didn't say where she was going. Seriously, though, why do girls always need to take, like, all their stuff wherever they go? Katetsu, you idiot! Nozomi's stuff's all gone. Wait, it is? Why didn't you say something earlier? How are you so dumb? Hey, I'm not dumb. You take that back. What's going on? Nozomi left, and I don't think she's coming back. It's almost dark out. We need to find her, and quick. It's panic music! Aw, oh, man. I was sure I'd finally found this Nozomi girl. This is going to be way harder than I thought. I've already used up half a day, and I've got nothing to show for it. I need to pick up the pace. I only have 66 hours left until I'm out of time. Nozomi has been eaten by wolves, F in the chat. Oh, good lord. I certainly hope not. <gasps> Chapter 5! End. Yes. Save. Yes. Done. Beck. Girls, do you take everything with them to the bathroom? Yeah. I used to take everything with me to the bathroom until I realized that I can take a tampon in my hand and no one will, like, if they look at me funny, that's their problem. Like, yep. Nozomi's lost in the forest. I hope not. No sign of her. Maybe she went to the pool? Good idea. We should check. I mean, that is one of the mysteries. The school pool kappa. Man, they're really freaked out. Right, but there's no need. Bet you anything, Nozomi just went home. Still, guess we better go to the pool too. You better spy master. If she went home, then she's probably all right. Why is the school pool empty? Why don't they ask an adult? Because they're kids, and do kids ever ask adults about their mysteries and adventures and shenanigans? There they are. She isn't here. Maybe we should look for clues. You're that worried about her? She probably just went home, didn't she? Definitely not. Ah, right, we haven't told you. These clouds look cool. They do, don't they? They do. Yesterday. <clears throat> if we could have one wish come true. Yeah, if you could wish for something, anything you wanted, what would it be? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you believe that rumor. What rumor? You know, the one about solving Kagami's seven mysteries. Oh yeah, solve all of them and you can make a wish on the comet, right? That's the one. They say you can wish for anything you want and it'll come true. Wish back to Nozomi. Flaying other kids alike, good lord. It's just a silly superstition. That's rich coming from you considering you live in a shrine. Don't lump our shrine in with that bogus garbage. Hmm, what would I wish for? I know what my wish would be. What? I'd wish for every day to be just like today. 
for eternal summer vacation so we could hang out and do whatever we want forever and ever. Then we'd stay kids forever and ever too. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Ugh, count me out. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Excuse me, what would you wish for then, huh? Me? I, I'd wish to be a grown-up already. I want to be a grown-up and live my life the way I want. Oh god, she reminds me of me. Humph. Typical Akko. What about you, Otaru? Hmm, let me think. Huh? Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Hey, you! Huh? You're not supposed to be here if you don't go to our school. I'm not? Yeah. Um, I... Oh! You must be the new girl. We have a new girl? Mm-hmm. She's gonna be in our class starting second term. How do you know that? Because I'm part of student council, duh. No wonder I didn't realize. You look like you could be a grade or two older than us. Hey, wanna swim with us? That's not why I'm here. Then why are you? I... Can I stay with one of you tonight? I have money. I can pay you. What? That's a weird thing to ask kids you only just met. I don't... I don't know where I came from. What? Don't tell me... What, did you lose your memory or something? I think so. Please, I don't know what else to do. So yeah, we let her stay in our hideout for the night. They actually believed her? I bet she did go home. That's probably it. I guess we were worried over nothing. Yeah, maybe. How do you think she got home if she doesn't remember where she came from? Oh, don't be an idiot. She made that up. Sh she did? Guess they saw through her after all. Wait, but then why'd they let Nozomi stay last night? Guess you just missed each other, Minato. I bet if you go home, you'll find her. What? Why? Huh? You were looking for Nozomi, right? Yeah. Well, she's probably home by now. And if your parents ask where she was last night, you better not say anything. I don't want her getting in trouble. What's that dumb look for? We're talking about your sister, Minato. Nozomi? My sister? She's probably home by now, so you ought to head back too. <gasps> oh, right, right, right. Yep, my sister, baby sis. Crap, I totally spaced. Not baby sister, you're twins. Sigh, it feels like we worried for nothing. I know, but at least we can relax with her brother looking after her. Yeah, when you get back, Minato, tell her she better not run away again. Run away. Sure thing, she, she's such a twerp, huh? Right, then let's head home. Yeah, I'm starving. She's the time machine to face bombs, idiot girl. kid, right? Yep. Absolutely. You're always starving. Me too! Me too. I also am al always starving. Crap. I don't know where Nozomi lives! He's still <laughs> hungry. Probably, yes. Ah, oh, all of the numb. I'm grabbing chicken for dinner tonight. Wait, hold up. What is it? Um. I'm never gonna find Nozomi like this. Why did I tell them such a stupid lie? But I'm sure she's somewhere close by. I just have to think of something that'll help them- get them to help me look. Do you feel like chicken tonight? Not- not chicken tonight. It'll be- it'll be chicken and some kind of homemade marinade. Oh, please, you have to help me find Nozomi right now. Why? But- because... She did lose her memory. If I tell them she lost her memory, they might agree to help me look. But I really don't want to lie to them any more than I already have. I can't bring myself to say it. It's not safe at home. I, I don't think she went home. In fact, she definitely wouldn't. What are you talking about? I can't say why, but it's not exactly safe for Nozomi to go home right now. What am I saying? It's like my mouth is moving all on its own. You mean, did something happen at home? Something bad? Huh? N no, that's not... I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Something you don't feel comfortable telling us about? Y yeah, that's right. I had a hunch. Sounds like you were right, Wataru. What? 
All right, Minato, we'll help you out. We've come too far not to. Really? You mean it? We should split up and ask around. How should we describe her to people? Just say you're looking for a girl with ponytails in white clothes around our age who acts kind of grown up. Got it. Yeah, slash me works. It used to make your text color the same as your name color, like an emote, but they got rid of that because people apparently would use it and go in and be like, slash me donates $100 to blah, blah, blah. Um, and then people would think it was a real donation and then would do silly things like do giveaways and, and all this kind of, and I'm like, but why? Like, but why? I don't know, people are idiots. People don't check, like, verify shit. I don't know about everyone else, but anytime that I get a donation through PayPal, it pings on my phone. Like, it, PayPal pushes a notification that says you have received X amount of dollar dues. Like, it's a thing. But, you know. Uh, a girl in white who acts mature. It's a little vague, but considering we don't have a photo of her, it's the best we can do. Anyway, we better get to it. That went well. But what was up with them changing their tune all of a sudden when I said it wasn't safe for Nozomi at home? Do that for incoming payments on my bank account too? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't worry about that right now. I gotta help her I gotta help find her first. <laughs> Some people just don't know how to enjoy the good things and ruin that for the rest. Yeah, look, I mean, there are always gonna be trolls and spammers and, and assholes out there. Always. I just... I, I think it needs to be at least partially on us as humans to learn how to protect ourselves from that shit. Like, changing the color of a, um, of, of text in a thing, you know what I mean? Like, uh, mm, like whoever Rick for all this with the throne suggestions, I yeah. am grateful. Actually, ah, Landa, thank you so much for the donation. Also things like that, doing a fucking slash me emote in chat will not trigger an alert. So if you've got alerts set up, and I understand kind of going, oh, I wonder why the alert didn't trigger for that. That's really odd. And then diving in and being like, wait, it didn't trigger because it wasn't an actual donation. You asshole, you're banned. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, anyway. Um, but apparently it's Twitch's job to protect idiots from themselves. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Oh no, I slept through my stop. Where are we? Where is everyone? Hey, why are we going so fast? Mr. Conductor, excuse me, what's... Dang. Ah! That's the accident that we foresaw earlier, I believe. So we're gonna get to the streetcar stop station place. N not again! What did I just see? Don't tell me that girl was her. You are not prepared. <gasps> Cricket! Hello, lovely! Welcome on in. How is your stream? I hope you're doing wonderfully today. Welcome on in, everyone. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It's lovely to meet you. Uh, usually I play a lot of World of Warcraft, um, but I do occasionally do a little bit of variety streaming, and today is one of those days. We're playing a game called The Kids We Were. Uh, in on the switch on Nintendo switch. It's releasing uh, on PC in like around about a week or so via Steam and It's a game set in Japan um, Partially in today's times and partially in the late 80s uh, This kid Minato is our main character. That's who we are and um, He he has a pretty shit life uh, and he can he has prophecies visions of the future and He has been he's sent himself kind of back in time 33 years to try to prevent some of the shit that's going on in his current life or something. There are seven mysteries of Kagami and we have to solve them and I have no clue where to even start looking. Except I do, we're going to the streetcar station. Ah oh dear. Get creaky with it, yes! Hello Charismatic Zoe! Hello Poker! Hey, Barry, welcome back. Dance with me, Fiamma. Always cricket. I will always dance with you. How you doing? Hey, I'm mad. Hey, a shockwave. Hey, Kirby. Played train station renovation today. Hello. Oh, brilliant, Dory. I'm so pleased to hear it. 
Yeah, you know, I love the gra yeah, love the graphic style. So do I. It's like it's pixelated, but it's also like 3D. It's just super cute. Wait till like when they walk and they you know like when when you're a kid and you'd like grab toys and kind of bounce them along. Yeah, it's so cute. So cute. Release game preview. Yeah, so it is out currently on Switch. Um, you can grab it from the the Nintendo eShop. Um, but it's not on PC just yet, but it's coming very, very soon. And I think it might actually be available on like iOS as well, from what I've seen online. Hello, Selden, how you going? Welcome on in. Hello, Gear Tank. Okay, are we... We're good. Guess I'll try asking that drunk guy. Oh, good. Wonderful. Let's start with the drunk guy. Yes. Good idea. Okay, it's like bounce, 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 bounce. It's kind of cute. You there. Um, excuse me. Huh? What do you want? I'm looking for someone. A girl. Oh, well, lucky for you, my day was so rotten. I've been wandering around, drowning my sorrows for hours now. I might have seen her somewhere. What's she look like, then? She's wearing white. Ah, uh, have you been dancing on a vlog stream soon? Absolutely. Absolutely. Looks like it launches on Steam Gen 12. So exactly a week. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the confirmation, dude. Good afternoon, Draz. How are you going? Oh yeah, I saw her when I was drinking by the river. She was heading for the cemetery. Seemed like she was in a hurry. Never seen her around these parts before, so I couldn't help but stare. A girl in a rush who isn't from around here. Anything else you can tell me about her? She acts kind of grown up. Grown up, huh? Ah yeah, now that you mention it, there was something like that at the candy shop when I went for snacks. We had a great chat about squid jerky. That's a weird thing to talk about. Hope that helps. Yeah, it does, I think. Hey kid, you got any brothers or sisters? Uh, yeah, little sister, why? Don't take her for granted. Huh? See, me and my brother were having a ball drinking together until we got into a stupid fight over nothing. Been trying to drink the pain away ever since. Uh, okay. Later, kid. Be good to your sister. That's kind of creepy. Man, how much has he had? Who knows if he actually saw Nozomi or not, but I gotta check it out anyway. I'll try the candy shop first. Well, good idea because it is closest. Literally right here. That's deep for an eight year old. I don't know how old he is. I don't understand. I don't know how old he is. Um, let's talk to grumpy old lady. No one's here. What? Either buy something or scram. Um, has a girl wearing white come by at all? Nope, can't say I've seen anyone fitting that description today. Oh, okay. That's weird. <gasps> you know what? This lady's all in white, and she's definitely grown up. Look, if you aren't gonna buy anything, go home already. Uh, ma'am? Did you happen to talk to some drunk guy about squid jerky earlier? Huh, yeah I did. But how did you know that? I think they might have been brothers, those drunks. They got to bickering over whether to call it squid jerky or dried squid. And then before I knew it, they started throwing punches. Honestly, drunks will fight over any stupid little thing. Oh, God. I knew it. The grown-up girl that guy was talking about was this old lady. Who are you calling old? All right. On to the next place done the candy shop. Why does it still say the candy shop? Eh, you need something about to close up shops to make it quick. Why does the hint still say candy shop? Do I have to leave the area maybe? Oi, what are you looking at, punk? Huh? You want to start something? Not particularly. Let's see if I change zones and it changes the hint. Ah, what a giant waste of time. That didn't help at all. Ugh, but I still better check out the cemetery. Or we could go to the bloody streetcar station. Like it said in your goddamn vision. You silly little numpty. You silly little numpty. Why? Alright. Up we go. The clouds do look cool. It's trippy if you watch them while the camera shifts perspective, though. <sighs> Sorry, I'm so tired and I don't understand why. 
Oh, okay. Man, this place is real creepy at night. And here I am looking for someone dressed all in white. I need an empty emote. What would it look like? Get a grip, Minato. <clears throat> um, she's definitely wearing white, but she doesn't look just look grown up. She is grown up. What? What's with the mask? I'm kind of scared. You got something to say to me? Spit it out already. Oh, s sorry. H have you seen a girl around here? Huh? H her name's Nozomi. Nozomi, of course it is. Truth is, I'm looking for a kid too, but that isn't her name, so I guess we're not looking for the same girl. Damn it, where the hell is she? Humpty Dumpty with a red wig! Anyway, what's this girl look like? The one you're looking for. Oh, um... I don't got all night. Sh she lives at the town shrine. There I go, lying again. Tch, yeah. I did see a girl in priestess robes walking around town earlier. I gotta go. Thanks, kid. M man, she was scary. What was her deal? Oh. I still haven't found Nozomi. I guess I gotta try asking around some more. Um. Apparently Numpty was one of the characters on Dumb Ways to Die. Looks like an egg with spiky orange hair. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, we gotta be careful we don't inf uh, like breach, uh, what's it called? IP, DMCA, all that kind of crap. Hey, mister. Oh, I remember you. So, did you find the girl you were looking for? Haven't even come close. And what's with you fighting over dried squid or squid jerky or whatever? Hello? Hello. Huh? Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back, guys. Baby. Do, da, 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 da. time where's the thing with the spells this one go um Whoa. how's the thing doing ah he got his stitches out today so I mean it's better than it was <laughs> yeah everything's fine Totally fine. Na 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 na. But yeah, stitches out today. Um, it still looks pretty gnarly because, like, underneath the wound, all the dr all the blood that was there while they were stitching it up, it all kind of dried, and but it's still there. It hasn't been like broken down and reabsorbed by his body yet. I reckon he's gonna end up with a scar. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Okay. A 
evening, Captain's Chest, Mid, uh, View, Omena, Sickness, Fairy, and Landar. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Boss, defeaterated. On to the next one. We can't do both. I'm thinking we go skins. I'm thinking we go skins. There we go. Okay. Button. Ha, went all the way out to the candy shop, did ya? Am I a screw up or what? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Mm. Grumble, grumble. Listen, kid, I'm real sorry. Here, maybe this will make it up to you. Hmm. What is this? Ticket booklet. Okay. What is this? Tools of my brother's trade. He dropped them off when he ran off. He dropped them when he ran off after our fight. I just give them back to him, but something tells me my face is the last thing he wants to see right now. So you take him. Why? Ah, you can give him back to him if you run into him, though this time of night he's probably at work. Oh, and kid? I saw a kid your age wandering around Main Street not too long ago. You did? Not the one you're looking for, though. He was in yellow and pretty much the opposite of grown up. Ha, uh, sigh. Be brave, kid. Hang in there. Sure. That's gotta be Kitetsu. I've got nothing left, uh, nothing else to go off of. I might as well go find him. I need to come up with a cool story about how he did it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. To the streetcar thingy. Oh, there's another capsule machine. Oh, here we go. Oh, the gang's all here. No trace of Nozomi, huh? Honestly, where could she have run off to? I didn't have any luck either. Oh, I got it! What? The station! She's gotta be at the station. How do you figure? Cause she asked me how to get there before she left the storeroom. Oh, Kotetsu. I think that makes sense, right? I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, I wanna punch him in the face. You dummy! Why didn't you mention that sooner? We'll never find her if she gets on a train. Come on, hurry. <laughs> Panic music, engage. Wait for me. Can you go like, hang on. There's two platforms on there. There we go. <clears throat> there you are. D don't just run off and leave me. How bad, how bad. Still, you caught up pretty quick. So is Nozomi here? Doesn't look like it. Did you check the train? Well, about that. No one's gotten off it. It's just been stopped here like this for ages. Weird. Hey, wait a second. I feel like I've read something like this in that notebook. Mystery number one, the haunted train. When the night, when the night the star falls draws near, an empty train will appear at the station. The night the star falls? There's this comet that comes once every 33 years. It's gonna be here tomorrow or something. So that means... N no way. Yeah, that can't be true. L let's just go home. Nothing we can do here anyway, right? Huh? <clears throat> it can't be. I mean, it, may it makes no sense. Come on, Minato, let's call it a night. Guys, guys! There's no conductor. Haunted train.
Chapter 6, Nozomi, end. Save progress. So that is chapter 6 completed, 6 of 16. Cleared. <laughs> oh dear. Chapter 7. The Haunted Train. Get on the train. Yes. I'm coming with you. There's really no one here. Then how did it get to the station in the first place? Mm -hmm. Who's there? Huh? Crap, I didn't mean to nod off. It's a vision! Vision time! What is taking this train so long? I'm a busy man, I don't have time to stand here waiting around. Honestly, I don't know what I'll do if it doesn't get here soon. It's never this late. Everyone, I just heard the news on the radio. There's been a horrible accident. They say the conductor dozed off and, and somebody died. Can you do animated emotes that scroll like these? There's, um, I think, because there are some default things that you can get the emotes to do. Um, like default actions. Let me... Take a squiz. I can't remember if... Uh, easy animate. Choose animation. Shake, rave, roll. Yeah, so the scrolling ones are a default thing. You just have to have like a bigger length one and it'll it'll scroll. Um, yeah. Of scrolling just with the sword. I would much prefer just to be like waving the sword, honestly, rather than scrolling. Um, scrolling emotes work well for some things, but other things are just not quite right. Yeah. Uh, right. <gasps> Is he. You, you kids getting on? It's gotta be him, no mistaking it. What do I say? Where's Nozomi? No, uh, no, I doubt he'd know. What do I say? Dried squid or dried jerky? Hey mister, do you call it dried squid? Or is that what your brother calls it? What the heck are you talking about, kid? Are you pulling my leg or... Or, wait. How did you know about that? I got your number, mister. You smell like booze. Huh? Sniff, sniff. Hey, he really does. Look, you really think it's a good idea for you to be driving a train right now? S seriously You could cause an accident. Ha ha ha, listen to you kids going on like you know everything. Of course I haven't been drinking. But, but you know, I am feeling a bit under the weather right now. Yeah, yeah, I better go find someone to take over for me. So you kids just wait right there, okay? I'll be back with another conductor. Did you do? Surely Jas should let his finger heal before moving sharp objects around fast. <laughs> well, we have we have a, a Jas with a sword emote. Uh, I think it's Fiamma mod. Um, I'm I'm looking at getting a, an emote artist to animate it um, to make him slash like to to wave the sword. What's with that guy? And you, Minato? Wow, how'd you know? Yes, that's the one. Thank you, Duke. Oh, uh, just. Followed my nose. Hmm? Did you hear that? Nozomi! Ugh, do you have to shout? Hey! Nozomi! What? This is Nozomi? Hey, why are we back here? Why'd you run off like that? We were worried about you. Does it matter? Hey! Lots of kids yelling at each other. I knew it. It's the same girl I saw in my visions!
You're alive. Man, you two are either really brave or really stupid. Oh. Nozomi, where were you? We were so worried. Why do you care? Of course I care, dummy. Y you're the dummy. What are you crying for? Because I was worried about you, duh. Just leave me alone. Aw, oh, Arko, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Otaru, you saw that, right? Yeah, awful. Huh, what is? You didn't notice the bruises on her face? What? What bruises? There are more of them than there were this morning, which means she probably did go home. Yeah, I think you're right. She lives a lot closer than I thought. What the heck are you two talking about? Shut up, we'll explain later. Come on, we can't lose her again. Jesus, indeed. Nozomi, wait! Hey, hold on! Here I thought this was gonna be like a little cutesy sort of, you know, what's it game? Nope. Heavy details. We're good, we're fine. Minato, we'll meet back at the hideout, okay? I did it. I totally did it. I just changed the future. The accident I saw in my visions. I got to meet Nozomi because I stopped her from happening. So this has got to be the wish coming true part of solving the seven mysteries. It was for a time. A very, very short time. I mean, mum was hacking and wheezing very early on. I think it was one of the first couple of minutes we learned about the little sister's illness and all this kind of shit. Like, I mean, look, there's some shit going on. There's some shit going on. Wish you were an audible narrator. Aw, Dory, that's such a... Honestly, I would love to do that. I would love to read audiobooks and, and stuff like that. Like, genuinely. I just have zero idea how to even get into that. They left me in the dust. Um, Arko said to meet them at the hideout, right? Right, back to the storeroom then. Wait, wait a sec. The moment Nozomi sees me, I'm done for. She'll totally tell them I'm not actually her brother. What do I do? Well, not like I can do anything about it, no matter what plan I come up with. I just gotta wing it again. I'll manage, somehow. <laughs> she found out her dad died. Yep, look, it's just a whole thing. It's just a whole thing. I do know someone who may be after people for an audiobook. Really? Okay. Interesting. Well, there is a business email address. If they, like, if they are actually, like, throw them to a VOD. Shoot them over to the VOD. Uh, to see if I'm the kind of voice that they're looking for. And, uh, no, that's the cemetery. I'm going the wrong way. And, uh, if, if I'm you know, reasonably close to what they'd be after. They can always reach out on like socials or via email or something like that. I do have, there were a couple of panels that I went to at PAX back when it was a thing um, around like how to get into the industry and stuff like that. So I do, and I have notes. I took notes because of course I took notes. Wait, no, not candy shop, fucking school. Go back, go back, go back. Um, so, I should absolutely go through those notes again and because there were some recommendations of like first steps. There are there are websites that you can sign up for where people are posting smaller jobs and people can accept smaller jobs and all that kind of stuff to try to like get yourself started and build a portfolio and whatnot. Um, my biggest concern would be finding somewhere where I can record with no background noise. I think I'd have to do it in a wardrobe, one of the two wardrobes in the house, um, but I'm sure I could figure that out. to this one. Hello, audiobook people. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Hey, there you are. Took you long enough. You could stop running off without me. Well, we wouldn't have caught up with Nozomi otherwise. R right. Look who's here, Nozomi. Someone who's been pretty worried about you. Huh? Your big brother. He's been looking all over for you this whole time. I'm done for. What are you doing here? You're such a pain. 
Witch King to show off your audio <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right. Give us a second. Okay. Stop that timer. Um, what are you doing here? You're such a pain. What? I is she playing along? She totally is. Here, you can have this. What is that? A bento box. Oh, that's adorable. A bento box? There's, there are rice balls inside. I figured you could use something to eat before bed. Thanks. Huh? Right then. Night! Super center hub. Uh, what? Sleep tight, you two. See you in the morning. Huh? What? Night. Night? W w wait. Y you can't expect me to sleep here. Why not? With her? Yeah, and? What's the problem? Can't I stay with one of... No! Seriously, can't I spend the night at one of your houses? No way! My dad would blow up a gasket. Look, it's late. I'm sure the two of you have lots to talk about, so we'll see you tomorrow, okay? I'm not sure if have a chance about reusing the voice mod software for other works. So, the thing with the voice mod software, it's, it's the G-Hub, right? And the G-Hub gives you the ability to change a bunch of different things with pitches and warps and, and like double ups and all this. Like, there's a whole lot of different options. The thing with the preset effects is that it's just a very particular set of settings that they've compiled to try to imitate that kind of a character. You could get there yourself by tweaking settings in a certain way. So it's not like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the box, show the figures based on for Super Center. Oh, really? No way, Empathy, that's super cool. That's amazing that you recognized it. Uh, and it's the show that Power Rangers used the fight scenes from originally. That's hilarious. This isn't happening. Oh. Two minutes are up. Unbelievable. Oh, shit. I missed that. Uh, could it be that in this timeline, she's actually my sister? So, who the hell are you? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, M Minato. My name's Minato. And you're supposed to be my big brother, huh? Well, no. Duh, obviously. So why'd you lie and tell them you were? You some sort of creep? Ugh, it's, it's a long story. Then save it. Huh? I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Uh... I mean, she's got a point. Ominous zooming. How am I supposed to sleep like this? Was it grapefruit that you wanted? It was grapefruit that Seeker wanted, yes, so I'd love some. Grapefruit. Yeah, we're going to love grapefruit. Yay! How you going? See? Yeah, I reckon that's enough. How you doing? Uh, could be better. Could be better? What's up? Gonna have bubble tea. Yes, bubble tea will make things, better. Make things better. You okay? Yeah. Um, dinner should be ready in like... Love that you're looking at your watch and you're not wearing a watch. It's half past freckles. Perfect. Yeah, no, that'd be good. I, I am starting to get a little bit peckish. To get Sorry? I have lots of freckles for hairs to go past. You, you do, and you have a lot of hairs for the freckles to be under, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How am I supposed to sleep like this? Hey, you still awake? Y yeah. Can we talk? W what? Why? What do you mean, why? I can't sleep either. Y yeah, this place kind of smells kind of funky, huh? It is a storeroom. Hey, you're not going to be so uptight around me. Huh? How old are you? Eleven. We have an answer. Minato is eleven. Huh. Same as me. What? No way. I thought for sure she was older. Just talk to me like a normal kid. Of course. I mean, uh, sure. Whatever. Oh, goodness. Uh, what's with those bruises? What sort of jerk just asks about that? Sorry. Me. What should we talk about? Uh, rice balls! Oh, that's right. Wataru gave me some rice balls. Um... Here, we can share. Gross, did you even wash your hands before you touched them? I... It's fine. I ate before you got here. 
Yeah? Okay then, if you say so. Munch. Nom. Man, this is good. Guess this is the first thing I've had to eat since breakfast. Munch. Nom. Sniff. Are you crying? N no, I'm not. You're crying. What a big baby. We should get to bed. Yeah. Why? Why? Ah, uh, what? What are you looking at? I'm so tired. I don't know why, and I'm so sorry that I keep yawning. The name on the bento box Wataru gave me. What about it? It says Manabu. I wonder if that's his brother. It isn't. That's his name. His actual name. He told me when we met. I fucking called it! It's Dad! What? It's not Wataru? That's his nickname. Oh, what was his surname again? It's not one you hear every day. Toka Safari! Anyway, that's where he got the nickname. Wataru comes from his last name? It couldn't be. Could it? What did he say it was again? Watari. Hmm? Toki Watari. Is it Toki Watari? Yeah, that's totally it. Jeez, could have said so sooner instead of watching me struggle. Manabu Toki Watari. It's dad! I don't remember anything I said to Nozomi after that. I was too focused on trying to stop shaking. It was hard to believe. The first person I met here was the person I've been looking for this whole time. Crazy idea, Nozomi is his mum. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I was kind of thinking it was Akko, but you might be right. You might be right. My dad! The Haunted Train End. We're into chapter eight, guys. Almost halfway. Yes, save the progress. Always save the progress. <clears throat> hey, mum, how'd you and dad meet anyway? It was back when we were just kids. Wow, that long ago? Mmm, we're about your age, I guess. Huh, so where was your first date? Come on, tell me. We went to a movie. <laughs> we were so young. That's weird. Were you in the same grade? We were. Well, we were supposed to be. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I think you might- I think you might be right, Apathy. I can't. I can't open it. No way. Why not? It was open a minute ago. It's locked or something. Well, unlock it. Quick. I can't. It's- it's locked from the outside. Oh, right, because this is a storeroom. Gah! I mean, you could open the window. Ah, oh, phew, it was just a dream. Okay, or was it? Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Chapter 8. A new morning. Morning. G good morning. What's up? Sniff. Uh, are you crying? No, I'm not crying. Really? I mean, that's great, but it's okay if you feel like crying. I'm actually pretty sad too. It'll be okay though. We might be sad and maybe a little lonely, but we've got each other. Was the floor hard? Uh, um, yeah, a little. Hmm. We can share my mat tonight if you want. Your what? Ah, uh, that's uh, that's an option. Yeah. Why are you so red? Uh, no reason. Okay, well, I'm gonna go wash my face. Go outside. Aha! Perfect timing. Morning. What's happening? Why are you guys here so early? Get your stuff. You two need a bath bad, so you're gonna take one. Huh? 
You didn't wash up yesterday, did you? Uh, no, I guess not. And it's been even longer for Nozomi. Meep. I had Katetsu clear it with his folks. He said you can get in for free right now because there aren't that many customers. Katetsu's parents run the bathhouse, in case you didn't know. A bathhouse? Huh, I've never been to one before. I'm not going. Oh, you bet you are. Because honestly, you reek. There, I said it. You think so? Sniff, sniff. Oh, she's right. I'm not going to force you to go, Minato. You can start a mold farm in your armpits for all I care. But you have no excuse, Nozomi. Boys can be gross, but girls have standards. Follow me. I'll show you the way. Fine, fine. Remember, this is the 80s. <laughs> They're leaving us behind, Minato. Wanna go? Actually, I wanna ask you something first. Sure, what's up? Uh, actually, never mind. It can wait. You sure? Yeah, I wanna look into something first. You go ahead. Suit yourself. You know how to get there? Yeah, I've got it. Center of town, right? Yep, yep. See you there then. New catalog items available. New, collected avail new collectible items have been scattered around town for you to find. In fact, there may be new things hiding in places you've already visited. Keep an eye out and find what and see what you can find. Honestly, I'm kind of focused more on the story than the collectibles at this point. I can always replay to get them all. More names is advertising to play around them. Oh shit! Shit. Hang on a second. I didn't know that. Um. Me a second. Sorry about that. Just sent a message to my contact because that's not good. Um, okay, now's my chance to learn about the Tokyo Watari family and my dad. Uh, the family grave is my only lead right now, so I should go there first. Here we go. This makes smells good. Here we go. Here it is, Toki Watari. That means this gravestone's been here a long time. What I'm saying what am I saying? Of course it has. Is Dad's name here? Where's the chicken? On its way. On its way. Nope, also not surprising, which means... Minato, is that you? What? Ah! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Why are you looking at my family's grave? Good question. I was right. It is theirs. It's not what it looks like. It's, uh, you know, the Tsuchinoko. Uh, yeah, that's it. The name that was in the notebook. I thought maybe the Tsuchinoko might be, uh, around here somewhere. Ha 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 ha. Ah, I see. Yeah, you might be onto something. It's pretty muggy here. 
That makes it the perfect hideout for a snake. Right? That's what I was thinking. Wait, the Sushinoko's a snake. Were you just coming to, uh, say hi? Yeah. This isn't something a lot of kids do, you know. Well, this is where my mum and dad are, so, yeah. What? Oh man, I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. So who do you live with? My grandma. It's just the two of us. Before that, I got passed around to a lot of our relatives. Wow. That kind of makes sense. Nobody talked about dad's parents much. I think that's a good time to pose and do our stream raiders battle. Move my bottle over here so I can actually see what I'm doing on my second screen. Um, Let's actually pop this in the middle here with you lot. Start battle. You cute Warby skin, amazing. Actually, I have an idea for Warby skin. We'll, we'll see how it, mmm, mm, we'll see how we go. I think we might win this one. What do you reckon? There we go. Alrighty. Congratulations to Neke, Spam, Meaty, Heiko, Dupe, and Yori on all your bonus shit. Ooh! <gasps> Yay for food! Thank you so much. Oh god, that looks and smells amazing. <gasps> and Nan? I am so grateful. So spoiled. Thank you, Jess. It's butter chicken and Nan. Mmm. Fucking delicious. Okay. This one. Mmm. Thank you. Grapefruit tea. Yes. Thank you. I have cleaned up the cup all over the place. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Let us place an archer. Awesome. And then go this button. And polar bear wall base is adorable. Mm. Mm -hmm. It looks like so amazing. Yep. So fucking tasty. And then naan, of course, because you gotta have the naan. Gotta have the naan. And tea! Yep, grapefruit, fruit tea. With grape jelly. <laughs> grapefruit and grape. Perfect combination. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Tea and curry. Mmm. Congrats to Fia on her bonus food indeed. That kind of makes sense. Nobody talked about dad's parents much. Wait here. I'll just be a minute. Done. We should get to the bathhouse. Kotetsu and the others are probably waiting for us. Right, yeah. I'll just be a bit longer. You go. I'll catch up with you. Sounds good. See you there. See you there, Dad. What now? Ugh, I should just tell him what's going on. You can't, though. They, like, he specifically told you not to, because you'll fuck everything up. 
You can't. You cannot. You must not. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not talking to the pea guy again. Never again. I'm so disgusted. <laughs> it was so nasty. Have you been? Come on, let's get in already. Mount Fuji bath. Okay. <laughs> I brought one more friend, Mum. <clears throat> oh, premonition time. anyone saw me. I'll hide her here for now. Can't leave her long though. Have to sneak her out without anyone seeing. Maybe tonight. That's not fucking terrifying at all. Gah. Hands are shaking like a leaf. Damn it. How did this happen? It's all her fault. If she just kept her mouth shut. Damn women need to just shut up and keep the sake flowing. I don't like you. I can't believe it. How was I to know? How was I to know a little smacking around would kill her? I don't like him. He sucks. Another vision. What on earth is going to happen now? I brought one more friend, Mum. Did you now? Well, hello there. Are you sure this is all right, Kitetsu? Did you get your father's permission? I know it's only children's prices, but... Quit asking already. I said I talked to him. You're always getting into my business and it's so annoying. That's no way to speak to your mother. <laughs> so quotable. Murderer. Yep, get in the ball, you little wanker. Pretty sure that was a Pidgey. <laughs> Sorry about that, Minato. Go ahead, get in. Hey, Minato, you sure kept us waiting. I'm gonna get in too. Oh man, big baths are the best, right? Yeah, I guess. Everything okay? What's the matter? You you're not gonna cover up? Cover what up? How are you not getting this? Okay, I'm gonna head in first. Guess I should get undressed. <laughs> Wanna get more like it, Narcus? Look, maybe. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Nah, we weren't waiting long. Hmm? What's with the towel, Minato? What? This? It's nothing, really. Why are you covering up? Oh man, don't tell me. Are you getting hair down there? Oh lord, I'm not ready for this conversation. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's only weird if you wear your fucking hat in the bathhouse. <laughs> yeah! Oh dear. Whoa, is he? What are you talking about? Are you? You are, aren't you? Wow, best not let anyone see it. That's for sure. Yeah, I guess. All that time to think about what's proper. You grown-ups have too much time on your hands. This is hilarious. Children are just. Great task, bath time. Yeah, but like, I can't... The morning dip is the essential way to start a new day. I feel transcendent, reborn, and new. I don't understand what's going on. How do I how do I bathe? You can't get in yet, Minato. You've got to wash yourself off first. Oh, okay. Oh, examine. 
Oh, no? Okay. What is that? Kiro bucket. The fuck is a Kiro bucket? How do I bathe? Question of the century. <laughs> there we go. You gotta really scrub yourself before you get in, okay? Yeah, I know. Now, where's that soap? Dream time! No? Okay. Mm. This non's really good. Hey, quit looking! Yeah, I can't see a thing. The water's so nice, it's good to just sit. You should come every day, you'll make us rich. <laughs> Poof, I don't have that much money. Hey, what are you looking at? You both got little moles in the same place. Uh oh. We do? Where? On your butts, doofus. Ha ha ha. Oh, you're so gross, Kotetsu. You guys look a lot alike, you know. We do? I don't know about that. Oh yeah, you totally do, haha. -ha. <clears throat> hey, Wataru. Nozomi's pretty cute, don't you think? You, you think so? Whoa, do you not? I mean, no? Well, what do you think, Minato, as the big kid here? She's cute, right? Y yeah, you could say that. Hm. Wow, what the hell is wrong with you guys? Tough crowd. Mm. Dot, dot, dot. What if they're the same person? There's already been time travel. Yeah, but he's gone back in time. He's an 11 year old who's gone back 33 years. Because he's making this awkward as fuck he is. Come on, wash up good. You stink to high heaven. Hey, not so loud. You don't have to tell the whole world. Oh, poor Nozomi. Holy shit. That's Nozomi and Akko. Yeah. How come we can hear them? There's a little cutout at the top of the wall. Nuh uh. No. Whoa, are we really the same age, Nozomi? Look at those. Ako! Oh, shut up. Oh, for God's sake. No. Oh my God. Jesus fucking Christ. Are 11 year olds actually like this? I swear to God I wasn't like that. Or is this another one of those cultural things that is just different? A Japanese bathhouse ain't mm hmm Come on, let me see. It's not like they're gonna get any smaller. I said knock it off. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Naan is delicious. Look guys, there's something I want to talk to you about. What's that? Come on, spell. I might have lied to you. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's a long story, but... the fuck is happening in this game? So, Minato, us, we're 11, we've gone back 33 years in time. The dark-haired guy is our dad, and we're currently the same age as him. Um, we're, we're everyone's 11-ish. And, um, <clears throat> because we went back in time, we don't have, like, a family or a home or whatever to go to. And we slept overnight in the school gym storeroom with another chick who's questionable. We're not sure what's going on there. Um, and in the morning, the kids who are actually from this time and are appropriate all that kind of stuff have said, hey, you guys stink. So we've gotten us free entry to the bathhouse that's run by one of our friend's parents. And we're going to take you anyway. We're going to clean you. But you're going you're to get clean. So it's got men's and women's sections. And um, it's based in Japan. The whole story is set in Japan. So it's a Japanese bathhouse. Uh, and the boys were sitting there being ba like bathing themselves and then they could hear the girls yelling from the girl's side of the, the, the partition. Um, yeah. Yes. It'll be something else. We all have dirty minds. 
They were talking about how Minato was wearing a towel because he has hair down there. Pretty sure Akko and Nozomi were talking about Nozomi's boobs. Eleven is around, around the right age for that kind of shit to start happening. Puberty and stuff, you know? <laughs> um, at least that's how it got played in anime. Oh, right, I know Creepy Guy said go back in time, but then organized in a mystery. Oh, so Creepy Guy is us from the future. Us from 33 years in the future. So he's 44, I would take it. Uh, and now we've gone back in time to try to save his family. Uh, have you enjoyed this rare insight into the mind of the youth? No, I have not. Absolutely not. Uh, oh my gosh, that took forever. I almost fainted from the heat. That was the longest story I ever heard in my life. You're crazy. Sorry, but you kept asking questions. How could we not? Did we actually tell them that we're from the future? Because we were told specifically not to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm wearing clothes again. Oh, are they? Where are they? Oh, they're here, okay. <clears throat> One character with a Mario hat looks like baby Mario! Um, also a pixel Ash, Ash Ketchum is another thing that we've been we've been suggesting. Since when do kids do what they're not to, told not to do? True. Wait, is he wearing a hat indoors? Isn't that poor former Japan? Not only indoors, dude, but he wore it in the bath. At the bathhouse. I'm gonna end up guessing Mount Makeup after I Nope! No one has guessed Mount Makeup. It just kind of fizzled off. I think it was because people were like invested in the story. That's okay. What 11 year old is going to listen? An 11 year old who just found out that his dad's dead and his sister has an incurable disease that she's gonna die from because he doesn't have bone marrow that matches hers. And now someone's told him if you go back in time, you can fix all of this and none of it will happen. And so he did. So maybe he might potentially listen. Maybe. I'm not saying he will, but those are definitely convincing factors. <laughs> uh, Betty has his tattoos too. Uh, okay, I must now try again. Of course, go for it, Zika. Can he take the bone marrow from the father back to the future? I don't know. That's a very good question. Very good question. Okay, so you're not Nozomi's brother. That much I get. It's crazy, but I get it. You two don't even look that much alike. We think Nozomi might be her, uh, his, his mum. Yep. There's a lot more I want to ask you, but it can wait. That's his dad. We think Nozomi might be his mum. We're not 100% certain, but we think so. 50-50, it's a match for the kid. I didn't think parents were a 50-50 chance. I thought even with like siblings, it's still like a 25-ish percent chance or something. I could be wrong. I, I've never had to do bone marrow stuff, thankfully. Um, but... Mm. Mm. Knocks out the dads who can steal some bone marrow. Tyrell's charger? No. Armour's blue windrider? No! Not the armour blue windrider. I could be wrong also. Mm, yeah, I have no idea. But he definitely said that siblings were the closest chance at a match, and he's not a match, so he feels like it's his fault that his sister's not getting better. Um, his mum was a match, and they tried it, but it didn't work. It didn't take... Sorry. Wait. This may not be at all how it works, but if mum was a match, brother wasn't, I feel like brother would have had to have gotten his markers from dad. And so that's why it's not a, like, I, I, look, I do not know, but that's where my brain is going. Uh, I think I'm on the bone marrow register, but don't know much about it. I'm, I don't think I am. I'm not sure if I even could be, honestly. I've registered as an organ donor, 100 per fucking cent. But now I don't even know if I'm eligible to donate organs either. Given that I'm on medication that, you know, uh, fucks with my immune system and stuff. Like, I have no idea. I register as having bone marrow. I'm not, I'm not on any list as like a live donor. Um, but I am as a, as like a post goodbye kind of, yeah. Do we have a hint at makeup? Yeah, I, I own it and it flies with a, with a hints, yeah. So it's the dad's fault. You'd be surprised about what organs and stuff they could use. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, I know that I can't do blood. 
But I imagine that they'd probably flush an organ with saline if it was an issue with blood. Like, they'll take what they can get kind of thing. <clears throat> it could be like 600 mounts, correct. Well, no. 600, I've got 629 mounts currently, but not all of them can fly. So it does narrow it down a bit more. I don't know, I guess it's, uh, oh, where was it? I didn't see them. Um, oh, yeah, no, Tyrell's Charger, no, Arbor Blue Wind Rider, no. Yeah, that was a no on both of those. Um, mom's partner fought a long battle with cancer, his body was riddled with it, but they accepted some eye tissue after he Oh, that's great. I mean, obviously not the rest of the thing, but the fact that they took some eye tissue, that's really good. But yeah, like, I'm not going to use it. So, like, anything that they can take from me to help other people, fuck yeah, take it. Like, go for it. Um, and anything that can't be used, um, I'm, I'm happy for whatever, uh, to be donated to science. Especially considering, um, the, the genetic issues that I have. It'd be great if they could, you know, use bits of me to figure out how to help others. Um, so the rest of me will go to science and then whatever's left, put it in a box and burn it. All the scraps, the offcuts, the tendons and the... The connective tissue, pop it in a box and burn it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Totally fine. I mean, I know you're not apologizing to me, you're probably going to land it, but that's a okay. game. A lot more I want to ask you, but it can wait. Besides, I want to hear Akru's side of the story first. Oh, uh, right. Hey, you're trying to solve those seven puzzles or whatever in your notebook, right? Yeah, I think I'll learn something once I do. Huh, okay. And you've got that thing in your notes, right? The, uh, whatchamacallit? The Phantom of the Bathhouse. Whoa, you actually remembered something. You bet I did. How could I forget something like that? A body hidden somewhere in a girl's bath is a good way to get your bathhouse shut down. <sighs> He's not wrong. It's definitely not talking about our, our bathhouse. I know that much. <clears throat> Colossal Slaughter Claw. Yes. <laughs> Bingo. Uh, is it a purple or a red? Uh, yes. It is actually, it's like more of a maroon sort of shade. So it's a bit of a blend between a purple and a red. Kind of a halfway sort of color. So you're right. Yes, it's a purple or a red. Yeah. <laughs> go Seeker. Yes, go Seeker. Um, number from you, my dear. What is your number? Isn't this the only bathhouse in town? Er yeah, well, you can't go into the girls' bath anyway. Run away. 87. Eighty-seven. Okay, here we go. That's what Katetsu did. Well done, Seeker. Holy shit. Did you- What did I do? Broke it. That's fine. Um, fun fact. So I've typed in your name and it's come up with Sika Mikarina, Sika Mika Nika, with a C, Sika Mika Pika, as in like Pikachu, and Sika Mika Sika, as in like Sika twice. Yep. Look, there's a few variations on your name out there, apparently. Uh, congratulations. There you go. A win for you. Game is called Earthlock. I'm not sure what that is. But with that, we're going to open up the second chance draw. 15 minutes to enter. Exclamation giveaway. Got to be following to win. Bleach flashbacks with this music. Oh, dear. Oh, why not? It sounds like fun. To go into the girl's bath. Yeah. A body in the girl's bath? That vision I had earlier. You are here, dude. I've got a bad feeling about this. No doubt about it. That vision happened at this bathhouse. And then, and what that man said. How was I to know? How was I to know a little smacking around would kill her? I really don't like him. Another bad thing is going to happen. I hope I can stop this one too. I reckon we can. You with me? Let's stop the guy from smacking around and killing a woman. Chapter eight, end. We're halfway. We're halfway.
Hmm. Save complete. Chapter 9, The Two of Us. You guys took forever! We had a lot to talk about. And I bet it was all pretty stupid. Hey, I'm gonna head back. You are? Yeah, I wanna take the long way today. Alright, then, um... Hmm? Just be careful. I will. <clears throat> so, what'd you see? We were right. Oh, man. Right about what? What's going on? How bad was it? She's got pretty big bruises all over. Some on her back, some on her butt. What are you guys talking about? We've been worried about Nozomi for a while now, ever since we saw a bruise on her cheek. I think she ran away from home. She's got bags with her. This doesn't feel like all the other times, though. We wanted Akko to take Nozomi to the bath to check for us. We think someone at home has been hitting her, either her mum or her dad. Oh my gosh, what? Are you serious? I'm sorry I didn't say anything sooner, Kotetsu. No way. <clears throat> I won't let it happen again. Anyone who hits a girl isn't a grown up. They're a damn coward. Agreed, Kotetsu. Damn right. The worst of the worst. Who hits their own kid? So that's why you were letting Nozomi stay at your hideout? Because you knew? That's one reason. I told her to go to the police, but Watari said we should put her up, at least for one night. You brought her to the bathhouse so you could see for yourselves. Yeah. She didn't actually smell? That was just a lie to get her to go? Yeah, but you totally stank. Gee, thanks. Whatever. We've got bigger things to worry about, and I've got questions for you. You what? Shouldn't you have known that they were hitting Nozomi? You're her brother for crying out loud. Don't you share the same house? Wait, did they hit you too? Are you joking? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Back up. I was just telling Wataru and Kotetsu about this. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. We're talking about her boobs. Oh, the bruises. Look. I don't think Arko would be pointing out the bruises that obviously. And the way Nozomi was like, oh my god, just stop it. Like, I feel like that was immature, childish kind of silly business rather than, like, because remember the last time they pointed out a bruise on her face, she kind of, like, got all shitty and huffy and, like, ran away kind of thing. Um, so, I, look, maybe. Maybe, but, yeah. Hey, Aurelia, happy new year to you too. Welcome back. You'll give the game my sister in law. Oh, awesome, Seeker. You're very welcome. I'm so glad it'll be going somewhere that, like, you know, that someone will actually really enjoy it. That's really good news. Bruises, uh, bruises do get smaller. They do. Exactly. And she did say that it's not like they're going to get any smaller. So, you know. Uh, I told her the story as best as I could remember it, that I'm not Nozomi's brother, that I don't have any memories, that I felt bad for lying, but I didn't think she'd believe me otherwise. That all I know is my own name and that I have a notebook with seven mysteries written in it. And if I investigate those mysteries, I might remember something. Which is, you know, also a lie. <laughs> it was the best excuse I could come up with on such short notice. Arko looked plenty surprised, but she was quieter than I thought she'd be. And then she said... So that's the truth, noble. Yep. I'm so sorry. Do you believe me? Hmm. Please just give me a place to stay for a little bit longer. I'll stay with Nozomi. I just need two more days, not even, just 40 hours. 40 hours. Yeah, and if I don't have anything by then, I'll just go to the police. Uh-huh. Fine, have it your way. Really? <clears throat> I'm gonna go home. I just thought of something. Chicken. Can you come see me at the shrine, Minato? Like, around dinner time? I want to tell you something. Wow, that went way better than I thought it would. Yeah, I thought for sure she'd lose it. Quit lying, you dirty liar, or something like that. 
So what made you believe me? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You just don't look like you'd be a very good liar? Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks, that's nice of you. Dude, we just found out he's been lying to us this whole time. Hmm. Well, what do we do now? Hey, V. I'm doing very well, thank you. I hope you are too. The only thing we can do, investigate these seven mysteries. Oh yeah, good point. I have to help out my parents, so I can't go. Sounds fun though. I'll help you when I can. Okay, gotta go. Bye guys. Nom -a -nom -a -nom. Oh hey, let's go look for the Tsuchinoko. The what? The ghost train was real, so the Tsuchinoko must be too. I don't care if we split up or stick together, but we should pick a place to meet up later. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Uh, is this game currently on sale? So, I have it on Switch. I'm playing on Switch currently. Uh, yes, it is purchasable on Switch. Um, it is being released in a week on PC via Steam. Um, I'm not sure if they'll have a sale for it, like if it'll be discounted when they release it. It might be because it's like an early purchase kind of special. Um, I'm not sure if you can pre-order it. You might be able to, um, like pre-purchase, but yeah. It's coming out on PC in a week, but it is available now on Switch. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Yes, I can't wait. We're totally gonna find the Tsuchinoko. Well, wait. What now? Do we even know how to look for a Tsuchinoko? Oh yeah, good point. <clears throat> Aha! What? I saw something in a weird magazine once. They talked to a real live Tsuchinoko hunter. At least I think that's what the article was about. There are hunters? I don't know if it'll help, but we can go to the bookshop if you want to look for it. Yeah, there's one on Main Street. Hey, wait up! The bookstore on Main Street, huh? Still six and a half minutes to enter today's giveaway. If you would like to participate, exclamation giveaway to enter. Uh, you must be following to win, and the prize is a random Steam key. That looks like it says book. Hmm. Good timing. Welcome, babe. Mm. Hello, Jumpy. It's going very well, thank you. Happy New Year to you, too. Hope you are doing very well. Oh, this is gonna be close. It's not going to be as close as I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> the numbers they have balanced. Well, not balanced. We're winning. There we go. Delicious. Enjoy your meal. Absolutely. Always do. That was butter chicken. Very tasty. Congratulations to Mickfly, Lander, Heiko, Zondra, Spam, Sickness, Meaty, and Lux on all of your bonus shit. Well done. 
<clears throat> uh, we're going to head for the skin chest. Up the top. Okay. It feels so weird running my PC on one screen. I'm using the other screen for the uh, the switch. Very strange. Sometimes you appreciate, sometimes you don't. Correct. Hello, sickness. Happy New Year to you too. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. Congratulations on your randomized prize. Well done. Thank you very much for placing in our battles. All right, here we go. Found it. Yes, yes. This is it. <clears throat> Is it really called R uh, Monthly? Yeah, they write about ghosts and UFOs and stuff. Okay, here's the page. Interview with a Tsuchinoko hunter. Wait, what? What is it? This guy. I've seen this guy around town. Seriously? He wanders all over the place by himself. I thought he was just some loner weirdo. But he's actually a Tsuchinoko hunter? I wonder if we can trust him. Only one way to find out. Last time I saw him during the day, he was eating samples at the supermarket. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Where's the supermarket? In front of the train station. I'm a weirdo. Me too. Aren't we all? That looks an awful lot like a supermarket. How do I get in? Is this it? No. What is that? Siberia cake. I do not know what that is. this guy. Hmm. Eh? What do you want, kids? You're a Tsuchinoko hunter, aren't you, sir? Oh ho, so you're fans of mine? Sure are. Yeah. Well, 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 let me give you an autograph. I don't have anything to write with. Next time, then. So what brings you to me? We're looking for a Tsuchinoko. We'd like you to teach us how to catch them. Well, I'm sorry to say that's a trade secret. What? I couldn't teach you if I wanted to. Too much risk. Suppose you do catch one. You think I'd risk letting you steal the reward out from under me? Um, he's a little weirdo. Not that I've had Costco samples in a while. Maybe they don't do them anymore. I reckon something, something COVID. There'll be some kind of thing around yeah it's just not safe maybe uh there is actually gameplay not just storytelling a little bit it is a visual novel game so like you do like there's a bit of walk around uh while you're free to walk around and explore um there are like collectibles and stuff that you can grab yeah it's it's very cute that hat is very cute on the on the character <laughs> just like the jelly belly yeah Something, something dark side. Always, Zeran, always. What reward? There's a bounty. I hear someone will pay big for a live Tsuchinoko. Oh, entries have stopped for the giveaway. Where's the button? There's the button. Midgard! You've won! Can I have a number from you, please, between 1 and 100? A boatload! But you're a Tsuchinoko hunter. You must catch a lot of them. What's the harm in letting us catch just one? I beg your pardon? Yeah, what's the harm? <clears throat> all right, all right. How about this? Bring me what I ask and I'll show you how to hunt them. Yes, yay. Right then, first I'll need some liquor. Any liquor will do. I'm not picky. I've got errands to do, but I'll be waiting by the cigarette shop on the main drag. Meet me there with the booze. We are 11. We'll have to get it from someone. Let's ask around and see what happens. Sounds good. Ah, oh, who would give two random kids liquor? Where's the drunk guy we were talking to before? Mm. 
<clears throat> Where's the drunk guy? Check at the shrine and then I'll check the cemetery and then we'll head back around to the other street. Yeah, no one here. <laughs> Not talking to him. No drunk guy. Okay. Use <clears throat> hmm. a cars and bikes. No. No, you can't. <laughs> Intention, but that's okay. Cool. Cassette tape. <laughs> Retro medicine. <clears throat> Retro signage. Stuff. We'd like some liquor. Do you have any leftover liquor? If so, we'd like to have some. Some liquor? Whatever for? Well, see, there's this Suchinoko hunter. Ah, an adult asked us to get some. Is that so? Well, we do have some, being a restaurant and all. What were you looking for? He said he's not picky. Huh, I wonder if he's going to cook with it then. In that case, sure, I have some I can give you. Just wait here. Oh dear. So trusting. And here you are. I had some leftover after all. Dearie me. Mirin! Delicious. He's gonna try to drink that. And it's gonna be hilarious cooking sake? Well, it's not not liquor. In fact, it very much is liquor. It is? Absolutely. Run along now. Thank you. Mirin is fantastic. Well, he said he wasn't picky, right? Yep. You got yourself some liquor. Take it back to the Suchinoko Hunter. Mirina's rice wine. Rice wine vinegar is wonderful for sushi. In fact, it's pretty much necessary for sushi. He 
He wasn't picky, he wasn't. <clears throat> oh ho, you brought me some! Yep, here you go. Tell us how to find a Sushinoko. First, down the hatch. Glug, glug, glug. Gulp, glug, gulp, glug. Glug, glug, glug. Hey, wait, this is Mirin! The restaurant lady says it's liquor. Now, teach us the Sushinoko secrets. Mirin's not. Gah, no more liquor from you lot, but hell, it wasn't half bad. Next up, I need you to get some squid jerky, or I ain't telling you nothing. Then give us the money to buy it. And promise you'll tell us your secrets once we give it to you. Okay, okay, here. Here's 10 yen. They have squid jerky at the candy store, don't they? Yeah, but last I saw there was only one piece left. We better hurry then. Good luck, kiddos. Glug, glug, glug. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Drinking Mirin. Interesting. The Mirin I get is from, like, Woolworths. It's straight off the shelf, and they can't sell anything if it's too high alcohol content, so... Maybe it's... Uh... Who knows? Maybe it's, like, just under the threshold or something. Or maybe it's formulated so that it's, like... Um, what's it called? I don't have any mirror on a shopping list for next Asia shop visit. No, I just get it from Woolworths, international section. From the supermarket. Um, Clubhouse kind of still 2D pixel, but 3D. Same here, v. I love the style. It's literally 3D pixels. It's so cool. Ah, uh, restream raider, someone was telling me the other day that flying rogues are OP against the portals and snowmen. Yeah, because they can, they can kill the spawn location rather than the actual individuals that come out of it. Same thing with the the towers. There were there's um, maps where like you've got to defend your tower and kill the other tower, and everyone who just plays flying rogues and they go straight to the towers, kill the towers, and all the other enemies would just fall over. I don't, I haven't seen one of those maps in a while though, so maybe they kind of yeah. Family member who had an alcohol problem would drink perfume or hand sanitizer. I'm so sorry to hear that, Seiko. That's all sorts of fucked. Uh, people still have flying rigs available. Consider placing them. Very sad to see someone that desperate to get their fix. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Uh, are you much of a booze drinker? No. No. Um, if I'm out at a restaurant or something and there's a nice cocktail list, then I'll get a cocktail. Um, but I don't tend to go out drinking. Um, and I mean, we've got a couple bottles of some nice stuff at home, uh, but we don't drink it very much. Um, no, not really. Like, I'm not, I'm not against it. I'm also not against other people partaking, obviously. Um, it just, it messes with my body in a way that I don't like. I'm not talking about hangovers. I don't get hangovers. I've never had a hangover. Not in my life. Um, but it just doesn't. It takes my body literally days to feel like it's working properly again. I don't, no headache, no, no, like nausea, no, not nothing like that. It just everything feels like it's running like shit. Um, yeah, you know, like you know, like when you're playing WoW and your FPS just keeps dropping out and you're getting some wicked lag, but you cannot figure out where it's from, and so and so looting just takes seven or eight seconds every time, and that kind of it's like that. It's not game destroying kind of stuff it just makes everything just take longer and feel like you're wading through sand and all yeah it's just my body doesn't like it so yeah i don't do i don't do it very much yeah really nice aesthetic i agree quality over quantity is something i go with when out too yeah schmancy cocktails are lovely i agree and you get like two and a half standard drinks in one cocktail and they, so they're, they're, they're more cost efficient and they're fucking tasty. Like they're delicious. Like vodka in something usually tastes like ass, honestly. <laughs> Even really good quality vodka still just kind of tastes like burning for the most part. Um, whereas some nice liqueurs and things like that all mixed up with mixes and shit, like a cocktail is really tasty. Cocktail shots and cocktail shots is what I used to say. Um, <laughs> um, so I wouldn't bother with like, 
I mean, I do vodka cranberry and shit like that when I was out, but like, as I got a little bit older, I traded all that shit in. I just like, if I'm gonna drink booze, I'll do a shot or I'll have a cocktail. And occasionally I'll do cocktail shots, you know, like jam donuts and stuff like that. Cause they're tasty too, but yeah. Hmm, it just throws off your system. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine it's got something to do with um, the autoimmune shit. I just, I, cause um, I, there was a way a while ago um, when I was on different meds that um, my liver stopped working. Just stopped for a bit. Um, and they had to take me off the meds I was on and, and all this kind of stuff. And they did a whole shitload of tests and stuff. And eventually it kind of just like, your liver is incredible. Um, it, it rebalanced itself after a while being off the meds. But while I was on the meds, there, it was like four months. Uh, sorry, one, like it took about four months for it to kind of get back to where it was supposed to be. And I couldn't drink, not a drop the whole time. Um, and so for, for what I hope are obvious reasons. And I think since then I have become a ridiculous lightweight, like, like super lightweight, like one cocktail will put me to tipsy. Like quite, not not just kind of like I can sort of, sort of kind of feel it, like actually proper tipsy, not drunk, but tipsy. Um, and it just takes forever for my body to get untipsy again. Um, so like, I mean, all my liver function tests are fine. It may just be in my head, but I don't like feeling like that. So it's, it's not worth the delicious stuff, especially when you can get delicious, tasty stuff that doesn't have booze in it. That, that tastes just as good and doesn't make my body feel like shit, <laughs> you know? So yeah, it's just not worth it to me. Plus they're cheaper. So long since I've had a jam drop, jam donut shots are the fucking bomb. My favorite. Yeah, RL lag, exactly, exactly. But the, the rest of everything's fine and I can process fine, but my body is just like, Ugh. yeah. Uh, last week, like a silly Billy had a glass of rosé while on high prednisone. prednisone. Look, well, that was a choice that you made. Um, do I drink a lot of water after that? I can imagine. Chronic illness. Yes, like this low hum that just drains out your energy. Yep. Yep. Agreed wholeheartedly. Agreed. Yeah. It just kind of sucks. <sighs> oh my god. Yes, they were the worst. The ones that come in two and you break them and they always break wrong. God. Yep. Good. It is what it is. We go on. We do. We do the best. We make the best of it. We make the best of it. Ah, crud. It's gone. And it was just here a minute ago too. Excuse me. Do you have any squid jerky left? Nope. Fresh out, I'm afraid. Maybe you won't dawdle next time and just buy up whenever it is you want. Jeez, that was mean. Hang on, ma'am. What? You're eating it. And it's my merchandise, isn't it? Munch, munch. Please sell us that little bit you're chewing. We're not picky. Ew, what's wrong with you kids? Why do you want half chewed jerky? We've got 10 yen. It's normally 15 yen. This is a matter of life and death. We need that squid jerky at all costs. All right, fine. Answer me this riddle and I'll give you the jerky from my mouth. Be quick too or I'll eat it all up. A riddle? Come on, why do we have to answer a riddle? Hush now, I live to torture little brats like you. You don't have to answer anything if you don't want. You can go home empty-handed. What will it be? We'll do it! Yeah, give us the riddle. Okay, here we go. Quiz time! Question one. Ew, mouth jerky. Agreed. Man of life and death where I know, right? What the fuck? <clears throat> Question one. If you're looking directly at the cigarette shop on Kagami's main drag, what shop is to its right? Fuck. Hey, bookshop. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Quiz time. Question two. What picture is on the wall of the men's side of the bathhouse? Mount Fuji. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. <clears throat> now for the third and final question. This one's a toughie. Name the three things that are drawn on the supermarket sign. The one in front of the station. From left to right. F 
Fuck. Does anyone know? How many of you, hands up, are checking the button? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I have no idea. <laughs> Genuinely, I have absolutely zero idea. It wasn't, I swear. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, hydrate. I can do that. Look, a map for this game. The map's not going to help with the sign on the front of the supermarket, unfortunately. That's something that isn't on the map. It's something that's specifically on the actual, uh, what's a duva. I should do more. She's hydrating. Inception. Exactly. Exactly. Look, it's a thing. Another hydrate. <laughs> I left the uh, the cold water tea bag to brew for too long, I think. Oh, and a stretch. It's kind of bitter at the end. They were looking at us all. Of course, of course. Go and stream to the butt with the shop. Exactly. Exactly. If anyone's got the vod up. It wasn't too long ago that we were outside the front of the supermarket talking to the Suchinoko uh, hunter. Otherwise, I'm going to have to guess. Um... Ah, better luck next time. Oh dear, gut feel says octo fish carrot. Octo fish carrot. Okay. Ah, oh, it's just me. Store. Seeker says, Octo, fish, carrot. Damn. Oh, two down, two to go. Anyone else want to take a random stab at it? <clears throat> ba bow. Yep, exactly. So the two options that are left. Ah, fuck. Not that one. So it must be the last one, the, the fourth one. Cool. Just chip up into the chill music. Love that. Good. What did you vote? Didn't saw it. Huh? What do you mean? Um, well, I accidentally tapped through it too quickly. So it went for the top one, which it's not. And Octofish Carrot was the second one down, and I'm pretty sure I went with the third one, my first choice. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna be number four. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Sigh, ding ding. Yeah, woohoo! Well, a promise is a promise. Squid jerky. That looks so appetizing. It looks like one of those 3D ultrasounds, but of somebody's intestinal worms. It looks chewed. Yeah, it's pretty chewed up though. Who cares? It'll be fine. You got some squid jerky. Take it back to the Suchinoko Hunter. <sighs> Delightful. 
Black. I'm not sure that I was not expected to be looking like. I'm not sure that I was not expected to be looking like jerky for 10 US dollars. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean, sorry, Aurelia. Um, this is the wrong place. I need to go to the next one. Here's your squid jerky. Teach us your Suchinoku secrets. Why is this half eaten? Jerky looked sus. It did. It did. You little punks. Ugh, whatever. A promise is a promise. Listen well, because I can't say this too loud. Got it? Jerky always sus. Jerky's delicious. Jerky is meat flavored chewing gum. Like it's so good. Half eaten, who wonder? Eat. Thing about the Sushinoko is. Gulp. Gulp. See, the thing about them is. They've got scales like a snake! Mm hmm. And? I thought that'd surprise you more. Well, we already knew that. Yeah, tell us something we don't know. Anything else would be a trade secret. I can tell you no more. <laughs> They're angry. Oh, fine, fine! But you cannot tell another soul about this. Mm, I like jerky? I do like jerky. Specifically biltong. It's fucking delicious. Really, really good. Salmon jerky in Japan is delicious. I never do fish usually. I've never had salmon jerky. I've never had fish jerky. I've only ever had like beef. Um, actually, yeah, I think I've only ever had actually beef jerky. I'm not sure I've had pork. I've definitely not had chicken. I think I've only ever had beef jerky. Maybe I might have had some random thing like like um, kangaroo or something at some point, but yeah. Did someone say biltong? I did. I did. Yeah, now nah, but to each their own. I honestly, I really, really like biltong. Um, it's it's packed full of flavor, and it's it's like meat chewing gum. Like it, it really because you can you just chew and chew and chew and chew and chew and it just keeps releasing more and more and more flavor. Um, except you can swallow it. You you can't. You don't have to spit it out. Like you have to spit chewing gum out. Um, and it's really good for um, like if you've got a savory craving. Like just one little piece of biltong will ki like will kick a savory craving because it's just so packed full of umami flavor, um, and they're really great for protein. Like like if you're trying to get more protein in your day, but can't sit down and like eat a steak, um, biltong is a great way to get more protein in without resorting to things like bars and powders and shakes and stuff. Um, which there's nothing wrong with that, obviously, if like that's the most efficient way for you to do stuff, but it's it's just a bit more efficient like it's it's more uh like actual food based rather than supplement based if that makes sense um but yeah obviously though it's the same with any food if it's not for you it's not for you and that's totally okay but if you've never tried it i'm not saying you haven't but if if anyone out there has never tried it before uh, i definitely suggest giving it a go i'd go with something like a like a softer eating um teriyaki biltong like teriyaki flavored biltong would probably be a really good way to go. Some of them, um, so like there's some biltong that comes in almost what looks like stretched out strips, um, which are kind of really quite tough and chewy and like really, really chewy. Um, but you can also get like bits that are, it kind of almost like think about if you get like a really thick cut ham, like slice of ham off the bone and you can kind of tear apart the fibers of the stuff and you get like, you end up like with like a little square of stuff left. It looks like that except a lot darker and kind of a bit dried out and stuff, but it's it's flat rather than stretched out. And that stuff is re quite soft, less chewy, uh, and it disintegrates much faster. 
Um, like, you know, you can't just chew on it for like 10, 20 minutes or whatever. Um, but the, the flavors are quite similar, um, but without some of the more tough kind of, yeah, no, it's, it's really, really lovely tasting stuff. Uh, in my opinion, of course. Okay. There we go. I'm so good, I haven't tried it in 10 years. The entirely fair. I love teriyaki. Didn't know they had that built on Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Love teriyaki, so I'll try that. Look. It might be worth giving it a go when you've got someone around who likes jerky anyway, just in case you still don't like the texture or whatever, or in case the flavor's not quite what you were expecting. But um, supermarkets in Australia, especially, you know, Woolies and Coles and stuff like that, have a pretty decent selection of jerky these days. Uh, um, yeah. And of course, it's the more the more kind of like basic sort of stuff. It is still quite expensive per gram, um, but you're getting a, like quite a bit of protein and flavor and stuff for what you're paying. So, yeah, doesn't go to waste. Exactly. That's. I mean, if I'm trying something for the first time, I always try to make sure that there's someone with me who can take over in case I don't like it because I hate throwing away food. It's just such a waste. But plus, also with with jerky, obviously, if you try some right then and there and it, you don't like it. It's not like it expires super quick. It doesn't like go cold or get warm. Or, like you can hold on to it for a little bit as long as you like pop it in a, like a little sealy bag or something. Um, but yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. I just don't like wasting food here. Um, hello, one pan. Happy New Year. You find it a good home, exactly. Find someone who can nom it for you. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I don't mean to be rude. You're not boring me. Neither is the game. I'm actually really invested in this game. I'm just so tired and I don't understand why. Uh, Bjorniel, Dodge, Heiko, uh, Mim, Draco, Neke, Jumpy, Seeker, and Bay. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um. Oh yeah, we're good. Uh, this one. There we go. Place them units. Um. Oh, have. Oh. Really freaked out, friends, the other day. The uneaten cheese was scooped and put in a bag in the freezer. I make cheese and now that even left out for hours, cheese is too great to cook with. Yeah, now, oh, you now know that, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because the whole thing with cooking it is that you're raising it to a super high temperature. So anything that would have grown on it in that short time would be killed, right? Is that the idea behind it? <laughs> No waste. I need some iron from Biltong, maybe? Look, maybe. Or some actual decent sleep. So glad you're with us at least. Me too, Lander. Me too. Make some mean blue mac and cheese. Ooh, first week back at work. Might be why you're somewhat tired. Yeah, look, I mean, I work part-time, so I've only had one day back at work. And I only had, like, a week, like, two days off. Because it's, um, like, I only had the one week off over Christmas. So I, I worked up until the Thursday before Christmas, and then I went back, like, yesterday. So, um... I don't know, maybe. I think I've just been sleeping like trash. The heat's really been getting to me. So there's that. Um, I actually slept, like, um, you guys might remember, like, the sec the 1st of January I was great, had a good day, really super productive, and then the 2nd and 3rd of Jan, like, I slept. Like, oh, like, I, I slept in, I think on the, the 2nd of Jan, I didn't wake up until midday, and then on the 3rd I was up early in the morning, but then slept right through from, like, I think I, I passed out at like 10, 10.30, and then slept through to like 2, 2.30. Uh, and then yesterday was fine, and now I woke up at like 10.30 this morning. Like I slept in massively again. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just sleeping like shit. I think my body is fucked. I think everything's just crap. Um, so I, I think, 
I think I'm not well. <laughs> I think I'm not well. Um. Yeah. I think I'm not well. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. You cannot tell another soul about this. Tsuchinoko are attracted to pungent things, but it can't be any old smelly thing. Oh no, they're attracted to the scent of burnt human hair. Uh oh. Are, are you serious? I didn't know that. But they're fast, see? You can't catch them with your bare hands. So when you find a spot where they might be, which around here might be behind a gravestone, you've got to set up a mouse trap or something that'll thwack. Catch them quick, like. Keep hydrating and rest up. Yeah, it's a bit that way, hey? Ooh, this is great. It's a good thing we asked. Yeah, <laughs> good. Because I can't tell you anything else, no matter how much you wheedle or beg. Thanks, Mr. Suchinoko Hunter. We'll take it from here. Good luck, boys. You'd better share the winnings with me if you catch one. Oh, dear. A mousetrap and some human hair, eh? It's getting late. We should split up and look for them. I'll go get a mousetrap. Wait a second. You're saying I'm stuck looking for human hair? Yep. Ugh, where would I even find any? Wouldn't a barbershop have a ton left over? I bet you could get some there. Well, fine, I'll do it. Cool, meet me at the cemetery once you've got it. Yeah, sure. You can have another pre-chewed piece of jerky. You took the easy way out of this one, Dad. Guess I better get to the barbershop. Where was it again? Hmm. <clears throat> Wrong. I think? Oh no, look. Hey, wait. Hang on. Was that not the barbershop right there? It certainly looked like a fucking barbershop. map. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. There it is. Man, that's actually a really nice looking barbershop. What the heck? How is it closed already? What do I do now? Think, Minato. They probably don't just pile the hair up and leave it there. What does a barbershop do with all that hair? Where does it go? I should have a look around. Round the back. Oh my god, speaking of barbershops, I booked in a hairdresser appointment. Wooden milk crate. That's not hair. I'll bet they threw all the clippings in the trash. Russell, Russell, Russell. Ah! Hair trimmings. Found some. Ugh, oh, this is more traumatizing than Nightmare on Ginza Street. Well, I've got the hair at least. I wonder if Wataru found that mousetrap. Maybe I should head over to the cemetery. Hmm? Oh shoot, Arko told me to meet her at the shrine. We said we'd meet up around dinner time. I should head over there first. Oh, what are you getting done? Uh, a haircut. <laughs> no, seriously, I haven't had my hair cut in two years. So I'm getting a fucking cut. I don't think it is going to be anything fancy. Um, I think it'll just be an actual cut. Yeah. But yeah, um, like when when my hair isn't fresh, like my hair dye at the moment is quite fresh, but when it's not fresh, you can see there's like a line in my hair where it goes for like um, where where the like the box dye starts because I stopped using box dye around when the pandemic hit. And I start, that's when I made the switch to Manic Panic, which is my hair, Vampire Red is my shade. It's on my throne wish list. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, that's when I switched right about the start of the pandemic. And I had my hair cut in January and then it was my 30th birthday in February, 2020. Uh, and all my family were there and stuff. And then after that lockdown happened in early, in early March and everything went to shit. And I haven't had a haircut since. I had appointments, but I cancelled them because autoimmune condition, I didn't really want to leave the house. I didn't want to go and put myself at risk for something as unnecessary as a haircut. 
Um, and then it just kept going and going and going. And it's been two years since I've had a haircut now. Because that was the last one. It was January 2020. So um, my hair has grown out quite a bit because two years of growth and I haven't had a cut in all that time. So it's quite long. And you can see like all this stuff is kind of, it's it's sort of dead because the box dye damages your hair. But then the top of my hair is actually quite healthy and soft because semi-permanent dye like Manic Panic doesn't damage your hair so much. Um, so I was tempted to just chop off all the box dye stuff, but it'd make it quite short and I'm, I don't look great with short hair. Um, so I'm just going to get a few inches taken off, uh, just to try to get rid of some of the dead ends. And then as it continues to grow, I'll have more and more of it chopped off until it's all actually healthy. Yeah. Getting it much shorter. Not by too much. Definitely getting a bit off, like a couple of inches at least. Um, but not, not short, short, not short, short. Um, are you a vampire? No. Uh, <laughs> gonna feel so different, hopefully fresh after. Look, I hope so. I hope so. I really hope that my hair will be a fair bit healthier afterwards because uh, I just tried to move my character with the mouse and keyboard. Um, yeah, I just, I hope my hair will feel a lot better afterwards, but we'll see. We will see. Long pause, confirm vampire. I'm not a vampire. I wish. I'm terrified of death. I don't know what happens. It's fucking terrifying. Um, oh, hey, Minato. Did you find that Tsuchinoko? How did you know about that? Well, Tari told me. He was just here. Gotcha. So he's already looked here. They wouldn't be here anyway. This is my house. I'd know. Whoa, really? The way I'm dressed, wasn't it a, or wasn't a hint? Ugh, being the daughter of a shrine priest is the absolute worst. I was so busy today. They made me do a lot of really hard work. Yikes. So what did you want to tell me? Oh, right, that. So how much do you know about the Magi? The Magi? That's one of the seven mysteries in my notebook. Yep, number six. I don't know a thing. It's not like there's a description written in here. Oh, okay. Well... The Magi comes from an old legend about this shrine that's been handed down for a long, long time. I'm not actually supposed to tell anybody. We have to keep it in the family. I only just heard about it myself. So how the heck do you know about it? I told you, it's written in the notebook, that's all I know. And who wrote that notebook, huh? I have no idea, that's the seventh mystery, remember? Oh yeah, you're right. You promise not to tell anyone? About what? About the legend of the Magi? I'll tell it to you, but you can't tell anyone else. Got it? Well. <gasps> Den! Eight months! I feel absolutely blessed to have found you in your community. I think you've been Aw, that's so sweet of you to say, Den. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated, and thank you for being a part of the community. The community wouldn't be as awesome as it is if it didn't have you guys in it. Like, that's the whole thing. <laughs> Amazing. You look so young. Me? I am... I'm 31. I'm turning 32 next month. That's terrifying. And just, ugh. This is getting deep indeed. Indeed. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. Ahem. On the night the star falls, the Magi will appear, an envoy from eternity's far shore. Hand at the helm, the Magi arrives in a ship that sails the tides of time. The Magi is to be feared. The Magi is to be sheltered. Offer aid in time of need, and your heart's deepest wish shall be granted. What was all that about? What does it mean? The Magi is a traveler from another world. So, an alien? People say he appears once every 33 years at the same time as the comet. If you get to see him, there are rules you must follow. You can't ask anything personal, like where he came from or why he has come. They say he won't remember any of these things, so he shouldn't ask. He doesn't even know how he came to exist. Next, we have to hide him and protect him. We have to do our best to keep people from seeing him. His secrets have to be kept just that, secret. Lastly, after three days, he'll have to leave again to disappear. <gasps> I'm the Magi! Guys, I'm the Magi! Huh? So, does that ring any bells? It rings all the bells! What the heck is up with all this Magi stuff? 
How'd this even become a legend anyway? Because he keeps going back to the past to try to fucking fix it. So you can probably see why there's something that's been bothering me ever since you got here. Minato, are you... Are you him? I mean, you don't have any memory of where you came from, right? And, and if I help you, will you grant me whatever I wish? No, no way. Are you nuts? That's just some crazy superstition. And, and not to mention if I were him, the what's his name, Magi, then asking me the questions you just did would be against the rules. Oh shoot, you're right. <sighs> Fucking 11 year olds, man. Ah, oh, crud, I've got to go. I'm supposed to meet Wataru. Catch you later. Hey, wait, come back here. I guess he's right. It's all just superstition. Oh wait, I forgot one part. What was it again? Um, oh yeah. Once he leaves, every memory of his passing will be forgotten. Guess that's just another part of the superstition though. At least it better be. Because if it's true, we'll all forget Minato when he's gone. Chapter nine, end. Meet you next month as well. I know, right? What the fuck? Damn 32 century. That, look. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Maybe that's why I can't keep up with the kids these days and don't understand memes and TikTok and all this shit. It's because I'm too fucking old, but like literally like centuries too old. Maybe that's the problem. Ah, uh, went Magi an old name for people who study astronomy. Probably. That sounds about right. It's me. I'm the Magi. The Magi was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Hydrate. I think this might be the last one. Mm-hmm. Empathy. No more hydrate. The Magi, huh? Maybe that's why Arco bought my story so readily. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Right, time to get to the graveyard. I wonder if Wataru found a mousetrap. Me 10,000 years old. A 31 year old superstar, we've come to a door. Ugh, I was 26 when I started streaming. Like, fuck. Fuck happened. Chapter 10. Wait. Is that what's his name? No. Is it? I just never paid attention to what he was wearing. Oh, hey, did you find some hair? Yeah, I've got it. Look. Wow, it's actually even more gross than I thought it'd be. Well, here's the mousetrap. You just had one of those, huh? Yep, now what are we supposed to do with the hair? Set it on fire. You forgot already. You, ha uh, you forgot already? We have to burn it. Burn it with fire. The hunter said Tsuchinoko are attracted to the smell of burnt hair. Oh yeah, that's right. Well then, we'd better... Oh no. Oh crap. How are we gonna light it? I know. Maybe we'll find something over that way. Let's have a look. Incense, children. Find some incense. Awesome backdrop, right? How gorgeous is that sky? It's because these children can burn it some other way. Yeah, incense. What a tranquil time we live in. Thank your lucky stars you were born in such a peaceful age, child. Um, excuse me. Um, excuse me. I've got it. There's a lit stick of incense. Fucking told you. Perfect. That'll do. Now let's get this hair lit up. I hope it'll catch. Man, the fact that my generation used to play King's Quest for adventure games. Now adventure games like this exist is so amazing, right? Isn't it amazing? Like, it's just wonderful how far the art form of video games has come. Like, holy shit. The fires of youth. Yep. Fingers crossed. Oh, there it goes. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Hot. Careful. You're gonna... Ah! 
That smells horrible. It's awful. Why does it smell so bad? Ugh. I'm gonna choke. Did you just get a naughty mag? Uh, it was a it was a magazine with an image of a woman on the cover in a bikini. It might have been a naughty mag. It could have just been a bikini magazine. I'm gonna play through all the King's Quest games. Nice. Burning hair isn't supposed to smell good. No, it's not. But you know, it kind of grows on you. Sniff, sniff. Blech. Blech. Well, we're gonna attract something with this. Yeah. Okay, it's totally burnt. That takes care of the bait. Time to set the trap. Where should we put it? How about we put it over there? FHM? Yeah, exactly. All right, we're all set. This is exciting. This would probably be pixelated though, right? Look, we should check the trap tomorrow. You're probably not wrong, dupe. You're probably not wrong. We're solving these mysteries far too slowly for someone who's only got 72 hours. <clears throat> Are you going to pay your respects again? Nah, I'm okay for today, I think. So, Minato, what are your mum and dad like? M my parents? Do you not remember them either? No, I, I do, but... uh, We can talk about something else if you want. I, um... I don't really know my dad is all... It's complicated. Oh yeah? My mum is... Hmm. She can be a little bit selfish, actually. Huh, sounds like Nozomi. Yeah, exactly. That seems to just be how girls are. You really think so? Why'd you ask, anyway? Well... What we saw and heard after we got out of the bath. Didn't that surprise you? Nozomi's bruises, you mean? I was thinking more about Kotetsu's reaction. Oh. Remember how upset he got? Yeah, that was pretty scary. The way he yelled at everybody like that. That's because it happens at his house, too. What does? The hitting. His dad has a temper. Jeez, that's domestic violence. Come again? You know, abuse. Yeah, so I hear. His dad hits his mum. Are you serious? Yeah, not every day, but that doesn't make it any better. He's an angry drunk. That's terrible. That's why he got so upset. It's personal for him. He's a good person. What you see is what you get with him, but he's good. We're all a little bit... I don't know if there's a word for it, but... We don't really trust adults. You don't like them, you mean. That's it. Same goes for me and Akko. That's why we couldn't just let things be with Nozomi. She's in the same boat. Sorry to bring the mood down all of a sudden. We should get going. It'll be dark soon. Wait up. You said the same goes for you and Akko. What does that mean? It's making me sad. Yeah, it's, um... Did something happen between you and your dad? Why don't you trust adults anymore? There are some really serious topics that are touched on in this game. Like, really serious topics. Um, I wasn't expecting it, but I think it does it in a pretty good way. Like, it's not... Yeah, it's approaching them with the, with the like, depth and, and seriousness that is kind of required um but at the same time not like being preachy about it if that makes sense like it's yeah i don't know it works it works she said the thing i did i did wait did this time traveling noob give his dad his own real name he didn't know it was his dad because he goes by wataru his his actual name is manabu tokiwaru uh, to toki watari and he goes by wataru as a nickname as like a a mess around of his last name so he didn't put it together he and how could you like his last name is Toki Watari and he goes by Wataru but his name is Wana Manabu like it's just yeah so he didn't know it was his dad uh until like later after it already given him his name yeah uh, it's a light touch approach yeah it is but it still kind of confronts it head-on it's like this is what is happening um rather than just kind of alluding to it it's good I like it It does it in a really mature way. It's gotten late. Phew, today was pretty exhausting. 
sounds like Kotetsu's family has some real problems. I can't imagine how he must feel. I, I should just get home. I can barely think straight. Home, I say, as though I've got anywhere but that grubby storeroom to go back to. Were the latchkey kids in the 80s? Yes. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> so I feel like we're going to save, because remember he had that premonition of a guy dumping a body, a woman, woman's body in the back of the girl's bath, like the girl's side of the bathhouse. Um, talking about how was I supposed to know that smacking her around a bit would kill her. That's got to be Kotatsu's dad and, and mum. Has to be. So it seems like we're going to save them, which is nice. Hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure if he has said this yet. I've been in and out tonight. If people need to talk to someone, there are services like Lifeline, Beyond Blue, etc. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there are th These are some heavy topics that are being discussed. Um, and I was not aware that they were in the game, otherwise I would have popped some trigger warnings here and there. Um, if, if you need help, if you need help with something that's been broached or something that hasn't been broached or anything, if you need assistance, there are services out there that can help. There are so many of them in, in I would imagine, almost every country in the world. No matter where you are, there will be something somewhere, someone, a phone number, a website, something that we can help you find so that you can reach out and get the help you need. You are worth it. And it doesn't have to be like that. This, this, this is not normal. This is not normal. None of it is. There are people out there who can help professionals who are able to assist and although um uh, i'm not a professional i'm not a professional but i can help you find someone who is i can help you find resources as can most people in chat there may be some professionals in chat but i would never out them as being those kind of people and uh they may not be able to out themselves outside of a professional context either but that being said, I'm sure most people in chat would be absolutely willing to help you find a professional or find a website, find a phone number, find something uh, that will be applicable to your situation. Publicly, privately, you know, Discord, DMs, whatever you might need, whatever suits your situation best. Um, we we may we know, we're probably not going to be able to help directly because we're not equipped for that. A lot of us. But we can help you find people who are. And we're absolutely 100% happy to do that. I swear I could hear something. I'm not sure. Um, sometimes travel is serious, should not be meddled with. Agreed. I saw the fam too. Yep, all about going forward the best we can. For sure, for sure. Huh, Nozomi's not here. She didn't run away again, did she? Nozomi, are you here? The heck is this? These are her clothes. What's this white thing? Gah, it's her uh, uh, underwear. Why did you take off her underwear? Nozomi, where are you? I really hope this isn't some weird prank. Okay, Minato, think she probably put on her bathing put her bathing suit on and went to the pool. That makes more sense. I better check there. Back to the future was anything. You can almost end up being your own parent. I know. Could you imagine? Holy shit. See, Marty gave a fake name. Yep. But then, right, if you give the real name, if, if Minato has given his real name to his parents, right, and then 
he disappears and they get together and they go, and, oh, what was that name? What, what about that kid, that really strange kid that was around for like three days and we had that amazing adventure? Oh, Minato, yeah. That's a really awesome name. Yeah. So if you hadn't have done that, if you hadn't have gotten involved, you wouldn't have your name, maybe. Mm, Calvin Klein. Wasn't Fry in Futurama his own granddad? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. Thank goodness. Ew, why'd you come here? I figured you might be here. Yeah, pretty good guess. Also, I found all your clothes. The water feels good. Want to come in? I don't have a bathing suit. Ah, too bad. How'd you get one? Did you just happen to have it? Arco lent me hers. It's not a perfect fit, but I guess it'll do. That's not an invitation to stare, thank you very much. Well, I wasn't staring at anything. So, like, where did you really come from? Oh, uh, it's a secret. Oh, come on, don't be lame. I'm from... Hmm, should I say? Do you promise not to tell anyone? Yes. Really? That's a promise. Truth is... I'm not actually from this time. I came from the future. Crazy, huh? Say what? Are you telling the truth? Do you really mean that? Hey, whoa, it's not that surprising. Oh my gosh, I thought I was the only one. It's been so hard not telling anyone. Come on, back off, personal space. What are you doing? Your clothes got soaking wet. Me too. I'm sorry, what? I'm from the future too, 33 years in the future. How far in the future are you from? He literally just said 33 years. Oh, no, right, never mind, wrong character. <sighs> Holy moly. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You're so good at keeping a straight face, you really commit. She was fucking with him. Commit to what? The other thing is why I name our kid after some random we met 22 years ago. Well, if it made that much of an impression, they liked them enough. Ah, ha, ha, that was a good one. You've got a better sense of humor than I thought. I don't think you needed to jump in with all your clothes on to sell it, though. The wedding was accidentally relevant. Don't know if it's a shock or not. I haven't been here for the whole story. Nah, it, it, I, it's not a total shock. Not a total shock. But I don't, I still think that she was fucking with him. And the fact that he fucked with her back and she's like, whoa, you actually committed to that. That's awesome. Well done. Oh, excuse me. So I don't think she actually is. I think she was pulling his leg. Um, but we'll see. In a moment. Um, this one. Let's buff some folk. Is this, is this flirting? No. I, I mean, I wouldn't call it flirting. Maybe it would be for some people. Oh, the, yeah, okay, good. Yep. Mm -mm. That wasn't her, Jas. That was him saying, I've, I've come back 33 years into the past. How far have you come back? That was that line. It wasn't, it wasn't 33 from um, Nozomi. That was Minato. I misread as well, which is why I kind of said it as conversational rather than a continuation somewhat of a meme scientist myself. I am not. I do not understand memes. 87% of them are not at all funny and I do not understand them. I hope you've enjoyed this rare insight into the mind of the- no. I've enjoyed the game. I do not- I still do not understand children. <laughs> I, nothing, I understand that they have no concept that they can die. And so constantly do stupid shit that could kill them because why not? Um, and that our job as adults is to try to keep them alive to continue the human race. Um, that's, yeah, that's basically my extent. So I have to kind of keep them fed, keep them clean and keep them out of death. Um, <laughs> beyond that, we'll see how we go.
You keep them out of death. I like it. I like it. Good. I'm good. I'm, I'm pleased. Now, after repeatedly locking the doors today, I still managed to have an escaped four-year-old who I screamed and scooped just before Daddy drove down the driveway. Kids have a fucking death wish. Fuck rear view cameras. You need like a camera bubble around your car with like three screens in the actual car itself. Like, good lord. I uh, yep, no. Uh, Landa, View Neke, Mid, Bjorniel, uh, Gatsby, Solstice, Castle, and Heiko, congratulations on your bonus shit. And Mid, um, you did win today's giveaway, and I have not yet seen a number from you uh, between 1 and 100 to choose your random Steam key. Uh, so if you would like to drop a number in chat, you're more than welcome to do so. Otherwise, I'll just kind of blindly send you one after stream. Um, up to you if you would like to participate in that procedure. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go over here because there's a lot more that I'm, like, strong against over here. Place your units. I'm going to go back to here. So small you can't necessarily see them. Yeah. Yep. Hiya, Tim. One billion. Uh, sure. Teaching kids a lot like raid leading. You don't think you need to tell them to stay out of fire, but you do. Yep. Yes, you mid. You won. 48. Awesome. Brilliant. Let me do a thing. Alrighty. Strange Brigade. I think this is you. Let me just check the... Yep. Awesome. Bam! Congratulations. Brilliant. Okay, I can close that off now. Um, 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 um. You're very welcome. And there's so many things you say that before being a parent you would never consider yet. Yeah, look, uh, I don't think you needed to jump in with all your clothes on to sell it though. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. It's been forever since I laughed like that. Was that all to make me feel better or something? What? I mean, uh, yeah, totally. Huh? Just keep laughing, keep up the act. Thanks, Minato. Sure. I'm actually from the next town over. You are? Yeah, third stop on the streetcar from here. Really close. Oh, gotcha. So you do remember where you're from. Yeah, I was lying before. I guessed as much. You're not mad, are you? No, I don't think so anyway. Good. Yeah, why would you be? <laughs> I was supposed to start going to the school from next term on. Really? Why didn't you tell anyone? It didn't work out. My mum's, uh, her plans changed. She got into an argument with a new boyfriend, and now we can't live with him anymore. Did you say boyfriend? They started fighting, and I just ran away. Like, for good? Yep, I'm a runaway. I've lost count of how many times I've done it now. I've wanted to come look at this place ever since, see what kind of school I was about to go to. And that's when... You met everyone else? Yeah. I started lying right away. I didn't want them to know the truth. So why are you telling me? <laughs> Why am I telling you? Don't ask me! Well, I don't know either. Anyway, we should leave before we catch cold. No lightsabers near the pool was a recent one. What is it, like, brand new sentence? That subreddit? <laughs> That's brilliant. Splash! Did you hear that? What was that? It sounded like a splash. Is someone else here? No way, we'd have seen them. The school pool kappa. There's a kappa living in the Kagami Elementary School pool. Be careful around the pool at night or it'll snatch your posterior orb right through your, uh, right out through your there. I have no idea what that, any of that means. Uh, hey Nozomi, what's a posterior, a posterior orb? How should I know? Is that like an orb inside your butt? That's what I was thinking! That's weird! Also what I was thinking. 
Wait, is it something only girls have? No, stupid. Slap. I thought she slapped him. Is anybody there? We've got to hide. <clears throat> Must be hearing things. Just as well. If any of the kids caught me bathing in the pool at night, I'd be fired for sure. Better beat it for tonight, just in case. Wouldn't want to be caught by the ca by that kappa they say lives in the pool either. Ha ha ha. Who was that? The janitor, I think? Guess he wants to save money on his water bill. That escalated quickly. Agreed. What if all this kappa stuff is actually about him? Slap. Can you see the violence inherent in the system? Indeed. Indeed. Um, is it a water gun? It is a water gun. Okay, good. About to say. Men's bathing in a fucking pool. Correct. So city was going to beat it. As in, as in leave. As in leave, duplicate. Good lord. Wait, what's that? I see something shiny. Looks like a key. Wonder if the janitor dropped it. Gym storeroom key. Huh, it's got gym storeroom written on it. Well, hang on to it. It might come in handy. Like for that lock over there, maybe. Do you think we should? Uh, yeah. Ugh, oh, you boys have no guts. Sorry, jeez. Except we beat it. Gym storeroom, huh? That reminds me of something. What was it? I think it was important. Kids are going to the gym. Time to skip leg day. Never skip leg day. Well, anyway, let's get back to the hideout. Okay, I'm gonna get changed. Turn around for a second. You're changing here? Just turn around already. O okay, okay. Huh. There. She's actually changing. One peek and you're dead. Got it. Hey. Yeah? I said no looking. <laughs> Did you look? No. Huh. Minato, I have to tell you something. I, um, have to go. What? Why? Like I said, my mom's plans changed. I have to move far away again. Oh, wow. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? So... You're gonna go back to your mom's place tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be homeless if I don't. She might actually throw me out this time. <laughs> this is really hard to say out loud. Would you mind telling the others for me? No way, I can't do that. They'd have to hear it from you. But why? You can talk to them. We're all friends, right? Are we? Yeah, you know, you're right. Oh, and Minato? Yeah? You were totally looking just now, weren't you? What? No, I'm not looking at anything. Really? Can I ask you something? Sure, what? Those... Those bruises on your back. You were looking! J just at your back. Well, knock it off. Sorry, sorry. So you did notice. Arco was looking at them a lot when we got in the bath. You noticed that, huh? It was so obvious. Are you sure it's okay for you to go back home? You're worried about me, aren't you? How could I not be? We're... Friends? Yeah. It's... it's fine, probably. Thank you, though. And it's okay. You can look now. Are you sure? Well, wait. What does that even mean? What do you mean, what does it mean? I said you can look, all right. Ah! Spinge. 
D-E-D. Dead. Yep. Kids gonna die. It's not timeline. You may be time to kill the mum so your mum doesn't move away. <laughs> I'm worried too. Oh, it's on Google Play too. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh? I, I see what you meant now. What is your deal? Here, can you put this on? I can never do it myself. Hmm. Ah, your necklace? It's a pendant. Mum's necklace! She is. It's 100%. That's mum. Wait a second. I think I've seen this before. Oh yeah? My mum gave it to me when I was little. Back when she was still nice. Confirmation! Nozomi's mum. Hurry up. Is it really that hard? I've seen this pendant before. Hey Minato, what's a memento? Oh, it's, oh, this is hard. Is it something like this necklace? Huh? What makes you say that? Mum gave me it. She said it was a memento of mum's mum. It's so strange, my mum got one from her mum too. Yeah. Ah <laughs> oh dear. It's the same one Mirai was holding. But wait, if mum got it from her mum, then how did Mirai get it? This doesn't make any sense. Mum's name isn't... What are you muttering behind my back over there? Quit it, it's super creepy. Nozomi, this is gonna sound weird, but I have to ask you something. Huh? Is Nozomi your real name? Uh... It's not, is it? So what if it's not? Is your real name... Her jaw nearly dropped to the floor as the name left my lips. Mine probably did much the same. How could it not? She had my mum's name. Chapter 10, Truth Revealed. End. Dude, she's in witness protection. You can't just go around asking people if that's their real name. Oh, Jesus. There you go. It's all coming together. Well, you'd want to hope so. We're 10 out of 16 complete. 10 out of 16. It's a scam. <laughs> Chapter 11. Time limit. I told you, like, how the fuck? It's already night two complete. He's got one more night and he has to leave the next day and he still has only done, like, two out of the seven mysteries. If Yama isn't your real name. Dun dun dun! That's fine. Uh, the floor is so hard. I couldn't sleep that. I couldn't sleep that night. So much had happened. Too much, really. My head was spinning. I had to find a way to calm myself. Okay, let's start with the basics. Is this my first, second, or third night in the past? Second. It's my second night, right? Yeah. When the sun comes up, it'll be the last day before time runs out. I only get 72 hours here. Yikes, that doesn't leave me a lot of time. I've got to get to the bottom of everything tomorrow. Which means I need to get my thoughts in order. Right, so what's my mission here in the past? So of the Seven Mysteries. Yeah, that's a big deal. They're all right there in my notebook. But that's just one part of my mission. There's a larger reason I'm here. Oh, change the future, yeah. Change the future. That's the one. That's why I'm here. If I really have the power to see the future, and the vision I had is actually going to happen, then Mirai is in danger. When I first got here, I had no clue how to change the future or what that would even look like. I think I get it now, though. In fact, I think I've already changed the future, if just a little. What did I change again? I prevented a train crash. Yeah, yeah, that's it. If that dream I had of the train crashing was really going to happen, then if I didn't solve the mystery of the haunted train, there would have been a terrible crash. And it's all because of that old guy's drunk driving. And Nozomi was on that train, so she'll be safe now too. That's totally it. I mean, the opposite is just bad news. If Nozomi died, I'm in real trouble. After all, she's my mum. Pretty cute was one of the answers, good lord. That's why. It blows my mind, but she's my mum. So if anything happens to her now, I may not even be born in the future, right? Ugh, this is all so confusing. Mm. 
barely handle the social business as an adult, let alone if I was 11. I think you might find that you'd be better dealing with it at 11. Because at 11, your, your sense of wonder and magic around the world hasn't quite been smooshed yet. Um, so, like, you'd be more willing to just be kind of like, yeah, of course that's how that works. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just take things in your stride. Whereas we as adults try to make sense of everything. Kids don't. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I was just about to say this 11-year-old is doing pretty well with temporal mechanics. Good lord. Hey, Inez, how you going? Welcome back. It's a good point. Look, I mean, I try to think of good reasons why things might work, but, like, sometimes I can't find them. I've still got plenty to do. I can't let myself get discouraged. This isn't just for mum. It's for dad, too. And I've already met him. He's Wataru. Of course he is. He's my dad. He's Manabu Tokiwatari. So, wait a minute. That means he and Nozomi get married. No, it doesn't. It means they bonk, but that's fine. Are you kidding me? I'm totally not getting that vibe from them at all. People don't have to be married to have children. I mean, technically they don't even have to bonk, but that's fine. Mm. Yeah, mumble. Ah, snap out of it, Minato. They have to get married or else there'll be some serious problems. Not the least of which is me not being born. But hang on a second. She said something that doesn't add up. She's moving tomorrow. Tomorrow she'll be, that's right, she'll be moving tomorrow. Censored version of Bonk, gotcha. That was weird. A woman with the same name as my dynasty just popped up. Accused as a witch, oh no. But she wasn't in my dynasty. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting, was she serious? Hold on, so I have to solve the last of the seven mysteries. And keep my parents together? I think solving the mysteries will keep your parents together. I think that kind of bonds them in this sense of adventure and it kind of, you know, in the same day, my last day here. Happens with Rando Dynasty names, there you go. Jas with the knowledge bomb. Morning, sun's up already. Whoa, Minato, what are you doing lying on such a hard spot? Nozomi told me to uh, sleep over here. Ow. Are you by yourself today? Yep, Aku and Kotetsu both said they had to do chores today. Gotcha. After the video of tonight, which awaits, no worries, dupe, enjoy. We're coming back to finish off the VOD, sounds like a plan. I will see you next time. Hey, listen, what do you think of Nozomi? Huh? What do you mean? Well, she's pretty, you know, grown up. Are these two really gonna get married down the line? Oh, I just remembered something. Kotetsu said he'll ha let us have a look around the bathhouse tonight. Wait, really? He said his family's gonna close up early so they can all go watch the comet. Oh wow, that's tonight. The, uh, the Watchima comet. Yeah, we should meet up at the bathhouse tonight. Sounds good. What are you gonna do until then? Maybe I'll look into one of the other mysteries. Let's see. There's still the smiling woman. Sounds like a pretty freaky mystery. Uh-huh. All right, then. Looks like Nozomi's still asleep. I'll let you fill her in on the plan. Oh, actually, about that. Hmm? Uh... Nah, never mind. Don't worry. I'll tell her what's up. Thanks, man. See you later. Couldn't tell him, could you? Who? What? You were awake? I told you to tell everyone for me. And I told you to tell them yourself. Where are you gonna go anyway? Don't care. Anywhere's fine. Well, but... Can you come meet me by the pool later? I've got something to tell you. You do? What about? I just said I'll tell you later. Okay, okay. When should I be there? Whenever you feel like it, I'll be there. How about now? That's pretty... Achoo! Ugh, my clothes still haven't dried. I'm gonna catch a cold for sure. Oh, hey. I can just go to Kotetsu's house and hop in the bath. Ah, uh, but I don't have any money. Maybe he won't let me in this time. More secrets, I know, right? Uh-oh. Okay, bathhouse time.
Ooh, made it. I wonder if he's here. Premonition time. Don't think anyone saw me. I'll hide her here for now. Can't leave her long though. Have to sneak her out without anyone seeing. Maybe tonight. Scooby Doo music. Your oh, hands are shaking like a leaf. Damn it. How did this happen? It's all her fault if she just kept her mouth shut. Damn women need to just shut up and keep the sake flowing. Can't believe it. How was I to know? I really don't like this dude. How was I to know a little smacking around would kill her? All sorts of fucked up. Gasp. It's that vision again. That's really going to happen. We go. Oh damn indeed. Yeah, look, we're not we don't like that guy. Hey Minato, what's up? We're not meeting up till later tonight. Yeah, I know. But I could really use a bath. Oh really? You like our baths that much, huh? Well come on in. Well, um, before you get excited. What now? I don't have any money, so I get it, I get it, it's fine. Just pay me back next time I see you. A chew! Wait, what the heck? You're soaking wet. Yeah, I, uh, fell into the pool. You what? Hurry up and get in then. Okay, thanks. Hang on, I'll dry your clothes for you. We've got a dryer. Aw, yay Kotetsu. Yay Kotetsu. Man, this feels good. It's so peaceful. It doesn't seem like anything's happened yet. Kotetsu was acting pretty normal. That gives me time to get my thoughts together. I've got to stop that vision I saw from happening. Okay, first off, what was my vision about again? Pantaloons in the bathhouse. Phantom of the bathhouse. Yes, that had to be related to the Phantom of the bathhouse mystery in my notebook. Now, what did the guy in my vision do? Hit somebody. No, he hid something. He totally hid something in the girl's bath. What did he hide in there anyway? Not that I really want to think about it. A body. I can't, no, don't want to believe it, but this is what he said. How was I to know? How was I to know a little smacking around would kill her? That guy killed somebody. Which sounds like an urban legend, but it says right there, right here in my notebook, that there's a body in the girl's bath. So assuming I'm putting all the pieces together right, that means this guy is... Tetsu's father. I don't want to believe it, but I'm pretty sure that was Kotetsu's dad. Wataru well, told me all about it. She said Kotetsu's dad gets violent when he's drunk. That he hits Kotetsu's mum. Which means he might have accidentally killed. Hey, Minato! Your clothes are dry. Jeez, loud much? Your underwear is so cute, by the way. <gasps> hey, shut up! That's adorable. Cute, funny, and dark as all get out. Oh, it's great. It it hits so many good uh, so many good notes, doesn't it, V? Uh, I feel human again. There's Kotetsu. Thanks, that felt great. No problem. So what are you gonna do until we meet up tonight? I'm gonna look into the smiling woman. Ooh, sounds real scary. What do you think she looks like? It's like a ghost or something, right? Wait, you mean you don't know the story? Are you saying you do? Of course I do! She's all anyone at school can talk about! I had no idea. You don't really pay too much attention, do you? Says Kotetsu. She's a freaky woman who wears a big mask. She walks right up to kids and asks, Do you think I'm pretty? A and then what? If you give her the wrong answer, she takes out her giant scissors and... Schwack! Ugh! At least that's what everyone says. She sounds too terrifying. Better watch your back. Oh, actually, yeah. Try asking the police officer about it. He said lots of people are bothering him about it and it's driving him crazy. Yes, so we should add to that problem, Kitetsu. He just walked in, so he's probably still getting changed. The policeman, you mean? Yeah, said he's off duty today. He really likes bathhouses. Got it. I'll go find him. Go for it. <laughs> How am 
I supposed to know who the cop is? Everyone's naked. Well, whatever. I'll just ask around. Well, as of duty, let's hit him up about work. Yes, yeah, specifically a case that he doesn't really want to talk about. There we go. Um, excuse me, sir. Eh? Uh, you got a crime to report, kid? If not, I'm busy. Ooh, you're totally the cop. I am. Now what seems to be the trouble? I, um, I'd like to know more about the smiling woman. Ugh, this again? And here I thought being off duty would spare me the headache. Half naked in a bathhouse, yep. It's just a bogus rumor, kid. There's no such thing as a smiling woman nonsense. S sorry to bother you. At least, that's ordinarily what I'd say. But she's all anyone could talk about lately. So other people have seen her? I can't say it's her for sure, but there are reports of a strange woman going around looking for a kid or something. A kid right around your age, to be exact. Weird. And as a policeman, I can't afford to ignore these reports. A lot of the sightings happen down at the cemetery. Sigh. Guess I should go take a look around there soon. So she was spotted in the cemetery. Well, I'm off duty, so it's not my problem right now. It's bath time. Hot suds are the only joy in my life. Now, if you'll excuse me, policeman, self-dismissed. A woman, by herself, asking around for, for a kid about our age. It's Nozomi's mum looking for Nozomi. Good. Now we've covered that, let's go to the cemetery. How'd it go? I got some good info. Sounds like she was spotted in the cemetery, so I'm gonna go snoop around. The cemetery? You're braver than me. Uh, you think so? Oh man, now I'm starting to get freaked out. Oh, and um... Sorry about not having any money. I feel bad using the bath for free. Wait, kids! None of us have money! Don't worry about it. Thanks. One more thing. Yeah? How... How is your mum? Is she okay? I... Sorry. Did Wotaru say something to you about my parents? Well... He's not really my old man, you know. So my mum always sort of just rolls over. To him, I mean. For helping to raise me and stuff. She calls it her debt to him. But she's not happy, so... So she should fight back a little, not just let him walk all over her. I don't want to be a grown-up if it's like that. I'd rather stay a kid forever. And if I have to grow up... Then I'm going to be the strongest grown-up there ever was. I'm not going to be one of those people who tries to keep everyone happy all the time. I think this might be my only chance to say what I want to say. Should I go for it? Saying something now might prevent a tragedy. Hey, Kitetsu. Shit. Which one says you, your stepdad's gonna try to kill your mum? The cemetery! Where's the tissues? Right. Hey, Alox, how are you going? I feel the same way. I'm kind of being drawn to that one as well, I think. Let's give it a go. I feel the same way. Whoa, you do? I didn't expect to hear that from you. I thought you were more easygoing. Oh yeah? <laughs> I'm blowing it. This won't change a thing. Saying something now might prevent a tragedy. Be good to your mum, you reckon? Be good, maybe. Be good to your mum. Can't hurt, right? Huh? Yeah, you're probably right. You're a good dude, Minato. That was sweet of him, but I don't think it was enough. Okay. That's not strength. Here we go. Kotetsu, I... I think you've got the wrong idea. What do you mean? I wouldn't call that sort of person strong, or tough, or cool. In fact, I'd call him... a coward. What are you talking about? You picking a fight? Uh... No, come on, what do you mean? You know what I mean. A real strong person would protect their mum. Punch that guy right in the face. Sorry, I probably crossed the line. Nah, it's fine. I, uh... I'll see you tonight. Oh, could you tell Akko what's going on tonight if you hear- if you see her? I haven't told her yet. I haven't told her yet. Yeah, sure. 
useful one, indeed. Indeed. I hope that was enough. It sure didn't feel great. How do you even approach that except for, I had a premonition where your stepdad kills your mother. Have fun! Like, you... <laughs> pack your it is, isn't it? It is. Okay, now what was I going to do next? Cemetery battle, actually. The Smiling Woman. Duh! Let's go. Cemetery battle. Yeah, look, I mean both. Why not? got this battle. It's taking a while, but we got it. <laughs> Invested in this outcome now. The battle or the game? <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to finish the game tonight. Oop, indeed. We're not going to get it done tonight. Um... What I'm thinking, though, uh, next Wednesday, we are playing, Jas and I are playing um, Mario Party against Jared and Maddie from Married with Pets. It's going to be hilarious, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> but we're, we're playing against them. I don't think we're going to spend six hours playing Mario Party, though. Something tells me it's not going to be... Like, I don't think it's gonna be six hours, but we'll, I mean, we'll see. If we end up clocking off early, um, from, from Mario Party, I might just switch straight over to this and, um, and like, see if we can't finish it off. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright, then this ultimate combo, that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Hey! Congratulations to Solstice, Veer, Seeker, Heiko, Landa, and Neke on all of your bonus shit. All of your bonus shit. Uh, I think we're doing one, one more. I think we do one more. We might start this early, though. We might start this one early, depending on when the chapter finishes. So just get your units in as often as you can, because we might not have a full army. But we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Alright. Uh, slightly different tones. I just missed it. What did you just miss, TK? Okay. Oh yeah, the smiling woman. Duh. That cop said a lot of people saw her at the cemetery. I better go have a look. So you finished the match. Yes! The, yeah, the Stream Raiders battle. We just, we just finished a battle. Oh, we've just started another one. Hmm. Cemetery. There's no one here. Then again, people don't usually hang around graveyards. I'll just take a quick look around, see if I can find any clues. Can you find any graveyard? Maybe. Maybe. One cup. One cup komosubi. Ooh, I know that word. I don't- I can't remember what it means, but I know that word. Ah, three coins. Delightful. Oh, look. 
Wait, someone's there. Ew, he stinks! I can smell the booze from here! <laughs> Who are you? Using in UK, hope you're having a delightful time. Indeed! Indeed. Ah, oh, you the smiley lady? <laughs> Say what? Guess not. Your mouth is regular size. I'm not a girl, either. So, um, did you see the smiling woman around here? How... how'd you know about her? Who are you, anyhow? You just mentioned her. I did? Ah, uh, yeah, I saw her. I saw her. I saw her with my eyes. It was her. I know it was. W what was she like? She's got long, black hair. And a white coat. In summer! Ha! But that thingy mask stands out. She's got a big white mask. So she wears a big white mask. And her nails. Real pretty fingernails. And her perfume. And uh... She looks real thin. Or her outfit does. My eyes don't lie. You sure you saw her? You bet I did. I don't forget any woman I see. I love them all. Well it sounds right anyway. Do you remember when you saw her? Just a little while ago. Seriously? She scared me so bad I came here to hide. Yikes. A great voice acting? Love it. Uh, fucking... She's just wearing a curtain somewhere. She will. She will. Thanks, I appreciate the help. Run away from the drunkard. Phew. Long black hair and a white mask. Well, that's certainly a lead. Hang on a sec. Excuse me. Have you seen a girl around here? Hmm? A girl. Her name is Nozomi. <gasps> ah, ah. Nozomi. Huh? Sorry, I was just surprised. I'm looking for a girl too. What did I say? Wait a sec, was she... <laughs> Seriously meant as a genuine compliment? Thank you. Thank you. It's just not particularly easy. Uh, not particularly difficult to, you know, you just, you just kind of slur and don't make all the words proper. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> nah, I couldn't be. <laughs> Oh shoot, I have to tell Akko about the plan for tonight. Yeah, I gotta do that. Ha, ha, ha. Akko! Yeah, sepia time. Flashback. Flashback time. Excuse me. How may I help you? Is Akko here? May I know who's looking for her? Oh, I'm a friend. I haven't seen you before. Are you in her class? No, not exactly. Then I might suggest you stay away from- Then might I suggest you stay away from my daughter? She's fallen in with a strange group lately that's always up to no good. You aren't a part of that group, are you? Dad, stop! What are you two talking about? Oh, nothing. Is he a friend of yours? Yeah! I see. Well, all right then. However, you must start being more selective with your friends. You won't be a child forever, you know. Knock it off, Dad. Sorry about that. He's so weird. It's okay. He seems pretty strict. Pretty strict, you don't know the half of it. He tries to make me follow all of his stupid rules and never ever listens to a word I say. Why not? Well, I'm supposed to take over the shrine. Usually it goes to a boy, but I'm an only child, so tough luck there. Makes sense. Once I get into middle school, he says, I'll have to study more and do all this dumb religious training. But he said I don't have to go to high school, isn't that crazy? When was he born, the Edo period? You don't like him, do you? I hate him. I just want to grow up already. Then I'll be able to do whatever I want. 
I just want to make my own decisions. Wear what I want to wear, live where I want to live. I can imagine. But... I don't know. Lately it just seems like I'll never be able to. Why do grown-ups always get to tell us what to do? It's so unfair. They never ask us how we feel, or if it's okay. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't really have an answer. You put me on the spot. But I think my mum has always been pretty independent. Really? Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. Just a feeling. Yeah, pretty weird feeling. <laughs> so why did you come looking for me? Oh yeah, so here's the deal. Pretty chucker, right? Oh, I told her about the night's plans. Got it. Oh, by the way, you know about the smiling woman, right? You bet I do. It was in your notebook, right? Are you investigating her now? Yeah. Well, I've never met her. I think I may have missed something there. There's a rumor that she lives under the shrine. Oh, there is? Haha, <laughs> did I get you? D don't do that! Okay, I've got to go. I'll see you guys tonight. Kitty! <gasps> it's her! People be trolling? They do. Wait, was that... Was that really her? Yes. Time limit. End. Yes, save progress. Right. That woman I saw. Was that the real smiling woman? Whatever. Standing here wondering about it won't get me any closer to the truth. Oh shoot, Nozomi wanted to talk to me. Where'd she say to meet? The pool, I think. Getting a lot really well. And She said she'd be there whenever I was ready. I wonder if she's there now. Let's go find out. Chapter 12. The night the star falls. Back to the school. I was kind of expecting all of these mysteries to play out like one, two, three, four, but the fact that they're all kind of like overlapping each other and entwined and things is kind of cool. I, I really like it. I'm enjoying this like a lot. <laughs> No, pool, not the storeroom. There she is. You're late. How long were you going to keep me waiting? It's a negative 22 year old, of course. He's doing well. This is where when I hit steam, absolutely. What the heck? We never set a meeting time. What were you doing? I was looking for the smiling woman. What the heck is that? Uh, I think she really exists. She wears a big white mask. And she goes around looking for kids. Kids like us. Isn't that scary? Ugh. What did you want to talk about anyway? Oh, yeah. I have to go home soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, my mum's probably furious. Are you going to be okay? Well, she won't be too mad at you? What's your mum like, Minato? Ah, um, uh, calm down. Why are you flipping out all of a sudden? W why do you want to know? Because I do, you know, what it's like to have a normal mum and all. What's it like to live with your mum and just be happy? I mean, my family's not normal. 
My dad's not around. My parents are divorced. Whoa, really? That's surprising. It is? You seem pretty normal. Maybe, maybe kind of sheltered? R really? But you're not that different from me, I guess. Hmm. Did your mum get divorced too? Nah. I've never had a dad. Really? I've never met him. I asked my mum about him, but she never tells me anything. Oh, that sucks. Ugh, who am I supposed to ask? Who has the answer? Kotetsu and Ako just complain about their parents too. The answer to what? How to have a happy family. Uh. I don't want to turn into my mum. I want to find a nice boy, have a beautiful wedding. And have a nice, happy family, small or not. That's not asking for much, is it? Why do you look like you're gonna cry? N no reason. I, um, I think you can do it. You're gonna find a nice boy. How do you know? I can't say why, but I know you will. And when you do, don't fight. Or if you do, make up after. It might be hard, but you have to promise me you'll get along forever and ever, okay? Calm down. What's got into you? I'd already planned on doing all that. You, you've got a promise. Okay, fine. I promise. Stop yelling. You're freaking me out. Sorry, I got carried away. Look, you're really nice. So, um, here. Mm -hmm. What's this? A movie ticket. Yeah, I swiped them off my kitchen table. I think they were my mum's. Do you want to go with me? The show's tonight. What? There's a movie theatre right next to my house. I thought that since this is goodbye, we could hang out one last time or something. But why me? Do you not want to go? No, I, I do, but we're still kids. So what? It'll be fine. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. I'm just... I don't... The first date his mum and dad had was to a movie when they were kids. He's not meant to go to the movie. Wataru is. No, I'm not scared. I'm just... I don't... Didn't mum say her first date was in a movie theatre? This isn't right. It's all wrong. What? Oh, I know. You should go with da- I mean, Wataru. Take Wataru. Wataru? What's he got to do with any of this? You get along with him way better. Is that so? Well, fine then. I'll take him. He's a lot nicer than you, anyway. Y yeah 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 exactly. That's a lie and you know it, idiot. Wait, what? I called you an idiot because that's what you are. Drop dead. What? <laughs> oh, Minato, you fucked up. This was the right call, wasn't it? Why do I feel so messed up about it? Well, he's not fading away to nothingness just yet, so that's a benefit. Bathhouse. He almost back to the future himself, right? Well, he didn't almost say yes, though. That's the thing. He knew right off the bat that it was wrong. He didn't almost fuck up. Shoot, I bet everyone's headed to the bathhouse with a thing tonight. I should get over there. Boing, 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 boing. I can't unsee it. He's just, like, bouncing along. He's just, yep. Yeah. On the way to the bathhouse.
There you are. Sorry, were you waiting long? Where's Nozomi? Wasn't she coming with you? Oh, um, about that. She said she can't make it. Huh? I just ran into her. She told me to pass that along. What's up with her? Well, at least she told somebody. Anyway, we'd better get started. Everybody ready? I'm pretty nervous. I'm telling you, we're not going to find any bodies. This kid's going to have the biggest headache later. Yeah. Yep. So this is the girl's bath, huh? So creepy in here when it's dark. Watch your step, you could slip. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Wow. Yeah, it smells kind of nice. What are you talking about? Quit being gross. Look as much as you want. You're not going to find anything. This is it. This is what? I saw this place in my vision. That's the boiler room. We heat the water in there. Can we get in? Nope, only my dad can go in there. It's dangerous. Doesn't that seem kind of suspicious? Here, let me take a look. Wait, Akko, no. What? Why not? Uh, well, you can, but be prepared for what you might find. What is wrong with you? It's not like I'll find a dead body or anything. I sure hope you don't. Come on, move. Ooh, I think we can see through the keyhole. Let me just... Ah! I'm not gonna yell. Yeah! The, there's a dead body. A woman. Naked. What? Oh no, I didn't change the future. There is not. There couldn't be. Look for yourself. I'm too scared to look again. Mannequin. In before it's a mannequin. Move over. Let me see. Ah! Sh she's right. You're lying. There can't be. Let me look. Ah! No! What do we do, Kotetsu? Call the put. No. But... I said no. Damn him. How could he do this? What's wrong with him? Hey! Hang on a sec. Ah, oh, it's a naughty poster. That's great. Isn't that just a picture? Huh? A what? How could he hide this from my mum? Now we're a disgrace thanks to you, Dad. Naked corpses blow up, doll. Ha <laughs> uh, I never, ever want to grow up. I love the name. Yep, naughty poster. It's great. It's great. Minato. Yeah, what's up? Thanks for earlier today. What do you mean? Earlier? When you talk some sense into me. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what got into me. No, it's fine. My mum was really happy. And it's all thanks to you. What happened? You should have seen the look on his face. He was stunned. Maybe he'll leave us alone for a little bit. You really think so? Like, for real? <laughs> I'm as surprised as you are. I've actually gotten really strong, and I had no idea. Who'd have thought I'd knock my dad flat on his butt? I didn't even hit him that hard. <laughs> uh, Katetsu, you did it. Great job. Thanks, Minato. If it wasn't for you, I'd have lived my life as a total coward. I don't know why, but when I'm with you and Wataru... Yeah? It suddenly feels like maybe growing up wouldn't be so bad. That's weird. Ah, <laughs> totally. Forget I said it. 
Kotetsu, I... We did it. We dispelled the Phantom of the Bathhouse. Ooh, yeah, he did clock his dad. These kids, right? Phew, that was something, huh? Yeah, a real letdown. But who cares? That was fun. I can't believe him. Let it go, man. Hey, look, guys, over here. Huh? Up in the sky, look how big it is. Pantaloons of the bath out. Yeah, look. Look, whoa. <gasps> That's really pretty. Whoa. Does it always just appear out of nowhere like this? Wow. The night the star falls. The night the star falls. That means my time here is almost up. I hope I was able to do what I came here for. My notebook is still full of unsolved mysteries. What happens if I've run out of time and can't solve them all? Thirty-three years ago. The night of the comet. I was anxious, but I didn't know why. I hadn't yet found out what happened. What happened? What happened? Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, officer? Yes, ma'am? Did something happen here? Not as far as I'm aware. Then why are there so many police around? Everything's fine. Go about your business. I might know something, you know. Hmm? Huh? Every so often, I hear a girl's screams coming from this house. It sounds like a little girl. I think... I think her parents are abusing her. Last night it got real bad. She was really wailing. Until suddenly, everything got strangely quiet. Officer... You don't think she's... Ma'am, may we may wish to get a statement from you later on. If you could just write your name and address here. Oh, shit. Chapter 12, end. Not me, close my eyes, Jess. <laughs> Little block cigarette is dodged. How cute with little three little- Yeah, I saw that and I'm like, that is cute. Oh, oh no, did you improve everyone else's lives but ruin yours? I have no idea. I don't know if that's now or if that's like, like if that's 1987 or if it's 2020. Like, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, okay, so we're going to save that there. It's 10 past 10. It's 10 past 10. So, it's one of your visions. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, it is time for Betty Buyers. So, my thoughts are after, like, if we've got time after Mario Party next Wednesday, because I'll already be on the Switch, I'll already be set up for Switch streaming, I can just kind of change games, continue on. Once we've finished a, a round or few of, um, of Mario Party with Married with Pets, the duo. Um, we might finish this one off, but, um, given it, given it's taking, like, it seems to be like three hours per four chapters. No, three hours per six chapters. And we've got six chapters to go. No, we don't. We've got four. Wait. We're not halfway. We're three quarters of the way. So two hours, it's half an hour per chapter. Half an hour per chapter. God, math is hard. I'm so fucking tired. Um, a half an hour per chapter, roughly, and we've got four to go. So we will see how much time we've got next week. I don't want to, like, 
cut off a collaboration so I can finish a single player game. I, I feel like that's weird. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, we do still have a battle to do, though, so we're going to do that. But before we do that, Jas asked if we're allowed to voice end of game theories. Here is my rule. There's no way I'm going to be able to tell or enforce this rule because my, my one rule is going to be if you have done the thing and looked up the end, I'm not going to judge you for it because I, I definitely used to be a person who couldn't put something down until they knew how it ended. And so if I really had to put a game down or a book down or something like that, I would figure out, I would look up the ending so that I could put my brain to rest so that I could get rest. So if you have looked up the ending... I don't, I'm not going to judge you for it at all whatsoever. All I ask is that you do not participate in this discussion because we want to, like, I want to kind of open it up to, like, people's theories and stuff. But if you know, that's not, that that ruins the fun. You know, that kind of ruins the fun. Um, but that being said, if you haven't, sure, hit me with your theories. What do you reckon? Where do you think that this is going? Do you, okay, do you think we're going to solve all seven mysteries? And do you think it's gonna uh, gonna be this, you know, beautiful happy ending? What do you think's gonna happen? What do you what do we think? What do we think? Which I was hello, hi, how you going? Welcome on in. So my guess is that he causes himself not to be born, but his sister lives. So he ends his own existence, but his sister is born, but like healthy. And, and is fine and everything. So instead of it being Minato, it's Mirai is the firstborn kind of thing. And she's fine. And they stop there. Do you think the parents are going to still be together? Do you think the dad's going to be alive? Uh, what's the game? This is called The Kids We Were. It is on Switch and it's being released on PC on Steam in a week. One week today. Maybe Sika, I believe you're going to solve all seven mysteries and have a nice happy ending as you prevent the thing that your mum attended at the start of the game. Ah, oh, the school going bang, right. That's why we couldn't go to the school area because that's where she was going to the memorial. It was the great quake or whatever it was, wasn't it? But a, the great quake sounds like a, um, sounds like a natural disaster. It sounds like an earthquake. How do you prevent a fucking earthquake? The reason no one remembers him is because he isn't ever born, but other stuff is fixed. Mm -hmm. What's the game? As I already said, hi, it's called The Kids We Were. I did answer you. Uh, I also told you it's on Switch and that it's releasing next week, seven days from now, on PC on Steam. How do you fix an earthquake? Well, maybe it's not actually an earthquake. It was called The Great Quake, but maybe it wasn't actually an earthquake specifically. The event was for the death of two kids that were apparently close to your mum. So Arco and Kototsu, uh, yeah, yeah. Kototsu. I don't remember it saying two kids, but then again, my brain is a colander. So. Hmm. I don't know what game you're playing. I've literally told you twice. It's also the category that the stream is flagged for. Hi. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not sure if you're having difficulty hearing, perhaps. There are um, there are captions in case you need assistance with, like, hearing what I'm, what I'm saying. Uh, but I've told you and I've described in detail twice now. So, you know. Who I'm keen for next Wednesday then? Yeah, that dude. Therefore, dad's bestie is saved, which could help with later relationship. Mm, potentially. Is it eating ads? You shouldn't have been because there have been no pre-rolls for another 45 minutes and the ad block was like a while ago. I'm not sure why you would have asked a question while you were watching an ad when you knew you wouldn't be able to watch the answer. Um. <laughs> uh, yep, they come in blocks of 90 seconds. That's that's how ads work. Um. Alrighty, let us jump over to here. And do this button. Am I going full sus? Yeah, look. 
Yeah, we do, we do have a thing on our dashboard which tells us when there are ads running. And I don't tend to answer questions from non-subscribers when the ads are rolling, because I know you won't be able to hear them. Um, yeah. Maybe Dad's friend got killed by his stepfather, or he suffered after her death and did something to himself. Suffered after her death. After whose- No, he prevented Mum's death. We, we just, like, that's literally what we just did, was prevented Mum's death. Kotetsu, yeah, 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 we prevented Kotetsu's mum's death. He he punched his stepdad in the face, which prevented her, who prevented him from slapping around his mum, which prevented her from, him from accidentally killing her. Yeah, before we prevented it. Oh, as in before we even went back in time. Right, okay. In the original timeline. He didn't in the original timeline, though. That's... Interesting. Um... It did say, um, they did call it the Great Quake, right? It, what, I'm not. I'm not imagining that. That was actually what they called it, yeah. Because I mean, we like astronomical shit, like like comets and things like that. Sometimes they are linked to stuff that happens, like to actual natural disasters on Earth, right? Well, mostly it seems to be things like high tides and stuff, right? So, I'm wondering if um, does a comet land? I don't think so. It passes every 33 years, so it doesn't seem like it lands. Maybe this time it does. And that's what destroyed the school or something. But then no, because in the in the current timeline, in, in the, like, they're talking about the comet when they go to visit Kagami with his little sister and his mum. They're still talking about the comet, so it shouldn't have landed even in the original timeline, I don't think. This is gonna be interesting. I'm I'm really looking forward to finishing this game. Like, <laughs> um, congratulations to Bjornil, Inquisitor, Jumpy, Aurelia, Puddle, and Seeker on all your bonus shits. Well done. We're not gonna do another battle. Um, we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh, but let me boop boop do one of these things. Uh, so this this is schedule for this month. Um, we, today was the kids we were, and it was great, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, on Friday, we're doing a leveling stream back into WoW, 50-50s, we'll do the thing. Um, I, I hope you'll join me. We're gonna at least get another couple 50s. We have to. I fucking hope so. I'm, like, <laughs> I really, I really want to get there. Uh, and then Sunday, ATT, Transmog Hunt yet again, diving back into that one. Uh, Mount Farm Monday on Monday, understandably, you know, it's, it is what it is. We continue to do it. I want to get more mounts. I'm at 629. 629. Hopefully this is the day that we hit 630 and beyond, but we'll find out. Uh, and then next Wednesday, a week from today, we are going to be playing Mario Party Superstars with Married with Pets, both of them. So it'll be Jas and I here and Jared and Maddie on their end, all four of us head to head to head to head. And I'm going to have my ass handed to me and it's going to be hilarious. And I hope that you'll join. I am I'm very competitive. I like, I can absolutely swallow it and deal with it and just, and be like, Hey, congratulations. But fuck me. I'm fucking competitive. So that'll be interesting. And then depending on how long that kind of runs for, uh, we may also jump in and do some, Oh, I just realized Jas. Uh, you're not going to be home in time for that. We will have a conversation about that. Um, later. Oh, uh, we will, we will, yep, yeah, it's fine, we'll figure that out. Um, so, yes, we are, we're gonna have some fun. I hope you'll join me for it. Um, other things you may want to keep an eye out for is the Wednesday after is Chef Squad. I need all of you in the kitchen with me, helping me run the, the restaurant. Literally, I actually need your help because if not, the game doesn't work properly. So hopefully you'll all be available for that. And of course, on the 28th, the 28th of January, 
We will be playing Pokemon Legends Arceus on launch day. I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm super keen to see. I've been trying to avoid as much of like the mechanical stuff of the game as possible. So I'm super keen to dive in and see how the thing works and learn all the history of the Pokemans and stuff. It's going to be so much fun. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, that's kind of, and of course the WoW Secret stream um, is a little bit out of the ordinary, as is Wrath Time Walking. And do not forget, Saturday, the 22nd of January, pop it in your calendars, 5050s marathon stream, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on that Saturday, all of the fucking leveling. I am going to get so many 50s. You're not going to want to miss it. You're not going to want to miss it. So keen for Chef Squad. Yes, Chef Squad will be hilarious as well. I'm so looking forward to it. I cannot fucking wait. If it goes really well, I think it may end up being a permanent fixture fixture in the in the rotation. But we'll see. It has to go well. It has to go well. We have to enjoy it. All right. So let me give me a minute. Oh, running a PC on one screen is just redonkulous. Let's find somebody to send some love to. Oh, God, you're about to end. Indeed, you are, Crixie. I'm so sorry. Look, time zones are a bitch, aren't they? Time zones are a biatch. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, where? Where? I wonder if... Oh, okay, nope, it's just me. That's all right. Um, <laughs> I was like, I wonder if anyone else is streaming this. No. No, that's fine. Uh, what we might do then... Yeah, it's been a little while. Let's go here. Ah, oh, good morning. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, Crixie. Good, you too. I am, I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Um, <laughs> so, so we're staying up on over. Oh, Lando, that's so sweet of you. Hey, Sean. Hello. All right, here we go. We're going to send a raid to the wonderful Dark Mac. Lovely human. Let me grab the Twitch raid. If you do not have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, either which are totally fine, you can still copy and paste the entire message and replace the Fiamma hype part with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote and drop it into Dark's channel, into Dark's chat when we get there. And I will see you on Friday, otherwise known as Fry Yay, because leveling. I love leveling. It's great fun. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully I'll tick a few more off the list. What are we sitting at? 28? I think we've got 28 50s currently. 28. We want more. Let's let's give it a go. So if you super monstering, thank you for being here, V. Happy sleeps. Happy sleeps to you too, Seeker. We'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. I'll see you on Friday. Oh love. Mwah. Oh shit. Wait. I need a number. Shit, 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 shit. And the number has to be between. Give me a second. Load faster, you bastard. Shit. What is it? Number between 53, 93, and 154. 93 and 154. Go. Eight, seven, six. I will see you on Friday, guys. Bye.